Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on your podcast, Giant Power Club. Or on your YouTube as well. <laughs> I was too busy thinking the song we were just singing. I'm we really were sorry. just sound checking by beatboxing. Daniel Beddingfield's got to get through this. Yeah. Such yeah. a banger. Oh. Such a banger. Me and Matthew and Pachiti once went to a deathmatch tournament in Leeds. Mm-hmm. And who was it? One of the wrestlers came out to that. Was it? Um, <laughs> it was Daniel Belling- Beddingfield. He was him. <laughs> no, it was, um, was it Big Joe? I honestly can't remember. Or was it Valentine? Oh, I don't know. No. I think Big Joe. Big flipping Joe. Big f- Bleep and Joe. It set the crowd alight when he, when that song came yeah. on. Everyone's... Oh. Yeah, it Did certainly it? does. You know what else sets the crowd alight? Go on. The Coldaholic oh. Wrestling Podcast. With the dulcet tones of myself, Matthew, his lovely friend, Jack, and special guest appearance by the one, the only, <laughs> Andrew. Thank you again yeah. for having me. Thank you, boys. Ross has caught some sort of stomach bug, but mm. he'll be all right. Yeah, we asked him, he said well. he was sick of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what that means. Huge if true. Jack, how you doing? Uh, yeah, not too bad, Matthew. How are you? I'm doing great, mate. Lovely. I'm in a positive mindset. Good. Because sometimes you've got negative feelings and you have to remember, especially doing lots of content, like, all right, I'll push these negative feelings to the side for now. You have to remember to go back to them and get rid of them. Yeah. Mm. When they yeah, build yeah, up yeah. like mm. black mold under they the do. sink. And yes. then you're like, oh, this is horrible. So uh, got rid of the mold, got rid of the negative mindset. Happy to be talking with you guys about the wonderful world of wrestling. And all the other bollocks in between. Mm. Oh. What about yourself, Andrew? I'm good. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. Uh, nothing too too much new to report. The analogy there with the black mold was perfect because we got black mold in our little cupboard at the moment, oh, trying to get oh, rid of it, trying to get rid of it, doing a good job. But yeah, it's been good. I think since the last time we spoke, um, the only exciting thing that happened was I saved upstairs cat. Upstairs, up, we got we live downstairs. We got an upstairs neighbor. Mm. Upstairs neighbor's cat jumped out the window. It j- the cat is blind and deaf, so I didn't know what it was doing. Oh, just like no. whoosh, nosedive straight out the window. And like outside our window is just loads of brambles, and then it's the metro line as well. So I didn't know it was like going over to the metro line. So I was like, oh, oh get my cap on, sprint outside, oh. jump the wall, and save the cat. And I, I was like looking at my hand before because I still got little thorns coming out of there. Oh, uh, but you did a good deed, I guess. Fuck, it's for cats, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Got to help the cats. Yeah, can't can't not help the cats. Yeah, well, oh, I heard I life. heard just someone told me that you'd saved a blind cat, mm. but I didn't know the full context, so I thought you were just like walking home. No, and no, just yeah, this blind cat. we were just me and Joe, and we were just playing games, and then all of a sudden this thing went like straight oh. in front of us in the window, and we were like, "What's that? A bird?" And then I looked outside, and it was the cat. Bloody so hell. the yeah. idea of like it sounds like a ridiculous story, so it has to be true. <laughs> a blind deaf cat was walking toward the metro line, so I went no. And that's pretty like, much what happened. And then because so upstairs neighbor, she came out as well because she was like, oh my god, my cat. So she came out and and she hopped the wall and stuff. And uh, we were trying to get back over because the walls you jump over them, but then you don't realize how am I going to get back up the wall. Right. So we went over the metro line, and Whoa. then there was a wall. I climbed a wall. Um, but unfortunately, she couldn't get up there, so I was, like, helping her. And then it turned into, like, a little bit from The Last of Us where I climbed this wall, <laughs> and I was like, there's a pallet. If video games have taught me anything, yeah. you grab the pallet, and I pulled the pallet up, popped it over, and she used it as a ladder. And there we go. Mm, Cat is saved. Everybody's yeah. all right. How exciting. And then she's up on the fence going, Leon, help! <laughs> <laughs> Class. Oh, what a lovely story. So there, yeah, yeah. So that's oh. the most exciting thing that I think has happened. That's, that's pretty that's exciting. exciting. Yeah. 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 When you were describing it, I, for some reason in my mind, have you seen Dumb and Dumber, the first one? Yes, originally? yeah. You know when Jim Carrey's racing to give the woman her bag back before she gets on the plane? Mm. Like, Don't worry, <laughs> I'm a limo driver. That's all I could think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a film. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so good. Never watched the second one. Either of them. Well, I've I've only seen the the prequel. prequel. I've not seen the second one. The prequel is horrendous, but apparently the sequel's not too good either. Uh, It's so weird when you think, like, you look at these films and go, why would you want to be in this if you're an actor with Mm. any self respect? Mm. And you're like, well, the gig's a gig, right? Yeah. It might be good. You're like, "Mm." (laughs) but yeah, Dumb and Dumber 2 or Dumb and Dumber or whatever they called it wasn't good either. Uh, You know what was good, though? The news this week, bloody hell. Roman Reigns ignited the rumor mill recently after cutting a promo at a W house show in Trenton, New Jersey, with the tribal chief indicating that he was unaware when he'd returned to Trenton due to starting a new phase in his life. And if you're not familiar with the story or tale of Chicken Little, then uh, just go on wrestling Twitter during this this period of time. He's leaving, he's leaving, he's quitting, he's quitting, he's retiring. (laughs) 
All right, great. Uh, make sure the brain's announcing that a full-time switch to Hollywood could be on the cards, but a report from Fightful Select has shot this down. Bang, bang. Well, some of them are saying that they don't expect Reigns to leave anytime soon. So, but he is mm. obviously leaving to take some time off. Uh, maybe, maybe he will, maybe he won't. But right now, we've been told that he is, isn't he? Well, yeah. so as, as, far as, as, could, on this. as far as I could tell, it, it means what he meant was, uh, apparently, is that he's going to be wrestling on like a reduced schedule. Right. So he's not going to be, he's still going to be on TV and on pay-per-views and stuff, but just maybe not smaller market house shows like Trenton, New Jersey. Mm. No offense to the, the great people of Trenton, no. New Jersey. No, they're, they're like non-taken. Then a story came out that he was going to take a big 10-week break sometime in the summer. Yeah, that's, yeah. But then Andrew Zarian, I think, of Matt Men podcast said that, that was just because he wasn't the like maybe the advert like he wasn't advertised for any of those shows, but now he is or something. Oh, okay. I think people were just guessing that he was taking a big break. Oh, I don't so know. this is a big guess yeah, right now. Right? Guess. But, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I so. it's it's amazing, oh. isn't it? Like one person says, "He didn't like this place," you know, and just, <laughs> just sods out. I was like, again, could be just. Like, Roman's been mm. doing like weird, like baby faceish promos yeah. after show. He did the one in London, I think, when. People were cheering him, and then he was like, someone shouted, The Rock, and he went, Yeah, The Rock can get it too. And everyone went, Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we hate The Rock, famously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Obviously, yeah. no one likes The Rock. Right. Oh, yeah, despicable. <laughs> uh, report Fox want exclusivity on the retalent. Whilst the rebrand split may seem somewhat trivial to wrestling fans, it is vitally important to TV networks, with those who exclusively air Raw or SmackDown looking to have the biggest stars on their networks, mm. not be seen as an afterthought by WWE. Oh. We often hear about this, isn't it? The uh, trying to make well, no, 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 no. You're, you're my favorite one, SmackDown. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, bro, no, no, you're my favorite. Obviously, I make like big stars and I put them, but and then it's easy if you can do them both on both. Mm. Yeah, oh, exclusivity. Ah, fair enough. Then uh, Dave Meltzer attempted to say both <laughs> networks kind of want unique rosters. You can do that kind of back and forth, but really, Fox in particular really wants kind of exclusivity in its guys. Fair enough. Yeah. So well, that's really going to suck if Roman Reigns does take a 10-week break. It's yeah. like there's a big uh, bloodline-shaped hole there if he l does take some time off. There is. Fox do seem to be the pushier of the two, just from mm. my own limited viewpoint. Like Ronda, and for a while they had Brock. Just They had just mm. had Brock, but then he obviously switched back. But I, I don't mm. know. Hmm. Hmm. I like the idea of these two TV networks and all these executives in suits trying to work out who the best pretendy fighters are. <laughs> we won this one. They're going 2K22 and making sure. <laughs> Look at like, the stats. Yeah. Oh, he's a 91 there. though. I'll have him. I don't like that. Brock Lesnar runs faster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, I'm having that. Uh, obviously, because of the podcast last week, we, obviously, we weren't sure if Stu Grayson was, was right. he with. Was mm. he, will he stay or will he go now? Common said, yes, he has left. Yeah. Mutual decision. Uh, Evil Uno, very upset. Says he's oh. one of the best wrestlers in the world. Who said that? Evil Uno. Oh, I thought you said he said that I'm one of the... Okay, well, <laughs> I think Grayson... Stu Grayson says, I am one of the best wrestlers oh, in the world. Credits to Grayson. Because AEW's got such an like, amazing collection of indie talent, you kind of forget how good they all are. Yeah. Stu Grayson, for me, is one yeah. of those ones where you watch a match and be like, oh, bloody hell. Like, yeah. Wow. But yeah. yeah. Just kind of gets forgotten about mm. a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Some of those all-star teams, basketball, it's like, oh, they're all really good. <laughs> but when you're next to that grace of all time, you're yes. like, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been being written off TV for a bit. Uh, Charlotte Flair went off WTV yeah. to the saying those words of WrestleMania Backlash. Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> We're, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said before yeah. she, like, locked her arm. Like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, they went backstage, didn't Whoopsie they? Whoopsie daisy. And they got reported that she had a fractured arm. Yeah, oh. I guess that gives her. Uh, is she getting married? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh. I think that's what what has been reported that her and Andrade are gonna oh, do the kisses and do the rings and the yeah. things. Oh, lovely! The yeah. rings and the things. The rings and the things. Yeah. Yeah. Our ghost wrestling Twitter was like, "Yep, yeah, she's pregnant. We've confirmed <laughs> it ourselves. <laughs> We've interviewed the baby." <laughs> um, also, Morgan Bivens comes out more news about mm. his departure. So is it true? There's a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation. Was he offered a contract in February? Yes. Did I say no to said contract? Yes. Was it after the beat with almost? No. Uh, no one said a word to me about managing him. Was I talking about the main roster? Yes. And people, they think I'm crazy? You threw away millions, potentially. You walked away? Yeah, I did, because I didn't want to do it anymore. Unfortunately, I just wasn't happy. So, That's what, fair. What, what a man of integrity. What a man. What, too good for the... 
the wrestling business. Yeah. yeah. He, um, he even said at the end, didn't he? Like, am I going to return to the wrestling business? Maybe one day. Like, I expected him to be straight back on the indies, but he doesn't seem... He wants to do all his stand-up stuff, doesn't he? No? I mean... All the comedy. I mean, just from that little clip, he'd be good at it. Yeah, he'd be amazing. He's so yeah. good. Mate, he's like the guy from Mary Poppins who plays all the instruments at once. He's yeah. a wrestler, yeah. he's an entertainer, he's a singer, he's a lover, he's a mother. Are, I'm a star. You know when people I'm are good at everything? I'm like, oh. You're good Andrew's at like, no, no, I was about to say you. No, you. Do you know that Andrew oh. taught himself to edit in like a few y- yes, months? Yes, you've said this many a time. With, <laughs> oh, and every time you say it, you're, the look in your face is more and more disgusted. Well, I, I know nothing about editing, to be fair. But you can do it. You anyone can, you anyone can, can learn. Anyone edit. can learn. Um, but yeah, I, when I found out, I was like, what? what? Dude, I taught myself how to video it just like but he taught following, the, following the help option yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not like any guy <laughs> and uh, I didn't know what a scratch disc was until like years into it I still don't I still don't I have <laughs> to right, ask then. Richard or I have to ask Dan I'm like what does this thing do I don't I don't know computers <laughs> very mind, well make it till you make it uh, exactly, yeah. exactly in my mind because by and large most of the editors who work for us are in just the, this office here and then a lot of the presenters and like me and Ross and stuff are in the other one yeah. mm. so it's like a an upstairs downstairs sort of thing and in my mind editing's like like a secret society, like pro wrestling. Like I imagine when you come in every morning, you all shake hands every we day with each other and push stuff. Push our glasses yeah. up, our, up our noses. And you edit like, notes from the last meeting. <laughs> and you edit the video like editors. A minor mistake, and they've got heat, and they have to like they have to edit in the kitchen or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know I you want know? that to be true. Yeah. Oh, hang on, I thought it was supposed to be secret. Well, I mean, you you never see it because you're always upset. That's true. So yeah. you, how can you dismiss it with the with the fanciful writery creator yes. types? Yeah. yeah. It's like my politics in cursive. My politics teacher in sixth form <laughs> wanted me to do politics at uni, mm. and I said, "Oh no, I'm going to do English." And then from then on, he said, "Oh, you're going to go off to uni and do fairy stories, are you?" Fairy like, stories. <laughs> he was livid that I wasn't going to do politics. And now you make pitches <laughs> for wrestling videos. <laughs> yeah. What does that person do now? He still teaches. He was a great teacher, to be fair. He was really good. Shout out, Mr. Neil. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> he used to call me King Dog. King, King Dog. Dog. King Dog. Wow. Like this Lancashire bloke. Oh, King Dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> King of all the dogs. I think he still teaches. I don't actually know, but he was a nice guy. Mm. I liked him. Oh, I, tell you, I was really happy one time I bumped into my old teacher at uh, in Bishop Auckland because he looked exactly the same because he was uh, haggard and old even then, bless him, because he had to teach a bunch of kids in Bishop Auckland. So I saw him in Asda and she's like, bloody hell, like, <laughs> mate, I, was, I don't know if you remember me, but so, and he went, I remember you, Matthew. I was just like, oh, and I said like, you were, of all the teachers we had, we respected you the most. Oh. Mm. It's just like, oh, I really appreciate that. Thank you. And I only found out like a year later, it's just like, oh, he passed away. And no. I was like, Whoa. And it was really like, wow, I actually got a chance to say, like, thank you for being a good teacher and yeah. actually leaving an impression on us. That's have you, really nice. Have you seen the clip of the... Um, is awesome? it Ian Wright? Yeah. I literally he, was told just, it. he was just telling me Mate, about this as well. I, so I, I it goes not really looking at Twitter. Years. Mate, mm, yeah. I was like, I'm just chopping onions right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. He straight away, he's like, standing to attention. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's, like, he's like, Ian Wright, look at it. Hello, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mr. So-and-so it's takes so his cap off immediately. Like, oh... Anyway, I've interrupted the news. Oh, no, sorry, Paul. Uh, 2K19 and 2K20 servers are going to be shut down soon. Oh. 2K19's are a hell of an innings. Oh, well, d- don't you remember, like, when 2K20 came out and it was, oh, like, a that... huge... It was just yeah. a flop. Uh, WWE was still advertising 2K19, like, buy, buy this instead and play this. Um, but it's such a shame because I think, uh, I mean, that game was the backbone for WWE games for, what, a good three, two, three years? Had to be, So, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's sad to see him get shut down, but I, I, I understand why, because, I mean, 2K22 is, I guess, a success for them right now. So, like, just keep keep piling everything into that rather than harkening on the old. Yeah. Uh, unrelated news. Stephanie Manor re- reveals a WWE RPG will be announced soon. So we'll have that yes. clip of Steve Austin saying yes. that he prefers Breath of the Wild. Of the, <laughs> um, Do you think he was coached to say that? Of course he was. He's got to be, be right? We were talking about this last night when people said, like, it just they like, read whatever had written on there making him sound <laughs> cool. So we were saying he should have... Tom was like, he should have, like, met Chris, should have messed with him. He goes, ah, oh, I don't know, Faces of Evil was the best one. <laughs> obscure just, runner. Zelda. I was what You know uh, Deadlock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um, thingy from New Legacy Inc. Uh, is it John Blood? Yeah, John mm. Blood. And then the ginger guy who's so funny. Uh, John, I think he's called as well. 
Oh, but Simples. I saw, yes, he's so fun. So there was this yeah. clip that I was watching just talking about Austin. They were they were going back and what, I think it might be a quite old clip, but someone synced it up to the footage of the thing they're talking about on YouTube. And it's when Kane kidnaps Jim Ross or tries to set oh. him on fire and Austin's in the ring and they're like, really glad that Austin's trained in hostage negotiation because he comes <laughs> to the ring and goes like, Kane, you sick son of a bitch, Kane. Yeah. <laughs> but they just do this impression of Austin for like 10 minutes and I was watching it last night and I was howling. Their impressions are it good. It was so funny. <laughs> you make me sick. <laughs> so good. I haven't seen that one, but I've seen the one with the recap, the uh, the angled book of tea. Oh my so, god! Oh my god! Because it's like all the zoom ins and angles face. It's like, uh. I was watching the one last <laughs> night where they recap Hogan opening Pasta Mania in the Mall of America. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they just keep going like. I've got a slim waistline, dude, <laughs> and stuff like that. And they're like, because he claims that, and they're like, Pasta won't do that for you. And yeah. then they pretend some kid in the back's like, Are you sure about that, Hogan? Get him out of here, dude. <laughs> I'm going to get that little kid, brother. <laughs> and they said, imagine working there. And like, because there was no internet back then, no one knows that people do this every time. But imagine working there and someone comes up and goes like, hey, dude, <laughs> can I have the Linguini, brother? <laughs> and they're just like... Uh. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, can I take your order? Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Anyway, yeah, they're going to make a game would take two interactive and oh, you know yes, what the if they RPG, announced yeah. this right they announced this after 2k20 people are like oh come on yeah but because 2k22 was solid yeah it's like okay it might be all right it might be all right i think it's just a mobile game though oh. um which oh might... god well if you want to make money because that's where yeah, the money is exactly. i was expecting exactly. full-on elder scrolls walking around how good would that be let me where is catering it's like it's far away over the mountains <laughs> i'd love that and there's just like this beam of light that shows you where to go in yes. the mountains. Oh. It's going to be like uh, Animal Crossing where um, <laughs> Tom looks like, you must pay this amount of dues before you get into the business. Uh, and then Kota Ibushi. Oh, well, we'll try and summarize because mm. God, this is still ongoing. But uh, Kota Ibushi posted a series of tweets um, that is being translated by well, lots of lovely people who are insisting... It's one thing to translate Japanese to English. It's another thing to translate Kota Ibushi into <laughs> English. Um, there is supposed to be massive heat between Kota Ibushi and, um, I hope I'm getting this right, Kikuchi, who's a Jap New Japan official. Yeah. Works as a booker or matchmaker. As I think he was a wrestler and then now yes. he's, yeah. Uh, it, this goes on for a while, but it seems to be because Ibushi was hurt and injured and they pulled him off a card. Uh, I'm really generalizing. This goes on for a mm. while. There's no point talking about it now because by next week, by tomorrow, I'll probably if, have even more put on it. Um, he wasn't allowed to compete. And obviously, he lost that money, even though he insisted he was because he's Ibushi so and he's nuts. I, I think yeah. just before that, they he felt that they'd rushed him back early from injury. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Was like, yeah, that was thing there. And yeah. then it kind of was the impression he was in like February or so. He was like, right, I'm fine now. And then they were like, no, you're We're not. not. Now you. you're going to... And he yeah. got annoyed because Shibata... Wrestled. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. Which I... Do you remember this being a thing? Obviously, you remember this by myself. Apparently, the report going around was that Shibata was told, Shibata, not Shibata, sorry, Shibata was told to go around and just have a, um, I don't know, some sort of amateur exhibition match. Yeah, yeah. But then he got the mic and went, no, bollocks to that, I'm going to have a problem. Well, match. I thought yeah. that was and banned was like, uh -oh. to pop the crowd. But I, I keep on being told by people, and again, expressing Twitter and stuff like that, so I don't know what's real or not. He's probably pregnant. But um, <laughs> that he was he did that on his own volition. I wouldn't be yeah, past I him. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, Ibushi's under the impression that like, wait, Shabbat is able to wrestle. Yeah. The man who cornered Dave Meltzer had to have his brain taken out of his skull and put back in. Wow. He's never living wow. that down. <laughs> I love my favorite Meltzerism of all time. Took his brain and put it back in. Okay. <laughs> Give it a bit of a wipe. Um, he was a bit mad about that, going, he can wrestle, but I can't. This is bollocks, this. Mm. So he's having a scorched earth approach. Um, and it's so weird because usually Japanese drama is kept to a, you know, we don't yeah. know there's no yeah. wrestling observer uh, of Japan there where they have all the gossip or anything like that. So have out in the open, oof, mm. it's, a bit, it's a bit new. Um, and yet, he keeps on referring to uh, the old crew of, let's see, uh, Takamichi Nogu, Kikuchi, and uh, Taiji as the cheaters gang. Describing <laughs> those people who will not only cheat you out of money, but also cheat on their wives. Oh my oh, goodness me. Um, oh, and Ibushi wow. keeps on threatening to expose Kikuchi extramarital affairs publicly. Which Sounds like you already the fact, has. Yes, yes. Say, yes, by saying that, he has. <laughs> You know, um, the thing you did in the tell you have, mate, you've, you've done. Um, and apparently what appeared at one of the Taki Michinoko's uh, Just Tap Out show. I yeah. Think? Yeah. We're, even though that's not a New Japan event. He's and then the Kikuchi was Japan, like, right? you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. But then I'm like, well, but that's one of Taka's things. So, But if he doesn't like Taka, why did he go to that? I don't know. Yeah, it's, I always, it's all a bit. I mean, mm. Yeah, it's, it's all really weird and ongoing. But God, is it fascinating. <laughs> I am gripped. Ibushi's like, 
if it was going to be anyone, because he's a bit of a maverick, isn't he? Like, yeah, he's nuts. And 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 I think it's people have been speculating just on Reddit and Twitter and stuff that these like Kikuchi and them are like the equivalent of like old school like NWA oh, okay. types, like oh keep the business yeah. insular, brother. And then, but then Ibushi's like the young bucks and Omega. He's like a new. He's like a more progressive wrestler. He got that. He does mad matches for DDT for no reason and stuff. He's an artist. He's a strange <laughs> man. Artist. Yeah. And um, also, it was his other quote a while ago that came out in a translated Ibushi interview. He reckons he lives eight days a week. Am I getting this right? <laughs> eight days a week is with sleep pattern. 25 hours a day. Oh, 25 hours wow. a day. Sorry. I wouldn't want to misquote Bushi make him sound ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you'll... It's the question everyone's asking, but do you think you'll go to AEW? I love that. Mm. Bushi's talking about all this drama and stuff. <laughs> like, hey, AEW. <laughs> I'm sure if he was available, Tony Garner would have him in a second. Oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. But right yeah, now, there's a lot more going on, especially if these... Tony Khan's like, hey, that New Japan show we got going. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What would annoy our new relationship hmm. oh my any God. more than having Ibushi... He's gonna come out. He is. He switched sides. No, I mean it'd be funny oh. as hell if he did. But oh my god, that'd be pretty good. That actually. that would be really. It, it literally, good. It, it literally becomes a forbidden door. Yeah, like live on pay Not nah, everyone. Everyone the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and it's worth remembering, just in case anyone's not too familiar with Ibushi. Like he's an incredible wrestler. He's one of the best in the world, probably. I think he's a freak. He's he's so much older than you think. How old is he? He looks. 19, but he's actually in like his late 30s, I think. No. I'm going to Google he's him. Like, no. He's like a rich kid, so he's just like doing whatever his life he wants to do in his life. Some rich yeah. kids become this or that. Yeah. He became a professional wrestler. Wow. He's 39. No 30 way. Get away. No, no, no he's way. not. Look at the head of hair on him. Look at the abs on him. <laughs> and that as well. He's got the same blood that Finn Balor's got. <laughs> yeah. I remember when, when him and Cody had a feud and they had a match at Wrestle Kingdom. But everyone was ignoring the feud and just going like, what a handsome match this is. <laughs> well, that, that, yeah, match. Cody versus Cody cool Bushi was boys. like, I'm going to steal your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that was the reason for that feud. It was amazing. Oh, dear me. I'm such an alpha oh, male. Was, I'm going to oh, take your lad, oh, Kenny. It was Kenny Omega, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take your lad. Oh, dear I am gay, but I will. <laughs> just to spite that you. The, oh, what a great feud. That was that the was. match with the crossroads off the A-Bank. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. I remember seeing that. Because Coda's like, uh, like, you okay, Cody? going to take it all right? Yeah, I'll take it on my head directly. be fine. <laughs> oh, wow. what a, what a situation. I'm sure that'll develop more. Or yeah, just like, this disappear. is just part one of many by yeah. lots of things, but wow. Mm. All right. Exciting. Oh, mm. wow. You know what? We'll have a really hot opening match for this pay view <laughs> extravaganza. We're going to continue as we mean to carry on with the next segment. <gasps> Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah. <sighs> Let's get ready for everyone's favorite segment, the Hall of Fame, in condescending order from last week. Rio, ah, oh, this is Yuka Sakazaki. I'm going to say this. I deserved 15% in third place Thank you. because they didn't mention or reference right. any of your so stuff. I've you got, got to, shafted here. I've got to say that usually if I've done a pick that comes last in the Hall of Fame, I'm not expecting much more. And I'm like, this isn't going to win. This one I put my heart and soul into, and I have been for like three years. <laughs> yeah, I reckon because though, if they'd actually bothered to reference or homage any of the things that you've been talking about, then didn't. this would be higher up. But also, the description of it is just Riho versus Yuka Sakazaki. It just sounds like I thought it was a class match, and it was a good match, but I just, not Hall of Fame. But yeah, but I'm not. I'm. I'm, yeah, I'm referencing. Finally, the resolution to yes. this three years that would be. But you're right. They, they didn't make anything of it. So we have someone unbiased do some of these <laughs> descriptions because hmm. It's not the first time it's happened recently. Has, no, but has sometimes joke. it's Ross who's been victimized by it, but he's some he's usually the one who writes them in. So I'm not sure. Speaking of getting shafted, Barnsley FC mascot Toby Tyke getting arrested. Shout out to Toby who referenced us, I believe. He certainly did, but never mind that. Yeah. Whoever's done descriptions has put arrested in inverted commas, which was completely he was un mockingly arrested. You didn't have to put that, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Mr. Riho. So uh, <laughs> arrested at thirty four percent. Probably would have been higher if they hadn't put arrested in inverted <laughs> commas. But yes, thank you for the shout out to Toby Tyke. And also the person who sent that in said, uh, I was sat down with my girlfriend in bed and we had, we had the podcast in the background and my girlfriend had turned to me and goes, did your name just get <laughs> mentioned on the podcast? What, the guy who plays Toby? No, uh, the person who sent in the, the, hey, have you seen this, Matthew? Oh, that person. Oh, oh right. I could okay. word that better. Yeah, Toby oh. Tyke. In full mascot gear with his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, was <laughs> Mrs. Tyke. His girlfriend's also a mascot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
It's <laughs> Gilbert's the Padraig Thistle scary song. Oh my god, that thing! I think it's oh, amazing. That Jesus. What's that uh, football club that's got the boiler as the mascot? Oh, oh, oh I can't remember. No. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's, oh, it's class. Oh. Oh. Anyway, 34%. Hey, Sunderland are going to Wembley. Come on. Mm. I'm probably not. Why, why he was playing? <laughs> Just everyone's going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> the Blackpool Combat Club promo asked you on Twitter this past week, 52%. Ross has picked there. Well, I can't argue with that, actually. It's a, it's a hell of a promo. Mm. Amazing. Very good. Yeah. You know, the yes. eyes of the, the souls of the eyes of the blah, blah, blah. It was fantastic. Mm. Is he strategically you, doing wrestling things now to try and... Ross? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he moved on from like, losing on... every week and getting a bit desperate. Yeah. He, he kind of... <laughs> I think he's just gone back to normal now. He just oh, goes okay. for whatever his heart okay. picks. Yeah. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's yeah, fair yeah. Enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I've got my winning formula of... Uh, well, we'll see in a minute. Um, <laughs> so... Matthew's got a certain... Oh, is it animal based? Okay, why would you say that, Jack? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I and guess Andrew will go first. It's yeah, I guess so. And uh, mine is uh, indeed animal based as well. I'm going for Tama, the Japanese cat who gained oh, fame for being a station oh master God. and operating officer I'm, at Kishi Station. I've never done a 180 as quickly as that. <laughs> I was like, oh, how cute that is. So uh, a little backstory. So Tama was born as a stray on the streets of uh, uh, Kinokawa, if okay. I'm saying that right. Um, she was raised by a group of stray cats. And then the station uh, the station master there, uh, Toshiko Koyama, um, adopted her very early in her life. And this station was actually about to be shut down. Um, however, I think like the locals rallied against it from getting shut down. But then there was a lot of layoffs, which involved i think people from local businesses coming in to actually be like the staff at the okay at the station and it was during this time that the cat was made the station master now well not the station master it was like a greeter that was like that's that, what was, the cat the, does. that was the cat thing i have a question yes because if it was a dog then i'd fully understand i can expect the dog to be there doing its job what? greeting people yeah yeah Cat, cats can. just go wherever they want so uh, well I think I think it was in videos, and she just kind of just like sits there, okay. lets people pet her, Fair which enough. is nice. That's what you want, right? She looks like she's making her entrance at Wrestle Kingdom. She does. Like she's she? all like, <laughs> she's so grand. Look yeah. at that. And it was it was uh, Matthew Matthew's penguin the other week. So regal, no, mm. so no, royal. The third. That was third. No, no, can't no, no, no. The it's third. a third. Oh, no. oh the third. It's, it's sorry, Kefave, 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 Kefave. They wouldn't have died of old. <laughs> <laughs> On the big penguin shop in, in the sky. But I thought I'd I thought I'd pick her. Unfortunately, she's dead, and I think she passed away in 2015. You can't do shrine. that. You can't do that. I know, right? She passed away in 2015. Jesus Christ! But there's there's people there's people. Sorry, there's cats that have taken taken the mantle up. There's a like there's like a big oh shrine and everything God. to her now. Is that what your jacket pushed shrine. by a ghost? Just, <laughs> the shock. Are you okay? Dead cat. This is like Pulp Fiction. I don't know what's coming now. I don't know what I order this is <laughs> in. <laughs> Here's this lovely cat. How are Sorry, if I, was a, dead. sorry no. if I was a bit sweaty there when you No, you weren't. You weren't. You weren't. Are you okay? I'm a bit, I'm a bit warm today. But anyway, sorry, I'm a bit warm. I'm just upset about the cat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. But I thought, I thought, what, what better way to, to pay respects to oh Tamar than to hopefully put her you in the hole. You were talking of about her in the present tense. Yeah, because she's, she lives on in our hearts and oh, souls. Oh, very our minds. good. Like a candle in the, the wind. wind. <laughs> <laughs> the. The narrative structure of that whole thing. It's beautiful. Me. It's blindsided me totally. <laughs> wow, what a roller That's coaster. That's my pick. There we go. Oh my God. All it was right, like Sixth Tana. Sense. She was dead all along. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. My God. <sighs> Lovely cat, though. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Lovely cat. Nice hat. <laughs> Great. Outfit. Nice cravat. Mm. Mm. Oh, cravat, yeah. Chris Hero likes them. But you know what? It's all right. Is. I mean, I have someone. It's, it's, it's a cat that used to be here, but now isn't. But they didn't really do anything. Oh. For ceremonial purposes. Ooh. She saved the station. <laughs> she saved the station saved from shutting the, down. Did she? She actually did. There was an increase. How about it? This is like the Dusty Roads promo. There was Imagine an increase protesting in for this train station getting shut down for weeks on end, months on end, making sandwiches. Now they put up with that. And then a cat takes your heat, baby. Hard times, baby. Uh, and then the cat comes back. <laughs> that's hard times. Cat comes back. There was like a 17% increase in uh, in passengers and uh, and that kept the station going. Oh my God. Can I just quickly, before you're, there's a bloke who often hangs out around like the Clooney and the ship and the time bar um, down down the cool place in Newcastle oh, yeah, to yeah. drink the alcohol. Um, there's a book called Hass, I believe. I think he's like Moroccan or something. English isn't his first language, but he speaks English. Mm. Um, and he just normally goes there by himself, but he's like a local, like people just chat to him and stuff. 
And he's usually there with his dog, Roscoe, who's a lovely dog. Wait, go on. And then obviously COVID, so I didn't see him for a couple of years. And then when I saw him, the dog was there. And I was like, oh, I haven't seen Roscoe for a long time. And he was like, oh, I was about to do his accent. I don't think I should. But anyway, he was don't. like... Yeah, yeah, he, um, he, he was, he's Irish, he'll do it that way. <laughs> he's like, he, he was very ill, he was very ill. And I was like, oh no. And he was like, no, no, but he, I put thing on Facebook and he, he gets surgery. He raised money and he was fine now. He's running about the dog and he was Aww. like, he raised money himself. Everyone love him. I'm like, oh, that's so lovely. Aww. And he was like, yes, yes, he is tart. I was like, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird you said that. We were mates. Uh, have you met, we've met him. You might have seen him. About inadvertently, him. because we were at the Usburn just for a little quiet drink, it was a loving night, uh, a day out, whatever, sunshine, and, and there was a dog, that big green bit. We mm. went, There's a dog. Look around. He just came up. And... I think he's like a terrier or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little dog. Yeah. yeah. And we were like, Oh, hello, dog. You know, playing catch with ages and all this. He's always stuff. got a tennis ball. He loves yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And we were like, Oh, okay. Just some dog. I don't know. Get him. We'll complain. Like, think about these things. And then later on, some guy went, Hello, dog, whatever. Woo -woo. And then dog ran up. And I was like, Oh, and we were like, Oh, is this guy going to kick out? Because we've been playing with this dog for about an hour. <laughs> he went, and I went, oh, is this your dog? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I always let it like hang around here. Nothing ever bad happens when I go in for a pint with me. Yeah, he does. Wow. We dog. babysat a dog. Wow. The dog's really lovely. And yeah. people are just like, oh. It's because it's a dog. Like, yeah. just universally, everybody wants to play with a dog. Yeah. Dog. Once a dog gets one wallet, the guy sees him. That's <laughs> it. That's <laughs> it. Clever. But and sorry, yes. Anyway, I'm glad we've both met Haas and, yeah. Ro and Roscoe. I didn't realize that, that they had a, the rep. Yeah, they were often oh, about. Okay. Yeah, Roscoe the dog. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's, that's, that's simmer for a bit. <laughs> Aren't animals great? They yeah. are. They are. And I like your cat. But it is you. like, okay, it sounds like a lot of people did the rest of the work. Whereas um, <laughs> my pick for Hall of Fame this week, uh, certainly put no, get out of <laughs> is um, summed up here. Uh, was it, what's the name of the guy? Pat Smith, I think. <laughs> oh, God. I'll get a name in a second, pal. Uh, Wally the Walrus to get his own pontoon. <laughs> a pontoon has been prepared for Wally the Walrus in an effort to stop him from sinking more boats. The walrus, <laughs> the walrus first made waves in Ireland when he was spotted in County Kerry in March. The 800 kilogram walrus has been <laughs> travelled to France, Spain, and the UK. Wow. The Irish whale and dolphin group, the IWDG, uh, which Kota Bush should be resting for next week. <laughs> I knew you were going to say yeah. so. See, he was sinking one or two boats in every harbour he <laughs> enters. He was most recently spotted at Crookhaven Harbour in County Cork Wednesday. Um, so boat owners should cover their vessels or remove the engine to protect them from damage. Oof. Someone's asked. It's been, it's been absolutely nothing on its own. There is no evidence it will benefit from human protection. Don't mill around on boats as a potential to disturb the animal. The walrus is doing absolutely fine without us. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so it's just basically this walrus going around sinking boats. Just by getting on them and being heavy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The, walru so, the walrus is their sans frontier, and it's just getting rid of this <laughs> issue. People are getting too close to be stressing, Wally. That is, that is my favourite photo, because it could just boy. be Hulk Hogan chilling. <laughs> <laughs> be stressing Wally out, causing him to repeat born this apart from boats. But it's been urged to exercise caution, not get too close to Wally for their own safety. This is a walrus. This is an animal doing stuff. Wait, no. Proactive rather than reactive cats. How is that pro when he's destroying public property? And then... He but, said, it, it, Wally was quoted as saying, all property is theft. <laughs> <laughs> so is... Under the, the Poseidon law. So they built him his own... So now yeah, they're, and they're going, okay. you know what? He's wrecking so much stuff. Let's give him these things and hope he'll just leave us alone. How, and it works. How's that better? How's that better, man? <laughs> I'm that's, proud of him. That's not better. It's like the French oh. unions when they go so, and strike and they torch half the country to get what they want. If this was a game I've been led to be, like, be called is Dungeons and Dragons, <gasps> I think you might say that the cat is lawful good, whereas mm. Wally oh. is chaotic neutral. Oh, I mean, okay. Or chaotic good. Yeah. Who knows? Chaotic selfish. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, just... but no, that, that's good with the D&D. Mm. &D, yeah. Thank you, cheers. Very good. I know alignments, that's what I know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, though, is it chaotic, neutral, or evil? It's, I mean, I think it's not the self-game, I, I think it's out of... It's accidental, isn't it? It's just I, heavy. He has got his own boat now, though, Yeah. from that. I think it was strategically played. I think right. all of They're it... trying to trick it, goes, yeah, you know, that's your boat. And he's like, oh, I think he put all I don't want to his... wreck my boat. Yeah. What do I do? He seems to he put all of his points in wisdom and intelligence. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And strength. <laughs> yeah. It's very much strength. But what happens when Wally tells his other mates, you know, oh. Willie and Jimmy and all the rest, like, would... look, 
all you need to do is wreck their stuff and then they give you another one. I would just, I've just realized I would never have made that Dungeons and Dragons joke if Ross was here. <laughs> I just well, why? You see, Jack, Jack's versatile. He's good. No, yeah. you, you, you know you just want to let it out. That's the thing. Oh, mate. Deep uh, down inside. But you just want to say, tell Ross, yeah, I'll start playing D&D. &D. Mm. Oh, face. no. Aren't you, haven't you done a bit of dungeon mastering before? I haven't, but I'd like to. Oh, right. I'd very I much it. like to. I would play. I'd be one of your PCs. Would you? Yeah. I'd be a... What would you? What would you class be? A half elf. Oh, I look at my. I think if I was a character in Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. I feel like I'd be a bard, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, you would be. I mean, you're, thank you. You're supposed to be playing people that you're not really. But yeah, but I, I don't want to yeah. be accurate to my. So I, but I have played with people who Sorry. are like they've told me it's like. Yeah, you're supposed to play something completely different to yourself. And my oh, mate okay. who plays instruments did a bard. Oh, it's not because uh, I play sound doesn't look just like, like him. And I'm like, oh, oh I meant it's just uh, going to talk bollocks for a living. It's yeah. like the thing with video games, right, as well. Like, if you make yourself, oh, why don't you, like, I, I get that you no, want to be I, immersed in the game. It's a, if it's a sports mm. one, I'll try and make me. Oh, so will can, you? So I can pretend so you can that, pretend that, that you e, are. I'm playing for the Chicago Bulls. Oh, that's fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. That's fair enough. I like it when they, you do that in a game and it doesn't tell you that they don't use caps lock so you're trying to immerse yourself in a game and mm. suddenly everyone's talking in like normal lettering yeah. and suddenly Mafu has ended <laughs> the gridiron <laughs> like a prick it's a it's a I hope one of your picks because this is a titanic this is a big clash this. yeah yeah, it is a big clash a titanic clash yeah do you think the cat could have like cooled down the walrus <laughs> cooled down the walrus like, I think the rah, cat that, that's I, how think, just, I think like if Tamil was still Scarlett alive Johansson in the Avengers Ooh. Stop it now. Stop it, stop it now. I'm a fan of niche superhero films. I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those, those Marvel films those, yeah, don't watch. Nobody watches them. <laughs> well, I they don't hear. I'm like, hey, like, no, I don't know, Doctor does. Strange 2. And I'm like, no. Ross and Jack going, huh? I'm like, Fraser's, oh, yeah, sorry, I'm going to make $7 billion what, dollars this week. Do you know what annoys me is that, like, it seems like every week, Fraser puts a thing in the chat saying, like, the new Marvel film's out if anyone wants to go and see it. And it's I'm not, like, another it's not Marvel every week. film? It's not every, it's not every it's week. It's quite it's free. Every two weeks. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two and a half weeks. It's, it's called a Monopoly chat. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Tamil would build a train for Wally. Willie? Wally. Willie? No, Wally's, well, Willie's his mate. Willie's his mate, sorry. I, well, Tamil would build a train for all of them. Think about that. Okay. I, and I think Wally wouldn't know what to do with a train, but it would be so touched. Uh, we'll, the act of cat kindness. <laughs> just put it in the lake anyway. It'll be fine. I'll put the, the train in the yeah, lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is going? What the bloody hell am I going to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> Sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Cat's like, ha ah, sucker. <laughs> that went off on a tangent. Um, <laughs> that is my pick for Hall of Fame. What's yours, Jack? Well, originally, but I forgot to send Richard the link. Um, and I'm not sure about using audio and whether we'll get away Ooh. with it. But it was it wasn't a wrestling thing. It was just it's been a big week for Sunderland AFC. We've made it to the yeah, playoff finals. We're going to Wembley. Hey, sirrah, sirrah. Uh And the other Sunderland fan in the office is Dan Heppel, mm. um, one of our wonderful editors here. And apparently Richard Tubman's like best pal. Yeah, because work, yeah. working in the other side of the office, we don't know what connections are being forged here well we don't really know either but i've i sometimes when i go down mm. like say my bag's down there i go get my dinner look under the table they're just holding hands oh <laughs> but um that's really sweet. but apparently richard like demonstrates his friendship to dan by just being mean to him a lot. yeah that's pretty much okay, it right, dan's right. telling him not to go to japan <laughs> richard's <laughs> like got go got, got wait to <laughs> get, get away, away from, from you, you. um <laughs> so it me and him are both Sunderland fans and he shared a video in, the, in I think in, maybe he just sent it to me or maybe he shared it in one of the chats, but it was just this video of this, of just showing the sights of Sunderland. Oh, he showed us that as the, well. It's oh, just this, no. the narrator's going like, come see our beach. Come to Sunderland. <laughs> <laughs> look at our beautiful beaches. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> just the tides right in. It just looks awful. <laughs> look at our beautiful pubs. <laughs> it's just like horrible, like the worst of Sunderland. It's so good. And it was really funny, but I forgot to send Richard the thing. You can have a look, but it isn't my pick. But we can maybe play a bit of it. It's but very, very. Instead, good. I, in desperation, I just chose a wrestling one instead. Oh, so because oh, he knows it wouldn't win. And I have to yeah. mention as well, Sunderland's wonderful. It was like a. But he wants to say all these good things I know. about Sunderland. We were like an Italian team, honestly. Before our leg of the at home yeah. at the Stadium of Light, we put up a display on the East Stand, and everyone held up like, a, and it was a pair of cat's eyes because Sunderland's nickname is the Black Cat. Oh, and it was just a pair of cat's eyes, like they were staring. Why is their nickname yeah. the Black Cat? I think it's a. It was voted for, I think, but. Like decades ago, but I think it's to do with like nautical, like sailors' ships. Oh, okay. And, like, oh, because cool. we're, we're, we're the last wasn't from the area. She was, she was people, uh, why are you not called the magpies? And yes, a bunch of people weren't football fans. And she went, is it because you steal stuff? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and they didn't know what to say. They know that wasn't the reason, but they didn't know why it wasn't. That's so <laughs> it's, like, hmm. it's just a coincidence. Have you found it? No, no. it's actually not legitimate like places to do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. It's better than see them in their Where hardcore wrestling. Where is it? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it one of them? Uh, look at our theme park. I can't do that. Oh, yeah. Look at, and look it's at just, our theme park. It's and so it's just good. like a, a, an abandoned fairground. <laughs> <laughs> we had one of our oh, It's like we, we have restaurants, pubs, theme park. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Oh, we're not going to find it. I might, no, should, I just, try. should I just say my other pick? My, my backup that I'm going to have to use. It's all right. He's trying um, his hardest. He is, he is. Message Dan. No, just, just keep going. Okay, so, um, yeah. What was I going to say? All right. So I've chosen a wrestling one instead. Ooh. Which is, how do I phrase this? Like, place appropriate faces slash heels. Because in AEW like this week, right. MJF in Long Island is a face. CM Punk in Long Island is still keeping up the heel thing, which yeah, was a wise decision. I like that. Continuity. Excalibur, for once, didn't know something, and it was about sports. <laughs> I didn't either. I had to Google what the reference was, but Punk comes out, with, and then he, in the, new, in the New York Islanders shirt, which is the hockey team of Long Island. Yeah, but and he was, was being... But, but people were like, and he was like, oh, look, I'm wearing the shirt. And then he turned around, and the player on the back had left. I put in the notes, oh, it's like wearing... Oh, I've thank the, you. I've said in the Forever. notes, it's like wearing an Andy Cole shirt in 1995. Oh, it's like, stop it. So, wow. But then Excalibur, halfway through the match, goes like, CM Punk wearing a New York Islanders shirt colors, maybe that's a peace offering of sorts. <laughs> then there's yeah. an ad break, and then after, later on he goes like, I might not know anything about hockey here. <laughs> He's obviously been told. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it was a But yeah, the crowd obviously did, because I was confused, mm. like, wait, that's mm. a local... But, and yeah. And I, I wait for the Americans to explain American sports to me. None of them did. <laughs> Good shout. But uh, yes, so mine mine is um, place appropriate faces slash heels. Yeah. Yeah. MJF was so entertaining Christ in that segment. Really, really, really good. good. And the the entrance even just made me laugh how he keeps on going like, and then just running over. Running 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 doing the punk theme. <laughs> so I'm trying to think of other ones. Um, Austin... Yeah, so uh, Austin Canadian Stampede. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Crowd. yeah. Austin sucks. Yeah. Austin sucks. <laughs> it's always good when it happens. And I'm glad mm. the punk was against John Silver, who's from Long Island. Yeah, I yeah. Thought, that, mm. thought that was really good. Mm. And oh, I'll try to think of others. It doesn't, I don't think it gets used enough. It doesn't often, like... Britt Baker in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Uh, mm. yeah. There we go, yeah. Yeah. But no, I, I really enjoyed, that was probably yeah, my favourite, like, bit of a wrestling show this week, so... I'd oh, say no, so Backlash well, yeah. was pretty good, but on TV, yeah. isn't it? No, I agree with that. So, place appropriate faces slash yeah. heels, while Richard's what? still furiously... <laughs> trying He's trying to, to find it. it. Well, we, we played we it, couldn't... we had a good time watching it, but the music was copyrighted. That, copy, that music was. was copyrighted. <laughs> there was just a little flute in the background. Going, yeah. Sunland. Sunland. <laughs> Come do Sunland. <laughs> oh, my oh, word. Oh, my God. Oh, my I'm glad we cut that out. My pick is the face heel appropriate. Well, you've already recapped the things, haven't you? Right. We have, but it took a long time because we really, we really wanted to watch it. But none of it's going to go So that took a lot so. of real life time. But for <laughs> yeah. you, it was nothing. Mm. So, let's that Black Mirror episode when he gets plugged into the... Oh. Anyway. Yeah, that is good. But this has gone on long enough, so we should <laughs> go to the next bit yes. or people are going to start complaining. No, no, they don't know. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you very much for those wonderful picks. Mm. You lads, you can, of course, vote from a fantastic Hall of Fame picks that should be well worded. So even if you haven't seen this and you're not listening to me right now, you'll know what's happening. Yeah. Fairly. Uh, by going to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic, place your votes there. That says this week in the wrestling. It's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ah. <sighs> this week in wrestling. It's a long one. It's a long one. Ah, uh, we love a long one. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Smackdown. Oh, really? Jack's little notes. If you want to, I'll change oh, the stipulation. Matthew, no, wait. Right people, right time, just the wrong. Oh, if you want to, I'll change the stipulation. The stipulation. Right people, people right, right time, time, just, just the, the wrong, wrong location. location. This was before I knew that the bloke from Minder had died. So that's the theme tune uh, from Minder. You know, when you think of a celebrity and then like a week later they die and mm. you're like, I'm still Have I cursed every, them? Yeah. That happened to me with, with uh, Steve Irwin. Really? I was talking, oh. I was saying to some friends, like, oh my, he does all this stuff. How long is it going to be before he dies? And then literally oh the next God. day, the next day, and I was like, I'll never open my mouth ever again. Yeah. So I, I mean, was, you weren't um, the only person thinking that. I mean, I was crocodile think- hunters don't tend to live to yeah, be 100. Yeah, yeah, that's but. true. I was thinking about the stipulation that, that that wasn't a backlash in the main event that they took oh. away. Mm. Oh, yeah. And then I thought, what rhymes with stipulation situation? And then the Minder theme, for some reason, a program I've never watched, but everyone but knows the theme. But it's just a banger theme, yeah. isn't it? So. Um, and then, like, four days later or something, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, my God. And because of that, I tried to watch a bit of Minder, but I, I, it was... 
I, I don't think I relate. It's too cockney for me. I'm the same with Only Fools and Horses. I know it's meant to be like an all-time great. Oh, you're like mm. Only Fools. I've never. I might do. I've never really got into it. Whoa. Uh, oh, I remember we did that thing in the podcast, didn't we? Like if it's oh, like Stephanie and Triple H having a kid. If it's a if it's a girl, they call. Oh, I don't even I've know. seen it. They call, call it Dave after Rod. <laughs> Said it on in, in the podcast. Nothing. Uh, did Ross know? Everybody else in the country was like, "How do they not know that?" He's like, <laughs> more of a Phoenix Knights kind of. I can, I, I can tell me it was. A, it's yeah. d- it's a bit yeah, London, yeah. but you know it's very London. Well, yeah. I've seen like iconic scenes like Del Boy falling through the bar, what? and I've seen the Pogo one where he's like, "I've got two pair." Oh, but then he's like, yeah. "What are you doing? I'm getting more winnings, Del Boy." <laughs> and he's like, "Well, I've got a pair of aces and another pair of aces." That's <laughs> then, four aces. Yeah. I didn't know you did maths, Del. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Del who's yeah, no, no, but yeah, he's, he's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, and then sorry, he's yeah. like, he's like. How do you know those? Where did you get those, yeah, those aces from? from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same place you got those kings. And then he's like, but that, that, and I know that you're cheating because that, that wasn't your hand. And he's like, how do you know that? Because they weren't the cards I was dealing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is good. Like, oh, that's that good. Yeah. very good. Still good. Uh, yeah. What are we talking about? Um, <laughs> my so, wait, so wait, just to sell the better. Do you like, watch Only Fools or know the concept or like it? or? I like Only Fools and oh, Horses. Okay, yeah. Grew up on it. And, Matt, and which one's Minder? Is that the fella who does like all the... He's, he's a bit of a naughty boy. Yeah, he's a he? bodyguard. He's, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. he's like a heavy. I have yeah. seen that, yeah. Uh, he's very uh, okay. good. I don't remember Minder. It was a bit yeah. older, I think, than Only Fools. Maybe. Yeah, 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 I think it was. I uh, like... Uh, but one. there are all those themes that still stick around. Oh, the, God, uh, yeah. Side guys, like the Lovejoy theme. Yeah. But I was always more like... Well, there's no northeastern ones, but northern what like royal family and phoenix knights. Oh, and okay, yeah. Vera, Vera. My mum loves Vera. Vera is not well a, good. Not a comedy, but Vera is <laughs> Vera is well good. She, if you know the areas that she's pursuing criminals in, yeah, she is rapid. She's, <laughs> she, cha- she chases someone to South Shields, and he runs down onto the beach, and she kind of like jogs after, like not jogs, but like because she's older, but she kind of like stumbles after yeah. him. Yeah, and then they're both at the top end of the beach, like they've managed to get like. <laughs> Sometimes she's like, I'm just going to go and drive to arrest this criminal. And then she crosses the county in like 10 minutes. I don't know how she's done it. She's a loud police lady. Yeah, that's true. Right, so wrestling. The week in wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Charlotte Flair opens a show and complains about last week's beat the clock challenge. She calls Ali in the ring and beats her down, but Ronda Rousey runs out to make the save. She and Charlotte have a pull-apart brawl. Mm. Yeah, this was a lot of boxes being ticked here. It's always weird talking about the SmackDown before a pay-per-view because I'm like... I know what's going to happen next. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But we'll just get better then, can't we? Well, it was, say, yeah. it was fire. It Charlotte was and Ronda, for all, like, the the crowd not really wanting to get behind either of them, they are good at brawling. They are. They, they make are it look so real, yeah. don't they? It I'll feels like that. they really hate each other. Yeah, that WrestleMania match was, I thought it was really, really good. And I didn't know if it was on the brink Ooh, of something happening there. I preferred this one. I preferred this one as yeah. well. Yeah. But, like, they just work so well together. They do have yeah. in-ring chemistry. Mm. It's just on the mic that it, it gets a bit lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shayna Baszler faces Sasha Banks a singles match and wins with help from Natalia. Boo. Mm. Shayna and Natalia try to do a beatdown afterwards, but Sasha and Nomi fight them off and stand tall. Yeah. I can't remember if it was this or Raw, but Naomi was wearing a, a suit and it looked like... Do you remember those? They were like these rubber jelly balls that had... Um, like a liquid in them, and it had like a little ring that you put on your finger and you bounced it like that. Yeah, and uh, Naomi had a costume, a costume on, a suit on that looked exactly like that. <laughs> I couldn't get that out of my head as soon as I saw it. I remember my mate in primary school got his confiscated ones for like playing with it during a lesson or something, and then he got into an argument with the teacher. He was like, no, you're going to play with it at lunchtime? <laughs> and then the teacher was like, no, I'm not. And at the time I thought, yeah, of course she's not. And looking back, I bet you did. Oh, in the start yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so It's mine now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's weird just seeing Shayna just being, hey, it's me, just a wrestler. Yeah. Mm. It's time for happy talk of Happy Corbin, but Madcap Moss interrupts on the Tron. He says that the fans don't want to hear Corbin talk. They want to hear Moss crack jokes. <laughs> Corbin says that Moss doesn't have the guts to mock him to his face. So Moss makes his entrance and does just that. He says that Corbin's had so many gimmicks, maybe the next one should evolve him being actually entertaining. Which is like, Oof. oh, that's pretty good, that actually. Oof. He then leads the crowd into a big bad wolf chant. Big bold wolf. Big bold wolf. Oh, big bold wolf. Yeah. That makes more sense, doesn't it? And Corbin just decides to leave because that was a bit rubbish. Now, right. Yes. There's got to be a certain percentage of men in that crowd who are themselves bold. Uh, Why would they get... <clears throat> 
Why would they get on board <laughs> with the baby face dude? Okay, there's no, <laughs> there's no. He'll grow back. There's no like. Right. I hope. There's no like. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Andrew. There's no <laughs> correlation between like baldness and baby face heel. Like it's not like all heels are bald. Like it's, look at Steve Austin. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the grapple podcast lads and all them, uh, but the doggies when they're uh, crowds. When that crowds, when they're in crowds for wrestling shows, they always do the baldy baldy <laughs> over there, and I'm like, "Oh well, lads." I mean, I remember, go on, I can see the top of your heads. I remember <laughs> when I remember when Enzo and Cass made their main roster debut because I was there. It was the mm. row after the one of the manias we mm. went to, and Enzo goes like, "Fall back like your hairline," and everyone's like, "Wait!" And then there was a bald bloke near me going like, oh, "Well, <laughs> I can't, yeah. like, I can't get, I can't get behind, can't get behind yeah. you now." <laughs> I don't know. And and also, I thought it was universally accepted that Corbin looked better once he'd shaved his oh, head. Oh, he does. It was an improvement. Yeah, that's, oh. that's what he should have said. Where, where you, is, you know, that'll look great now. Yeah, exactly. Whereas, like, Andrew, I think it's equally, you looked equally good with well, all that hair. You're very kind. Oh, no, yeah. I just, well, I think. When you're a beautiful but, human being, you Yeah, you're a beautiful enough. man. Oh, stop. Oh, stop it, Goodness boy. me. Yeah. Stop it. Um, stop but, it. Oh, suits you. <laughs> um, but, but Corbin, like... Like I think everyone was like, "Oh, Corbin um, looks mint." Yeah, sexy yeah. man. Corbin's With the no face. Hair, he now. should have been like, "Yeah, I own it." <laughs> Listen, it eventually affects us all. Okay, it does. It does. You should go. Yeah, whatever. Big bubble. How about big bad neck? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, Corbin just decides to leave because again, Matt Moss is he's got the. The baby face stink about him right now, and he, yeah. he's like, "Yeah, all right, I'm I'm with you here to a certain degree." And then you point at your bum and go, "Ooh," and then you have, <laughs> have people. So they mean people chant this, and you're like. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. We're gonna kiss some babies next on the way to your ring. Whatever. He's, Hi. How about that local sports team? He's uh, got the 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 same WWE brand cockiness. Whether when his baby face is like. Yeah. Yeah. And if you do this, if you do this, like in Philly or whatever, then it's like the crowd's gonna be like, "Yeah, get him, Corbin." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gunther squashes Drew Gulak, who's fine. Uh, definitely got so, a new position himself in this company. Bless yeah. him. So he's a wrestler again. Yeah, and he was like, it's great to be back, everybody. But last week he was the timekeeper. Yes. And the week before that he was the backstage interviewer. He's just going through the motions. Why? He's, he's Mr. Ben. Just yeah, yeah. a different yeah. outfit. He puts a different <laughs> hat on every day. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gula. <laughs> yeah. like a cartoon him getting out of bed. Two uh, it's a good podcast if like theme tunes from the 70s. Yeah. Uh, and then Ludwig Kaiser announces him as the winner. Yeah. Where's his type? Do you think Drew, Drew Gulak is the winner? No, not Drew Gulak, sorry. <laughs> but, but why has Drew suddenly lost all of his... It's like Space Jam when the, the basketballers lose their oh. ability. Oh, he's mental. Like, think back to it's when Brian he and match. Brian were... It's, oh, my God, how good was that match? Well, he's forgotten it all. Yeah, he has. Somehow. Because he's, he's not wearing the same outfit from that day. That's what yeah, it is yeah, yeah. Lost all his powers. He needs to... Yeah. They all need to find... Brian's wrestling boot and I'll touch it and, <laughs> and the power will go back in. You want to go back to losing on 205 Live? Then touch this ball. Yay. <laughs> uh, Nagamura does an interview backstage and reminds us that the Bloodline injured his tag partner. Sort and everyone of. goes, Ish. everyone goes, hey, yeah, wait a minute. Wasn't that going to be a thing at one point at Backlash? What happened with that storyline? <laughs> He says that when the time's right, he'll get his revenge on Roman Reigns. Oh, so in between shooting films or leaving for <laughs> yeah. Hollywood or whatever he's be doing. Sami Zayn overhears this and later tells Paul Heyman that he wants to wrestle Nakamura on the Bloodline's behalf. Heyman goes along with this and Sami requests a match from Adam Pearce for next week. Pierce says he can have the match tonight instead and Sami's like, no, that's not what I asked for, pal. Yeah, Sami's really good at this, isn't he? Like being like the weasel. Yeah, yeah he's not yeah. doing much, but what he has been given, he's done a lot with. Mm. Yes. Yes, he's and got, so there's some, still a bit of meat on that bone. He's mm. making a soup out of it. Yeah, well, that's it. Like with the count out, with the count out no. victory and everything as well. Like he's still finding way because like, after a bit, you oh, think, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, but worry. like after a bit, you, I guess when he just finds when someone finds just a way to get out, like when he was going through the crowd and stuff with Drew mm. and whatnot, we're like, okay, we've seen all of what this can potentially be, but then yeah. he keeps uh, finding ways. He's, he's a clever still, boy, is that, Sam? I was going to say, the one thing I'll miss him from this, put it over the edge, when he was running away, instead of being like, oh, he should have kept with his old, like, babyface gimmick and skanked all the yeah. way through the crowd. <laughs> that would have been so, doing all the jazz hands and stuff. Do, 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 do. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, you know, real big fisher over there. <laughs> he, um... I'm sure that Ash from Rise, who we know, said that, that after a, maybe like an NXT, you remember when NXT came yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he ended up bumping into Sami Zayn at like the head of Steam or I something. Think, yes, that's what they all And mean. he said that Sami Zayn was quite happy to talk to him because he didn't ask him about wrestling. They just talked about old punk bands. Yeah. And just like Sami Zayn oh. knew, knew his stuff apparently like mm. a lot. But um, it's Zayn's so good. I think I've mentioned this before, but there's a, a football YouTuber who we follow each other called Ellis Pletton. 
who does the channel called Away Days, which is like he goes to football matches, but he's recently started getting into like football shirt collecting and stuff. Oh, okay. But every year around December, he'll DM me saying, is Sami Zayn going to win this year's Royal Rumble? And I'm like, probably not, Ellis, I'm sorry. <laughs> but he, but what I mean is Zayn's still got, we still believe. Yeah. Yeah, You good for you for, no, tell him, yeah. And then he doesn't just sort of, ah, card subject to change. <laughs> <laughs> and Seamus and Rich Holland have a tables match against the New Day. It looks as though Kofi and Woods are about to win, but Butch comes out from <gasps> underneath the ring and attacks them. Seamus and Ridge get the win and have to stop Butch attacking Woods off the bell. Okay, whatever we'll match. Oh, um, the match never was mind that. Right? Yeah. The more important thing is being told uh, at the last week's podcast that the reason why Butch is so over in France Butch. is because of a French YouTuber called Sturry mm. who turned the Butch name into a meme. And there was the video of uh, the entire crowd going, doing the Iceland clap. Butch, Butch. Oh, wow. So he's a YouTuber. We're YouTubers. We can get a chant. We can get someone over. We can mm. pluck someone from the WWE roster yeah. and push them. Oh, we need to pick to someone. Next. I know. Who are we going to pick, though? <sighs> Could be Gulak. Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Drew. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> no, because they'll, they'll change that and pretend that it was for McIntyre. They'll oh, splice yes. that into his oh, video. Oh, you're right. Will. Gulak. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some words, is it? Uh, I'll have to think about that. Yes. Who's Who in the OSW style is our boy? Who's that? Well, it would have been Lindsay Dorado for me before he got Oh, yeah, that was a good pick. Yeah. He was so good. Oh, he was. Oh, I could have had and a grand out, Lindsay Dorado, turns out, which no one knew because they never let him, was legitimately hard and also actually a good promo. That's when he was like... Because he, he came out on, on a podcast. I think he might have Renee Young's podcast. Yes. And he, oh, yeah, and yeah. he had like a cool voice and he was like, like charismatic. And I'm like... Yeah. He's he so should have just said... What he tweeted on his yeah. promos, and no one will mess with him. No. That, that was the one where he was like, oh, I'm going to be here at this place at this oh, time. Like, why don't you come and have a fight? <laughs> like, I'm just, a, I'll just have finished. And then he put photos of the tickets, yeah. right? Yeah? So the guy good. deleted his tweet. What no, I, I'm here. <laughs> deleted his account. What, it was like, what were you doing there, Lindsay? <laughs> oh, I was just finished winning a jiu-jitsu tournament. <laughs> okay. And that was it. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Anyway. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, good, good tables match. Yeah, it was a good It was, it was all right. The New Day always put out the bag, don't they? They mm. always do well. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course. Lacey Evans does another video talking about her difficult this was, past. Right, this was on. Um, this time centered around family tragedies during her early wrestling career. And it was really serious. Yeah. I mean, it's such an abrupt change. We go from man-child thing that yeah, Butch yeah. is supposed to be to... Her tragic past. Yeah. Her music hits and she heads the ring for a big babyface reception. I've not really... Described that well. They 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 said, oh, yeah. please. What was it like? Show due respect. Well, she said she said that Lacey uh, Lacey asked to be shown respect right when she came out. Now that's a heel move. That is a heel move. That's it even is. a real level. It's very big. And heel by the time it's, it's, it's so many things can happen in a few days. Um, yeah. So this looks like she'll be. Oh, okay. This is this is really clutching at the heartstrings here. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell! They're really going for broke. But the crowd were reacting. So I was yeah. like, all right, mm -hmm. it's working. Uh, since it's, it's could be drafted to Raw. And it has a, a heel, and as a heel as well. Heel. After all this, so they spent like after a month. all these things. I know. I, I... But when the crowd got boo, I'm glad that happened to you. Like, yeah, what the, what's going to happen? <laughs> I don't know. That's going to be interesting. So bad when my dad left. Boo! <laughs> what, the, what the hell? You deserve it. Yeah! Like, I'm not actually saying she did. All but... those. No, no. She lists, She recaps all the horrible things that have happened to her. And she goes, and none of those things were as bad. Is being right here in New Trenton, Jersey. <laughs> oh, that's how you get it. Oh, I was ready to cheer for you. Yeah, <laughs> it's very odd, and I wonder how she feels because she's had to. She's clearly like been up for this and said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell the story of like my difficult past and stuff and bad mm. things that have yeah. happened to me." And now they're like, "Oh, you're gonna be a bad guy now." I'm like, "What? Weird." Oh, I, mean, I think she's a bit postmodern, and she's telling all these horrible things that's happened to her career, but she's got like the rival sports jersey. <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you, but boo. We're really going to confuse this crowd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then Sammy beats Nakamura via count out after hitting that Louver kick on the floor. It's a hell of a kick. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that was a weird decision because mm. they just implied that Nakamura is going to at some point be the number one contender. Yeah. And then Sammy yeah. just. Well, the time him. is right. So okay. that could be, you know, December. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Drew McIntyre and RK broke up a promo in the ring, and they're all really cool baby faces. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want to sum up everything they said. Oh, yeah, like, good. Me and Randy, we're cool now. We're cool guys. We're, we're cool. 
Drew acknowledges Roman Reigns as the biggest piece of poo on Oh, yeah. Earth. He's yeah, got, got him there. Oh, I acknowledge him. him. He's got That's him. the most modern era WWE line ever. Uh, I acknowledge him as the biggest piece of crap <laughs> to a bigger house. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. The bloodline interrupt and hit the ring for a big brawl. Jimmy and Jay get hit with a par- uh, pair of RKOs and Drew hits Roman with a Claymore to end the show. Ooh. And basically letting everyone know on wrestling, they ain't winning. <laughs> and uh, still, sadly though, I still about, thought they were well, winning. Uh, 100%, really? 100%, really? 100%, oh. 100%, no I'll way. I'll explain later. Well, actually, but, yeah, yeah okay. I'll go on that. But, okay. And uh, this is the point of the show I went, oh, they're not. Last week, it was a tight tight unification change yeah. to six man. Oh, don't worry, Jack and Ross. I'm sure they'll change it back and yeah. there'll be all the titles on the line. No. No. No, they didn't. They oh. just abruptly changed that cool idea into a very less cool idea. But then also confusingly on Raw this week, and we'll get there, they were talking about wanting that match again. In, in terms of you know, and I'm like, oh, uh, you want yeah. to come to us to get the tag titles? Yeah, we want to come to you and get the tag titles. I'm like, oh, okay. It's so strange. Right Why now. do they keep teasing yeah. it? They're not going to give us exactly. It. Strange. Because yeah, Fox went, um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, that's Jack's cool little name here. A W Rampage, aka the assassination of Yuka Sakazaki by the coward Riho. Oh. What a good film that was. I've never seen it. All read, all, all, <laughs> yeah, read, you know the, all read the plot synopsis. Oh, okay. So that's rare for me. I've not even yeah. read the plot. I've not even spoiled it for myself. So yeah. I might watch that. No, it's really good. So the, the guy's life after, before, I've during, already... after. And he's just, uh, the, everyone around him being like, oh, I can't believe you did that. Uh-huh. But he's like, it's kind of justified, but at the same time, it's like, uh, yeah. But mm. I've, only, on, I've already watched my one highly regarded film this year. So good that's film. it. What was Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation. Oh, no, oh, it's two. So good. good version of Lost in Translation. My God. I'm over my quota. Wow. wow. I've got to skip next year. So you've what? never seen Lost in Translation before? I have now. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah, was, but before. Oh, it was wonderful. It's so good. Yeah, it was a really, really good Hall so of Fame good. pick you did. It's just like, it's a good film, you know. It didn't they're, win. They're literally <laughs> Lost in Translation. I mean, Ross is staring at him going. No, Ross uh-huh. didn't. Ross hasn't seen it. No, no, but like, we were both looking at you like, Okay. It's good. It's just a good film, isn't it? Is, but there was no joke about it. <laughs> no, it's yeah. right. Okay. I just watched it, it the night before and I thought, oh, it's lovely. Oh, for that. Yeah. Scott Johansson was like 17 in it. She was yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah. She, she was, was really good. good. And Bill Murray was like 70. Yeah, well. Yeah, well he's always 70. Yeah. Bless him. I came up forgetting he's in Space Jam. I love that. I have I've on a trunk and now oh does not and then a house party no one's reacted like they do in space. Danny DeVito's character is like, I didn't know Dan Aykroyd was in this. Stupid joke, but it works. There's the bit where he's dribbling the ball down the court and then he's like, Oh, I'm going this way. No, don't ever trust Bill Murray. And when he's when he's watching Michael Jordan like come back to reality and all this stuff, he's just like could it be me, man? Oh God. Be me. He absolutely steals, he steals the film. Like, yeah. He's only in it for like 10 minutes. Yeah, he's only yeah. in it for long. He starts to tell the team what to do. And then Michael Jordan's like, we're playing defense. And he's like, I don't play defense. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to lose. We'll be alien slaves. I don't care. I'm not playing defense. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, AD Rumbridge. Uh, Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter take on Tony Storm and Ruby Ruby Ruby, Ruby Soho. Mm. Their baby faces win after Tony rolls Britt up for three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do I have any Planting the seeds. Like, oh, what's going on here then? Mm. So I've filled in a year-long predictions contest on ProWrestlingScoreCards.com, which is you can f- free to sign up. It's just a predictions contest online. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about starting a league for the guys at work. <gasps> I'd actually like that. Um, oh, it's a league. I like that idea. Well, you could. I don't think it's an ongoing league, but every every pay per view you can have a little contest oh, okay. amongst yeah. yourselves. Mm. Um, so I'll pop something in the chat. Yeah, do. Um, but it's really good. Uh, I've I've won one. I won, okay. I won the NWA Hard Times event. So now I've got a little oh. X1 next to my username, which means Ooh. I've won one. Um, but I've not won any more, but I filled in a year-long predictions contest. And one of the two of the predictions were like, who's going to win the men's and women's Owen Hart tournament? And I went for Ruby. Do you agree? Oh. For the women's one. I went for Dax for the men's one. Oh. <laughs> no, no. I want, no, I mean, after, currently my nominee for the rest of the year so mm. far. Dax. Yeah. yeah. For tag yeah, matches yeah. and so singles good. matches. So very, very versatile. And his promos. Like Andrew. Look, you do the podcast and you get beat up by Ross and Pacitti. And He's also else. playing your favourite. Jack's going to have a go with him later on. He's playing your favourite gimmick. Bre- big Bret Hart fan as well. Yeah, big Bret Hart fan. It's like fan. made for you. <laughs> hey, yeah, me and you, Dax. Whoa. I find Ring it this. odd, but good, but weird that your favourite wrestler ever, I think he's probably your favourite wrestler ever, Bret. No, no, no. Favorite ever is Mick Foley, but oh, really? Oh, wow. But that's Pachitis as well. Yeah, but because no, that's because <laughs> but because it became such a thing online 
through the period I was like, you know, talk about like 10 years ago, so people going, oh no, Sean's better than Brett. Meh, 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 meh. Yeah. And like, Brett's miserable. Meh, meh, meh. I'm like, nah. It's whenever there's an upsurge and people going, no. It's really started to turn now. I think yeah. it has as well. Mm. Yeah, because it's like, oh, Brett Hart's style match. I mean, they are quite, as Hangman Page said, masturbatory Praha references. <laughs> yeah. But if you're going to steal, steal from the best. Yeah. But it's I find funny, it that you're one of your favorite wrestlers then is like the most anti-comedy like he's not a funny it's not botchamania material <laughs> he never botches in fact yeah, very rarely yeah. yeah um no i mean i'm not like yeah my favorite rest of all time is a guy who botches ha 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 no, <laughs> I mean, funny. no but like that's what i mean like brett Hart would be there when you were a kid was he was oh, he when you were a kid was he dude, the, yeah. the promo like it's only people go like oh brett's promos were bad i'm like oh sorry he wasn't sh shoving fireworks up his ass like, <laughs> now, now i'm like cornet i was like oh sorry he's not <laughs> hook or you know dan howells and whatever but like he'd be like well, my opponent may be bigger than me and tougher than me, but you know what? I am the World Wrestling Federation champion, and I'm here. I've got the five moves. I've got to do all the best I can. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Lots of representation by my back. He would always put over his opponent. Like, yeah, 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 and that yeah. opponent yeah. might come out, it's, you know, Barry Howitt. Yeah, you yeah. know, and you're like, yeah, I, I, he's such a good competitor, but I'm going to do my best here. Represent all the kids and the German people who love me for some reason, <laughs> you know, and all that stuff. I was like, yeah. Fair enough. And then I couldn't show Michaels, who's dressed like a whore. Yeah. And I'm uh, like, <laughs> Well, tonight, I'm going to take this match really seriously. I'm like, uh, I hate you, Shawn Michaels. I'm so glad Sid Vicious killed him in Survivor Series. <laughs> Even as a kid, I might get him. So, yeah, that's why so I like Brett. So with the crowd? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Wrong, Wrong time oh, and place that for that, was the rematch of the Rumble? No, 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 no. Was... The first match yeah. was at uh, oh, Master right. Square Garden, yeah. and they were like, yeah. Is that the one where Jose Lothario gets hit with the... Or was that before that? No, he hits him with the camera, yeah. and he screams some obscenity at him as loud as possible. I was like, yeah, get him. <laughs> get that old man. This must be a sympathy spot. Anyway, um, Eddie Kingston... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Look at my own notes. Eddie Kingston calls the show... Yes, he calls the show. He bullies the show into calling, and he gets the old school graphic of the phone. <laughs> so good. You know, a phone I which wanted, looks like this. I, I really <laughs> wanted the Metal Gear Solid Codex, but oh, it didn't. Oh, it was amazing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Uh, or like, it's like an 8-bit... Like Judas. Like, yeah. This is the reason I... I need to do with that. Uh, message for Chris Jericho commentary. He said that Jericho's fireball messed his face up. I mean, his wife of 20 years cried. Yep. So now Jericho's in real trouble. Has he had a wife of 20 years? Um, Eddie, Eddie Kingston has apparently been married for 20 years. It isn't true, but yeah. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay. We all believe it. He said it yeah. that often. True. Yeah. Uh, Rio beats Yuka to qualify for the own heart tournament but not win the Hall of Fame I've missed a bit I'm sorry and they don't even explain her actions to Fight at First 2019 it was a good match that, you know what it was an alright match I don't but care she did the downward spiral off the top yeah which is going to take a lot out of them and the crowd were like uh Mm. What happened? Let's see who moves first. I don't again, old man wrestling, but I don't, really I don't weird. get the idea. Oh, of that they did move. it early on. It was at the like, top. It's like downward yeah. spirals. Like you've just rock bottomed yourself at the top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was so I don't get the logic weird. of this at all. Like, all right. it, it was. It. I felt like everybody in the crowd was super flat for it until uh. that happened, and then everyone decided to go. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as she like it happens, isn't it? Fears. We were bored to tears, yeah. but wrestlers now you've have, done something. Wrestlers yeah. have. Um, Somehow found the magic formula that if you pause at a certain point of a match and do a double down, the crowd will somehow always chant this as well. Yeah. It's weird. Hopefully. Weird. There are the few times it doesn't. Uh -huh. It's like, oh, no, I, I'll give you the sympathy. Clap, I, clap, clap. Backstage at WCPW, I saw the Young Bucks call in a match. Oh, of course, they know how to do it. And yeah. they would predict, and correctly predict, they'd be like, and then we'll go down and it's like, this is awesome. I'm like, how do you Did know? You just know. Yeah, yeah. And they were right. <laughs> yes, and, and, and sadly, they were yeah. <laughs> Hook beats JD Drake. Oh, the sorry. ICW lads we had in just they're like, all right, okay. Oh. Show offs me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hook beats JD Drake in a short match. Danhausen comes out and asks Hook to be in his corner for his match against Tony Nice next week. Hook shoves Danhausen, but leaves him a birthday present, a bag of potato chips with a bow mm, on it. Yes, I put crisps yeah, in yeah, my well, I translated. Hook thinks about accepting the gift, but drops it off and walks away. They're his favorites. This is fantastic storytelling. Oh, my yep. favorite love story right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best like, uh, goth in a twunk storyline since so... Malachi Black and Name Redacted. <laughs> it's so anime. It's a it really anime is. Story, it actually man. is. I can't believe it. Are they gonna? It's so kawaii, guys. <laughs> yeah. Kawaii. <laughs> The, the uh, jock and the goth kid. Yeah. Will they coexist? Oh my God, it's Nothing Greece. Better. Oh, it's Greece. It's Greece. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to see Hook dressed like John Travolta. <laughs> what, and Dan Housen is... Sandy. <laughs> oh my God. He scrubs himself, so himself up and then Hook's like, 
Sandu. <laughs> Dandy? Yeah, Hook comes. Danhausen dresses himself as Hook. He comes down. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, Meanwhile, oh Jim Ross is like on the, the comedy drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, whatever. I've had enough of wrestling. Yeah, JL's J- J- nodding. <laughs> oh, great. But yeah. do you know what? Everyone else is. The yeah. whole crowd are well yeah. into it. Dan Lambert cuts a heel promo in his hometown Baltimore crowd for mm, some reason, yeah. which is like, wait, you're, we're cheering so, you now. I thought uh, AEW acknowledged hometowns. Mm, yeah. And uh, also, yeah. Uh, why is only Scorpio Sky the fate? Oh, right, we'll right. recap this. One. Ethan Page says he's sick of Sammy Guevara and Tay Conti. And the crowd's like, yeah. And the mixed tag match, they promised it's off because he's knacking himself. He was too busy going to Mexico to win a tag title despite not being able to wrestle. Oh, well, fair enough. In a yeah. match he wasn't in. <laughs> ah. Frank Azarian interrupts. Still wants his TNT title shot against Scorpio Sky, which he did say, if I win, I want that off you. He goes, all right. Sky agrees and says he wants to be fighting champion. Says that, And he's like, okay, getting cheered. Yeah, that's good. So Paige is a bad guy. Dan Lambert's a bad guy, but you're a good guy. Mm. Okay, I think we get it. And then Scorpio says, yeah, uh-huh. the days of the TNT title being passed around like take on the backstage are over. And it's Whoa. like... And it's almost weird. It's, it's like, 1995. Oh, yeah, you know, it's he's a good guy in AW because he's just belittling women. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign now, apparently. It's really weird. Jericho wrote this bit. I'm waiting for JL to call her a Jezebel on commentary. Oh, a damn Jezebel. It's coming. I am. Do you remember when, I think it was Tori, Kane got his hands on Tori after she betrayed him. And I saw that back recently. Not Tori Wilson, uh, DX Tori. Yeah. Oh, yes. Can Kane? She left Kane yeah, for X yeah. back, and then Kane got his hands on her. And now, if that was today, it'd be like, whoa, whoa, Kane. But JR's like, Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. Like, well, she does, but. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Jungle Boy and Ricky starts getting a brawl near the commentary table. Jungle Boy comes out on top, woof, and holds up the FCW title. <laughs> title. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't think of anything else to say in this bit. Yeah, it was just it's to set up the fine. dynamite match, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and then Jay Lethal beats. Uh, ooh, okay, go. go on. I can do it. Go on. I think it's Konosuke Takeshita. Yeah. Fantastic. Good enough yes. for me. Lethal, Dutt, and Big Satnam Singh do a beat down afterwards, but the best friends run out for a brawl. Smojo tries to get involved with a lead pipe. He's going to be standing his way to end the It's show. a real lead pipe, guys. He drops it on the floor and it makes the it, ting, ting, true, ting, ting true. sound. Uh, I, I I know Ross isn't here, and uh, and apologies for this, oh, okay. but uh, Richard, can this be the big beefy bussing moment? Oh, of, uh, you're gonna take his bit, please. I'm taking the bit. You take his bit. It's time for my big beefy bussing moment. If I know oh, no. the downstairs editor's office. They will have cooked up something magical for Andrews. Oh, have you not seen it before? So we oh, used yeah, to use it, it on the yeah, 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 review thing. Yes. Um, but the the lariat that um, Konosuke or yeah. Konosuke does to Jay Lethal off the top rope is okay. so good. He's a really good boy. <laughs> He's good at wrestling. <laughs> He's a good boy. He is good. <laughs> good boy. Give him a stroke. It's a weird thing that um, in Japan, the, the depth of talent there is so deep. That you forget that I even like, even their all right wrestlers are like really really. Well, good. I um I, I've actually wasn't too familiar with him until recently when uh, a YouTuber that I watch called uh, C Dog VA did mm. a thing at, at DDT where he trained to be a wrestler for like a day and then they did a match and uh, Konosuke was in there as well. I've watched a bit of C Dog VA. Yeah. Yeah. He's. He just gives me such heel energy, Andrew. He's just, he's oh, a... Oh, I'm, I'm from an English boy. That's but why he's, he's from, a good he's from Wales, Where's, where's he from? Wales, apparently. He's from but Wales, he's like, but he he sounds so oh, English. He sounds it's like ridiculous. every lad I went to uni with. Um, he's like, oh, I'm here in Japan. I he's like, like, a, like a 70-year-old in a 26-year-old He is body. very good. He's very good. He's very, very but good. I just want him to turn heel, basically. I was just thinking, like, yeah, this YouTuber needs this, to go He bad. needs to go heel. My favorite one is Abroad in Japan. Abroad in Japan's so good. Chris is amazing. He's great. Chris is a good... He's the CM Punk of of he Japanese is. YouTubers. I watched a bit of him before going to Japan, just so I didn't massively put yeah. my foot in any situation. He was really good. He's really, really good. Mm. I enjoy all his documentary ah. stuff. Oh, we're showing out uh, Joseph Weirdness put out another video, and it was just the one match between Fujiwara and Tenru. Mm. And it's just like, great. It's like, it's so great. Because Fujiwara, like, Tenru, he used to just boss people. Right? He used to wrestle like, eh, middle and times in the 90s. Here comes Fujiwara. He's not going to take any of his guff. <laughs> <laughs> Fujiwara's tough enough to take it, just smile as he hits him. He's like, hey. <laughs> One thing about whenever, 
like a YouTuber or a TV show or whatever does a wrestling episode of whatever they do. Yeah. I find it hard to watch because I know that you can't expect them. You don't want to be like gatekeeping and you don't want to expect them like to get everything in depth and right. You know, it's going to yeah. be a dumbed down version yeah, yeah. of what wrestling fans understand. So that I just can't really bring myself to watch them a lot because I'm like, you're getting it wrong. But I, I, I like it. I like the Sea Dog VA one though because okay, he like, actually it, goes into it's DDT. It's Chris Brooks, isn't it? Uh, yes, Chris yeah, Brooks right, is in okay. that one, yeah. And, and like he, he, he actually like takes time to understand and learn stuff i think i've oh does he yeah oh, fair genuinely play, fair yeah. Play to him. i think i've seen a clip where like he mentions how tall chris brooks is and i'm like mm. yeah chris brooks famously loves being reminded how tall he does is. he no no i think because if you're that tall people will just mention it all the time he's a very tall boy though. i can understand not wanting people to be like bloody hell you're tall you're also, what's what's weather like up there that's what yeah, you always yeah, ask yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, you, what, yeah. what it's like that's, oh, that's, that's what you are i've seen him <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know that about Chris Brooks. I've just someone's told me that he doesn't like being reminded how tall he is, but I could be wrong. You I should know. ask him next time you see him. I don't know him. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you call I, him, I said, might carry along the I wind. Said hello to him, I said hello to him once and it was really awkward and he kind of ignored me. And I Aww. was like, it's because I thought it was Angelico, who I do know. And it was out the corner. Ah, ah, oh, and, it, no. and it was out the corner of my eye. Oh, no. I was just out the front of like a building and. Just, I thought it was on Helico because I just saw him out the corner of mine. He was tall and he had the sweepy fringe, and I was like, "Oh, you're right, mate," because I because uh, I've met him before. Yeah. Like, oh, you're right, mate. And then um, it was Chris Brooks. I've never talked to you. Just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> CCK. Oh. I thought it was on Helico. <laughs> Easy mistake to make, Jack. Easy mistake to make. Oh, you're the other pretty one. Sorry. There were about worse. <laughs> there were worse people to be mistaken. Yeah, for. I was going to say. You know, Anyway, uh, yeah, whatever. The Ring of Honor division in AEW still know what the hell it is, but they're not going to figure that out. Um, but we do know WrestleMania Backlash. It says here, no sizzle, all steak. Okay. Yeah, no, mm. no sizzle, all steak. Because there was no build, ah. but it was solid. It was a solid show. Yeah, and it, I'll tell you this before we get into anything else: a three hour or less than three hour yes. illustration. Fantastic. Couldn't believe no, it. Any, no pre show malarkeys. Just no. wow. Okay, great. Cody Rhodes beats Seth Rollins again, this time by grabbing the tights. Seth is angry afterwards. A big surprise here. Yeah. Although it would be really obvious. Mm. All right, you beat me, I beat you, but no. Set up a hell in a cell. That's what I was thinking oh, was going to no. happen. But then that's, the... not, that's next, I think. Yeah. Oh, of course. Oh, money in the bank next. No, I think so hell in a cell, then money, the the money in the bank. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and it was nice as well because it was a dirty finish, but it's because mm. Seth tried to do it to him first. Yeah, he so did. it's yeah, like okay. Um, in hindsight, I'm like, it's one of those ones where I also thought Seth was going to win. But mm. then afterwards, I was like, no, nah, they can't beat Cody this early. Yeah. Even if it is, like, with the tights. I, I, so looking back, I'm like, no. But now it's a, it's like, well, oh, no, it carried on on Raw, didn't it? it carried on. I was going to say, how do we get yeah. to the next match? But it will find out. Yeah. yeah. Again, oh, Seth's class. annoying. Good Seth's man. annoying. Like, a lot of people, like, I, I don't care about his character at all. Uh, is he face? Is he heel? He's just he's annoying. A, he's, Matthew is a heel. Uh, but then <laughs> he has this banger of a match with Cody. I'm like, oh, damn it. I can't, like, just outright dislike him now. I, I agree with Matthew in terms of is he a face or is he a heel? Until, 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 until this week. Like, this uh, week he's clearly made it. Like, because he was being quite Your nice. Your dad before. wasn't good enough. Yo, oh, is he a face uh, or the, is he? The, the Cody. <laughs> oh, sorry, the Cody. The Dusty. The, we, 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 we. I swear that, like, someone in the comments of the pitches video said, wait until Seth Rollins comes out wearing the polka oh, dot. Oh, my God, he is. He's How gonna wear good would dot. that be? He that is. would be so good if Seth came out with, like, a polka dot Why suit Why would he be dressed as Tommy Dreamer? No. No, Matthew. Like, no. It would be weirder if Seth came out dressed as NWA Dusty Rhodes. That would be like, what's he doing? Yeah. Denim and like... What if we don't have a Hell in a Cell match? What if we have like a bull rope match? I thought you were going to say like a one man... <laughs> Wait, you did this with your hands. Like, I thought you were gonna instead say... of cell, it's bull ropes. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a one man war games match. What you... <laughs> Just, I don't know how that would work. Stop it. No, I don't I think it would be very that. good. Uh, have you seen the thing going, going around on Twitter at the minute? It's a picture of somebody dressed as Dusty Rhodes front row or whatever yeah. mm. and Cody's like ha 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 and people remind him like Cody it says every day he has to hear someone do an impression of Dusty Rhodes and he hates it yeah. and he'll always have the biggest fakest smile on his face but he never likes it you like, see him in interviews with people and yeah. for some reason every wrestler can do a Dusty Rhodes impression yeah, it's, it, it's hard not to oh, yeah, yeah. Like, but he, he never goes like like he always manages to be like, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's, dad, that's my dad. Imagine. Of all the crap impressions of me dad, that's the crappest. <laughs> I just imagine going around and people doing impressions of my dad to me all the time. My dad's so? like, what carpet would you like? And that's his, that was his job. Do you think he's like Chris Jericho? Right, it still is his job. Hey, your dad, yeah. Uh, hey, one Savloy dip, please. Yeah. <laughs> 
It might be like Jericho where he's got a list of every single person. You know, like Jericho's got the uh, list yeah, of the yeah. matches he's he done. He published it, I think. You might have a list of every single person <laughs> who's done a dusty impression. Yeah. Bless him. Have you interviewed Cody? Yes. but the Did you do a the, the dusty? No. Oh. The audio went wrong, so we couldn't use it. Oh. But that's how I first met him, and since then he's always been really sound whenever we've met. So mm. to be, he, it was bumped oh, into okay. him in Japan, and he came over to us and was like, how are you doing, guys? And I was like, that's really sound, because he didn't have to do that. Anyway. We thought Matthew swore, but he didn't, if that gets cut out. Yeah. Um, we'll cut out because we want Cody to be on this channel. One but day. I'm just, <laughs> I'll put Cody over massively, basically, as a yeah. as a as a blow because yeah. yeah, he's always been really sound. Mm. Yeah, and this yeah. match, like they very hot crowd, really into it. Mm. Yeah, and I've worried sometimes because this isn't the first backlash that Sephiroth has started, and no one else was being able to carry it the rest of the time. You had that match with the Miz, uh, oh, is yeah. it 2019? I think mm. it was 2018, yeah. maybe, and the rest of the show was just yeah. Seth <sighs> always like his. How do I describe this? Like you know how people, you know how you, people talk about like like an American sports prospect is having a, a floor and a ceiling. It's like it's how high they could rise, or this is how, how bad yeah. they could be. His floor is so high, yeah, like he yeah. never has like a stinker. He's always he's always yeah. up there. Yeah, mm. yeah, good point. Uh, Almost beats Bobby Lashley after interference with MVP. Um, Lucky boy. So Omos is both a killer giant who's really big and also needs help as manager. I don't get what they're doing with them right now. No, and around I don't the, care and around this, I guess they didn't want to beat Lashley clean, but yeah, I mean that, that, that have, was it, have, wasn't it? They don't, don't have, have the don't match. Have the rematch. Yeah. yeah, at this point, it, people start. I think someone tweeted that all the rematches from this show were better than the original matches at Mania, which I'm not yeah. sure is true. I think Sean Rossap uh, tweeted that, and I disagree. I thought the I thought this match was worse than their original match at WrestleMania. Oh, this is way worse. Yeah. Than that. Right, and I was reading Imagine that. Imagine many wasn't even like that and then, amazing. Then but... I clicked on it to see if people were agreeing with them or not, and they were agreeing largely. And I was like, nah. I think some of some of them were, but I don't think this one was. Yeah, yeah people were yeah, referring right, to, yeah, people yeah, referring yeah, to yeah. that white hot almost match. Oh mm. wow, <laughs> wow, you really good. Yeah. They kept the one at Mania really simple, and it was better right. for it. Yeah, but la now that Lashley's already slammed him. But yeah, you well, when you, yeah, that would that right. would be like the huge payoff, right? Well, you think? Well, well what yeah. we got was that wily heel almost squeaking out a win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, next, Edge beats AJ Styles after interference from a mysterious masked figure. Mm. As the match is revealed to be Goth Rhea Ripley. <gasps> Saw that foreshadowing with a hang around that evil room, which may have been just because they were filming that next to her. At the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, bless Whoa, you. Bless. Sorry about that. Um, so this match, it was okay, but. Yeah, they're good, they're all right together, but I was just like, kind of skip the end. Oh, I wasn't really like wanting to see these more these these guys do it. Even even though there's nothing wrong with it, I'm yeah. just like, something's gonna happen, right? Yeah, let's see yeah, what it I, is. And yeah. that, that, that was the whole thing overshadowing yeah. it, really. And wasn't we got it? so it says Goth Rhea Ripley, so even more Goth even Rhea more, Ripley, I should right, say. Right, right. Yes, mm. it's already canny Goth to begin with. Yeah, well, but, I didn't. Oh, sorry, Jack. No, but you might go. be able to say what I was about to say. Oh, go, go on, go on, go on. Go I was gonna talk about Damian Priest at ringside, right? He was literally at ring. He got into the I, ring at one point. D that should have been a DQ. The one, yeah, that, the that one was... stipulation was that yeah. Damien Priest is not allowed at ringside. Yeah. And I said that was their one job. And then there were there was an argument in the comments of that video that I said that in oh God. about whether <laughs> it was so tedious. It was oh, like, oh no, it's not the definition of ringside. How far down? Oh, it, for well, it was no, the, the line, wasn't padding. He was Does the padding him. make it? And then he didn't. Did he? He didn't cross voluntarily because Balor attacked him. So that was. And then someone just summed it up and went, "The fact that we are even wondering this means that they shouldn't have done it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, allows you finish. And again, it's like, oh, this feud must continue. I'm like, does it have to? Well, they're building the stable. Yeah. But yeah. I really thought they were gonna like concerto AJ or whatever, or like to get him away from this. I thought this was going to be the end of their yeah. feud, yeah. and then the stable would move right, on, right. but no. Anyway, uh, then Ronda Rousey beat Charlotte Flair to become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Charlotte is later reported to have a fractured arm. I really like this match. Yes. It's good. Yes. It's very good. Yeah. Me too. Uh, yeah. If I was Ronda, I'd have been a bit offended by the referee because they have like a strike exchange at the start, and Charlotte wins it, and Ronda's like, oh, on the floor, and the ref's like, do you want to quit? <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes in, yeah. right? Excuse me. Again, I said the like the joke, like, ha-ha line last week. Like, oh, I'm really looking forward to this, considering it's a match designed to have both these women continue talking. <laughs> yeah. Ha -ha. But that that honestly was, like, the weakest bit. When there's, like, Ronda, do you quit? And she does, like, you know, you know wrestlers try and do these, like, badass oh. lines. And they're, like, no, no, no. It's, like, no, not in your worst day, like, <laughs> type stuff. It's, like, it's just, like, it, it, didn't, it fell flat because it's, 
I Quit matches are weird like that. They're not yeah. usually like looking forward to the unless it's like kiss my ass or something like that. <laughs> oh my god! Um, looking for me, Colonel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just quote films. Oh, I'm so good. You're alive. Well, I went for Street Fighter. <laughs> Oh, oh really? the Terminal Montage did a Street Fighter episode, and I thought about you because it's like it has just the audio roll, Julia. Oh. Now it is me who behold Satan oh. as he rolls from what heaven. What a film, Andrew! Have you seen it? I haven't seen. I've heard you talk about this oh. before, but I've never actually. It's seen my it. favorite bad film. Is it? Oh, yeah, likewise. It and it can roll. Just don't gets... expect the characters from Street Fighter to be no, accurate to no, how they are in the game. I don't. I don't. Yeah, you're right. Not especially. No, Ken. Ken, especially Ken and Ra Ryu. Ryu. Mm. Yeah. Big Ray. They're just like street Ray? hustlers. <laughs> uh, John like loves that. the Mortal Kombat one. Oh, right. Like, okay. That's apparently supposed to be a really bad, oh, good one. The, Mortal oh, no, Kombat. The, first, the first Mortal Kombat one is it's a proper decent video game adaptation. Yeah, yeah no, that's that's one where, again, if you're not into the, the games, you're like, ugh, probably like pulling teeth. Yeah. But if you are in them, no, that's a really it's solid good. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, no, I'll defend Mortal Kombat and go, no, that's all right. I'll, I'll Don't watch, watch Annihilation. The street, oh, okay. the street Fighter film has the best no contest in wrestling history. <laughs> There's a bit where <laughs> Ryu and Vega are about to have a cage fight in Ooh. this underground in the underground <gasps> street fighting ring that Sagat runs. Raw underground. So they're about yes. to they're about to face off, and then Guile Three, crashes through the wall two, in a tank one. and gets out all cocky. It's Jean Claude Van Damme, by the way. Wow. And goes, American hero with the thickest Belgian accent. Of course, <laughs> he goes, of course. You are all under arrest. I'm like, <laughs> yes! And then Sir Gats later on is like, you can't do this to me, Kyle. I own this city. Oh. And Kyle goes, well, I'm the Reaper, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's incredible. There's a bit where Kyle uppercuts Bison and flexes his bicep and there's an American flag tattoo. It's oh, so no. Cody, Cody's told the story of that. Dusty took him to see that <laughs> film. <laughs> Um, at the cinema, and when that happened, whoa, American flag! D Dusty went, yeah! And <laughs> cheered. <laughs> That's it's amazing. the best. Oh, uh, why have we done a watch on of that? Yet? We we couldn't work out a way to legally oh, yeah, do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. I want to watch that now. Mm. Maybe I think via cameo. It's like I'll send you an hour and a half cameo. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, good good match. Yeah. Street Fighter the movie continues to be referenced every week. Mm. Madcap Moss beats Happy Corbin with a sunset flip. Oh, good techers. Tackers. This Don't was tackers. like uh, competent, but I'm like, oh, all right, you I'm can on tell this. that Corbin is way more experienced than yeah. Moss. So you can tell that he needed to lead him through the match a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, Corbin does all right a lot of the time. Like, I like this. I guess I like the story of you know the thing where he goes, "Oh, I'm out the ring, just kidding, I'm back in," and he did that. But the second time he did it, Moss knew, and that's when he hit the sunset yeah. flip. Mm. I guess I like that. That was good, but it's so weird what happens, like, do it twice in one match. Yeah, which he never yeah. does usually. It's like, oh, here comes a reversal. <laughs> but, yeah, you know what? It's just like, all right, cool. After that, this is the cool-down match. There's certainly a place for it. So it's a cool-down match. As a, as a reason to get up and look for the, the shirts on sale, uh, go to the toilet, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, good. Well done, lads. Yeah. Fine. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, yeah. It didn't even matter because then the bloodline mm -hmm. beat Drew McIntyre and Bro in the six-man tag team match with Roman getting the pinfall on Riddle. It is sickening. How good Randy is oh, after all these my years. God. The man should just be doing, I don't know, chin locks or doing, you know, like signings, whatever, <laughs> next to, uh, I don't know, uh, Dave Schultz or whatever. But no, instead he's just doing these and he's still banging. So this good. was a sweet, really hot mm -hmm. six man tag. The, it's like a good sandwich. It paper. really yeah. was. And it, better than I thought because I thought the match was going to be built around the hot tag to Drew. And, right. and and kind of what it was at the start with Roman pretending to want to fight Drew and then going, nah, that was a really mm. good bit as well. But instead, like they were, Drew got a hot tag, but Randy got a hot tag as well. And yeah. Randy's hot, I love Drew, but Randy's oh. hot tag, they were so much hotter for Randy's hot yeah. tag. Yeah. Randy's gimmick for the last five years is the permanently over <laughs> Randy Orton. Yeah. He's so good. The bit where Roman tried to blindside him and he just hit him with an RKO and the crowd went yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Oh! That was it. That was the highlight. So good. <laughs> the, people, I think people would be more hot for like Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns as well. Right now Rather they would. Than, yeah. At the minute. Like, yeah. That was so, so good, that yeah. match. And it was better than it had any right to be. I think it took the wind out of a sales yeah. when the unification match was off. But then yeah. it like more than made up for it. Though. Oh, yeah, this crowd didn't care. Yeah, exactly. So it was so, so and it, good. it built like the pacing was really good and yes. all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just I was surprised. I thought the result was going to be really obvious that Drew would pin one of the Usos and Roman would, yeah. would be like, "Oh no, mm. I'll have but, to settle this." I'll to, yeah, I'll have yeah. to get you next time. But it's like, no, they, they pinned him. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh, that's weird booking. As you think, oh right, they they're really coming away they're from really this. We're not doing strong. any tag tag unification. We're well, not going to do any crossover. Well, I mean, well, we'll see. Yeah, it's. This remains to be seen if this was a good idea or not, or it makes mm. sense because 
yeah, sweet match, but you think, wait, okay, mm. you, you really need an opponent right now, Rob. <laughs> yeah. There's, well, there's maybe Nakamura, and he's having issues with Sami Zayn, so mm. probably not. But as a show, I thought it was generally pretty good. Yeah, I it, thought it had. It was better than it had any right to be, at least. Anyway. Uh, you know what? The time I went, you know what? If you skipped it, no big deal. But if you watched it, you had lots of fun. But three very good matches on yeah. a six-man card. That's 50% very good, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't essential, but it was do, worth a watch. Do mm. we even need build anymore? <laughs> so they just skip to the next pay-per-view? Because it doesn't affect the quality of the show. <laughs> Yeah, there know. was some wins on here that make that, and I've said this all week, but makes me think that Hell in a Cell could just be WrestleMania Backlash Backlash Ooh, again. Maybe. Maybe. That's, every match That's what they used to do back mm. in the day, wasn't it? Because it used to be WrestleMania, then mm. Backlash, yeah. and then Extreme Rules. Yes, yeah. in that order. So it was literally, yep. So and then Extreme it? Rules would be the blow off because of the stipulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's going to be that. Yeah, the we'll see. builds are important. I mean, yeah. I guess we'll see because I think the I mean the almost Lashley one might finish next mm. week. Oh please, perhaps. Yeah, please. We'll see. Anyways, uh, well, anyway, anyway, Monday Night Raw it says Judge Dredge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good, but Dredge is a negative word. I know. Yeah, you like Raw? <laughs> oh, I'm of the opinion. By the way, before getting to this, and I'm from cruelly uh, corrected. Raw's had three or four weeks of being pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it has. I agree. More like Judge Good. Yeah. He's got him. That's yeah. right. Got him. I nearly tried to make a more obscure, like Judge Dredd. I was going to call it like Chief Judge Dredd or something. I just thought, no. Why not? Can't be asked. You couldn't have done it. Because yeah. not nice everyone story, knows 2008. Honestly, man, well. you would have slain with that reference. <laughs> Three people going, yeah, great, you idiot. Uh, RK Bro up in the show, and they still want a unification tag match. Like we said, we're great. Oh, yeah. you're coming for us? We're coming for you. Mm. How do you like that? And then, yeah, let's back down. We'll come on Friday, and okay, I actually, all right, well, so much for that little melter thing then, but we'll see. But then the Street Profits interrupt and go, hi, uh, <laughs> there's the other tag teams here. Yes. And they can say this about looking like losers because even though they haven't won it from them, they have beaten them yeah. yep. on Raw that one time. So it's like, it's like, oh, they're not just saying it looked like, all right, time for us to lose. It's like, mm. no, we can wrestle as well. And guess what? For like the six or seven time this year, they have another sweet match. That's so good. The RKO that uh, Riddle does. Yeah. Um, yeah. Out of the frog splash. Oh my God, it's so yeah. good. The, the Raw tag team vision so far has been the highlight. Yeah. Most consistent yeah. division or thing of the year. I'm just sad that the Street Profits always keep getting used in this role. Yeah. Because I like them as good guys. But you know, they're still good. Yeah. Are they good or are they heel? In they between. like that. They like that cut and that walrus. I can't they, tell. I can't. Well, which they, one, alignment which is. One? <laughs> oh, the street profits are so chaotic. Good guys. Do we have to come and smash your boat? <laughs> <laughs> Theory cuts a promo on the stage. Oh yes, that's right. On the stage. Yeah, like, I quite uh, like that. Yeah. Like old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very old school. Uh, because he's defending the US title against Cody Rhodes later on, and he's like, blah blah blah. Theory three three. Blah blah blah. People, I didn't hear a damn word he said. Was too busy going. Looks good. This. Yeah. 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 Uh, Judgment Day cut a promo in the ring with the newest member, Rhea Ripley. She says that joining the group was the easiest decision she's ever made. She's sick of signing <laughs> autographs for fans at the airport, echoing the thoughts of all the uh, wrestlers. Right, true. But I found it tonally a bit off because Edge is always like the darkness and the mountains. And the, he's always like speaking in grand metaphors. And then Rhea's like, I hate fans at airports. <laughs> I'm goth, therefore I hate everything. <laughs> yeah. right, fair enough. She calls out Liv Morgan and beats her via submission. Yes. The the fake crowd uh, cheering noise machine loved Liv Morgan. No, nah, Liv's over. Uh, mm. Mm. No, she is. She, no, she Are is. You sure about that? Maybe not. Yay! Dot wav. She has her. recently <laughs> been over. Mm. And beats her via submission. It was hard to take Liv seriously after Rhea's like, well, I was sick of teaming up with Liv and losing all the time when she was teaming up with Liv and losing all the time. <laughs> mm. It's the most justified heel turn I've seen in her memory. <laughs> after the match, Edge instructs Rhea to put the submission on her again. And she's like, all right. Yeah, and yeah. then and she, does. Yeah. she does. And no one saves her. <laughs> <laughs> but Damien Priest takes on Finn Balor. That loses via DQ and Edge and Rhea interfere. AJ Styles tries to save Balor, but they both get beaten down. So, we're going to get some tag matches, though. Styles and Balor teaming up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good tag. Yeah, that's quite exciting. Balor club lads. That could be all right. You know, so, does that mean they're on... Well, that's the NWO. That's, well, that's it. That's an homage. Yeah. Um, so does that mean they've got representation on three American wrestling companies then? It looks like it, doesn't it? Impact as well. Impact, as well, yeah. 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 Impact, yeah. Probably more. Got oh, a lovely little show, Under Siege. Yeah. Which if you thought WrestleMania Backlash was good, Under Siege was just... Yeah. It's hard to talk about it I because it was put, like, 
It was really good. Mm. I have caught up with that now. Yeah. You messaged me asking if I was watching it, and I was like, not live, but I might catch it later yeah. on. I did, and it was good. It was good. I didn't yeah. see it yet. Like, the card was weird, though, because it changed. Because I think Alex Shelley had like accidentally double booked himself oh. with a show in his home. Is that what happened? Right. Because Speedball was meant to be on the main show, yeah. but then he came out in the pre-show, and I'm like, hang on. Uh, still had a good match and everything, mm. but... Of course. Um, who did Saban wrestle that match? Was that Steve Macklin? Yes. That was a great match. That's probably my highlight of the night, and I was like, Steve Macklin had that match with, um, oh, what's his name? Trey Miguel. Yeah, that was time. really good as well. He's a bit of a machine now, when he Macklin. That, when was he like that in WWE? Yeah, like, what the hell? Who are you? Yeah, he's, cl he's class. And also in Impact, he looks bigger because in WWE, everyone's huge. Mm. But yeah. in Impact, he's like, especially when he's wrestling the X Division guys. Yeah. I like that move when he puts them in the Tree of Woe and then just spears them. Yeah. Oh, I've yeah. seen that. That's very The good. crosshairs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I got you about crosshairs. Because <laughs> I'm cross and I have hair. <laughs> And, and backstage, Chad Gable tells Kevin Owens that he sent samples to a DNA lab. And next week, they'll have undeniable proof that Ezekiel and Elias are the same person. That's right. Owens says that his brother, Ken Owens, <laughs> is here to prove that Ezekiel is a fraud tonight. Later, Ken Owens confronts Ezekiel in the ring and goes, Hi, I'm Kevin's brother's Ken. And she goes, Oh, nice to meet you. It's so oh, hey, Ken. <laughs> He no, played, it's not me. It's played, me. It's me. Played, it's so dead. But oh, hello, Kevin. <laughs> it's so good. They argue, and a frustrated Ken reveals he's actually Kevin. And he Ezekiel goes, "What?" Oh. <laughs> he and Ezekiel brawl till AA run out, and they help Owens beat Ezekiel down. Again, it's so weird because crowd loves Owens and everything yeah. he does because he's such a good uh, mm. an actor, uh, illustrator, a physical person, everything else like that. They're still not really into Ezekiel Elias, but they love Kevin getting messed yeah. around with him. And, like, and Ken. I've turned the corner on this storyline. I really like it. It's stupid, but it's funny. It's really yeah. good. I've been seeing people saying, uh, bring back Damien Sandow to play Elias. Oh. And how good would that be <laughs> next week when that they do so that? Good. And they're like, oh yeah, no, here's Ezekiel and, uh, so and good. Elias, and they, they are both separate. <laughs> Damien Sandow's proved he's, like, he's, like, he's a really good actor he can as do well. He can do stuff. It. Yeah, yeah. That would be, be perfect. so good. That would be really, really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and then Kevin can be like, "Wait, you look like some, someone else," <laughs> and then it keeps snowballing from there. That would be really good. He's just there once he's got that the always sunny in Philadelphia. Like, but <laughs> he was a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the sad though. I was talking to Owen. Is Ken Owen real? Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to Owen, our editor, and my housemate. Um, Ooh. Saucy. Who, <laughs> who? Um, not for much longer. We're both moving out. Oh, oh, what happened? Nothing. We're just both moving in with our girlfriends. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? I like your story. Because friends. Matthew was like, ooh, saucy. And now I'm like, the, no, the we, ruse we, is over. No, the gig's oh, no. over. Matthew, we broke up. Now's not the time. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, oh, man. And he was saying that his favorite thing on all of WWE, like t on Raw or SmackDown, is uh, Chad Gable. Loves mm. him. Yes, and so he is good. very good. See, there was the, the crowd had the shoosh, shoosh, shoosh please. Yeah, yeah he's so good. Yeah. He's over. Kevin's over. Uh, What's his name? Oh, it's his over. What's mm -hmm. his name there? Uh, Ezekiel, you're doing good. Yeah, he's, he's there. Yeah, he's there, bless him. It's going to what happens after this. Yeah. Like, yeah. MVP hosts the VIP lounge of Homos, uh, accompanied by a security... Oh, here we go. Uh, Senator Alexander arrives and still thinks he's part of the group, um, and it's rubbish, and nothing said, <laughs> and no one cares, no one reacts. It doesn't matter. They're in the right Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley takes out the security team. And when we say he takes out the security team, he batters one of them. And the other goes, <laughs> touches the moon, and then gets absolutely slammed on his ass. Oh, my God, what a mm. bump. That was my uh, woof, woof, moo, move of the week. <laughs> good God, did That's he slam good. him. And then he knocks almost out the ring. Uh, but Cedric distracts him long enough. All right, fine, pal. For MVP to escape, Lashley puts Cedric in the hurt lock, because that's all he does on Raw now, bless him. Then later backstage, Lashley wants to steal Cage rematch with almost next week, which, what? What's going on with the dynamic of this oh, feud? Man. Almost just running away from it. Well, it kind of it kind of did. The kind of killer giant with the manager needs to, mm. to win. Yeah. He's now running away from him. Now what's, wants to steal Cage. I'm, I'm lost here. What's going to happen? Because I feel like, I mean, Omos has got to win. But then you'd think Bobby Lashley's got to win as well. I think, yeah, we all came into this thinking... They're going to use Bobby to get Omos over. Yeah. But now it's like, are they using Omos, Omos. to get Bobby over? But Bobby's already over. Exactly. And Omos Cedric needs to be exactly. Oh, Is exactly. he going to get in? Is he going to jump over the cage and get involved? Cedric will something? maybe try that. Lashley's going to get in the security and just throw him over. Yeah. Like <laughs> I tried to make a the pun with the word exactly and Alexander and it just didn't work. Oh. That's why I shouted my own now. <sighs> that was good, that though. I didn't know it was Bad, it. bad. Bad? I've done it like three times this podcast. Don't worry about it, mate. <laughs> but, um... 
yeah, they should have never booked this feud. Yeah. It's doing no one any favors. No, no. At least had one match at WrestleMania and everyone moved on. But, yeah, but uh, no. That side, like, uh, backstage, Alan Pierce talks to Sonya Deville. She ignores him, say, yeah, whatever, Adam. <laughs> and it's off the ring for a match. <laughs> Pierce follows her and reveals, no, 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 I do need to talk to you. Um, because of your continued abuse as an authority figure, you've been stripped of your accolades. You're now just a wrestler. Also, here's your opponent for tonight. That's right. The returning Alexa Bliss. <gasps> Yay! Who's still got that bloody doll with her. Mm-hmm. Boo! Even though she's like reverted back to old attire and music. Yeah. What's but, happening? Because, because when she has the doll with her, these. she keeps the darkness away. But if she's too far away from the doll, oh, then she'll go evil again. That's why it's Elimination remember, Chamber. <laughs> Elimination Chamber, she was all darkness because she didn't have Lily with her. Yes. Col- clever. <laughs> clever. I'm glad. That I really still a miss thing. like goddess Alexa Bliss. Like, I just miss her so much. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I miss her so much. I know you went like West Country. I miss her. I do. I, oh, you miss her. I, I do. miss Bliss. <laughs> oh my tracker. It was a sparkle splash. Sorry, the villains lost their job. She has. <laughs> Backstage, Becky Lynch and Asuka argue about Asuka getting a title shot. Alan Pierce points out that Asuka doesn't actually have a title shot. She has a chance to earn a title shot by beating the champ. Becky doesn't understand the point of this. It says here, which is fair. It's very fair. You know what? Raw's been so solid and logical these past few weeks. Even though they usually do this and it's like, all right, why? This is like, no, I'm all right with it. Because yeah. at least they're making mm-hmm. a point of it going, why? I'm the champ. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You, know, you be the champ to get a shot. This is bollocks this. Then Asuka's like, ha ha, you suck. <laughs> Like a baby, and she was yeah. just doing that you for it. Baby, and crying. You're pregnant. Ah. <laughs> it's so good. I've been playing Death Stranding recently, and you do have to actually you have do to that at it, one don't point because you? you're carrying a baby with you, which works as a thing to see evil ghosts. So it's not oh. a real baby, but it is a baby. Okay. But if the baby gets distressed when you know guys are trying to kill you, um, you have to get the baby go oh, shush 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 shush, and actually get your pad and wave it up and down. Oh mm. really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Appreciate the baby. The baby's like, oh, night, cheers, pal. What are games going to be like in like another twenty years? Uh, if they give Kojima enough money, uh, weird. Oh, yeah, right. We will oh, be. Oh, there the won't game. be. Yeah, we will there be. There won't be if it's anything like Square selling off. Oh, my God. Oh, Every, that was pretty nuts. much everything. But NFTs. Mental. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's bloody Square. Bloody, bloody Square, right? Oh. I'd hope it would be so then they can focus on all the Japanese stuff, like Final Fantasy. But no, yeah, apparently it's NFTs. Yeah. Hook's the lad from Kingdom Hearts. That sign was on this week. Sora? Yeah. From Kingdom oh, Hearts. Oh, yeah. Hook is Sora. Hook is Sora. That was good. Because yeah. the hair. Because he's big hair. He's got anime it, hair. I people, thought some, it was... other people, other people on Twitter are like, God, yeah, it's cool seeing someone that, that cool and stylish on that. And everyone else is just like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I think... It's what you want, really. It was funny on two levels, because he does look like him. And also because Sora's all happy. And Hook's just Oh, like, Hook's not happy. Yeah, yeah. Sorrow. <gasps> and then you were like, I get that. <laughs> and like, I never got past Alice in Wonderland. I'm like, isn't that the first bit of the first game? Yes, it oh, was it the is, first yeah. bit of the first game. There was a platform section that I couldn't, the controls were bad. Uh, were the controls bad? I can't remember. You... I stopped and instead <laughs> I remember playing games more like Stuntman 1 and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, Stuntman. Such a difficult game. I was like nine, oh. struggling hard <laughs> to play Stuntman. Is it Stuntman? Is it Stuntmaster? Is that another one? Oh, Stuntman was the stunt... one where you're filming. A film yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. and... yeah. I had that. Because 180, bro... destroy yeah, yeah, yeah. the boxes. <laughs> but my brother had that, but he could press a button to do the um, the horn. But he had it so it did... Uh, oh. Every time, and we did that all night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good good fun. Uh, Frank... Jump the gap. Frank Loban is interviewed before his match with Via. He says he doesn't want to face Via but he has a wife and kids to provide for. Oh. He kills him. <laughs> yeah, so sad. That was Wardlow, that. At least he ring. got the loser's share of the purse. Yeah, he didn't look like a yeah, jobber, no, did he? No, did he? They big, looked like Wardlow. Big, yeah. He had the, like, the tights and then the hair. Yeah. I like that they do this when they build up. Like, mm. yeah, all right, yeah. cool. <laughs> give, it a, give it a look. Wait, are you from here? Yeah, I'm from over there. Yay, yeah. all right, cool. Gets killed. <laughs> oh, so great. He still looks like, and I'm, I'm not convinced about fear, because I would just like to hug him. He looks like a huggable man. <laughs> just big arms. Yeah, he yeah. just looks yeah, so like, he doesn't enough. look aggressive. He looks <laughs> like you could just give him a nice hug. Yeah, so does, in a different way, so does Jungle Boy, because Christian just couldn't resist. We'll get to it on Dynamite, but he was like, do I want to hug him? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on there? We'll get to it. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's exciting. <sighs> Sasha Banks and Naomi beat Nikki ASH and Dewdrop. Dewdrop shouts at Nikki after the match. Yes. <laughs> Nikki, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? 
your gimmick's crap. Uh, yeah, hopefully that moves on. Uh, Cody's interviewed backstage and says that after beating Seth last night, he considers their rivalry finished. Uh-oh. <gasps> and Seth's like, I agree as well. Of course not. Cody faces theory for the US title, and people are like, oh, here we go. Title change coming. But Seth interferes and beats Cody down, stomping his head on the announce table. Yeah, I think I think Theory is going to hold that for a while. Me too. So when they booked this match, I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Cody's obviously going to win. Yeah. And I forgot about Seth. Come on. How can you forget about can't Seth forget about and the winner of WrestleMania backlash? No, yeah. not at all. Then he was yelling at the moon, like, rah, 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 rah. Why? What's with the Seth hate? Because you, you say this, you mock Seth. Adam mocks Seth. Why? A Seth. What's his character? Just an annoying man annoying, in a suit. S- drippy, thank you, thank you. sooty, thank you. sweep. Good rest. And because it's comfy <laughs> too. <laughs> Intelli- <laughs> that was intelligent. Family so what what tunes, then? Intelligent. <laughs> cocky, like deluded. He's what his character's been around for so long now that you can't say like what's like who's like a, what's the Steve Austin's character, what's McFoley's character? They're just them now. Mm. Rollins is just Seth Rollins. It's because he laughs every set. Sa- laughing is not a gimmick. <laughs> uh, I like your, your impression of him makes me laugh. I, I like know. Seth. But I have since like in 2015, he was like my guy. You did? Yeah. yeah he was- oh, in the ring. Fine. Yeah. Let's but- go, Chuck Taylor. You're the best wrestler. In- that was against Rollins. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Miz reveals he- he's the special guest referee for Mustafa Ali versus Champa. Mm. Promises to treat Ali fairly. He doesn't, no, and let's he, Champa win. He does wah, what we wah, all wah. do when we're playing special guest referees yes, he does. matches yeah. on the games, and you want the person to win, and you just... Yeah. Done. The Operation best. Get Mustafa Over yeah. is going over. The Priority. best one was when The Rock was the special guest referee for that Triple H match. It might be against Bulldog. Oh, oh, he's like, oh yeah. Whoa, he's on the mic. He's like, two. <laughs> the right. It's it's the matter 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 matter. Matter. <laughs> the Rock counts three. <laughs> then so Bulldog good. pushes him. He beats him up as well. And it's like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> then they're both down. He's like, one, two, three, whatever. <laughs> both lose. I had a mate who wasn't a wrestling fan, but like remembered the attitude era from when he was a kid. Yeah. And he had two things that he just made him laugh uncontrollably. One, they were both The Rock. One was that. And one was the the one where Vince thinks that he's going to kiss Trish Stratus' ass, but then it's Rikishi. <laughs> So Vince is ready. Trish pulls her shorts down, and Vince like on his knees, like across the ring. And then The Rock's like, "Whoa, stop right there!" And then Rikishi's music hits, and Vince is like, and then Rikishi comes out, and Rosh, Rock pushes pushes Rikishi's face into his, his ass. But he doesn't just do that. The Rock's like selling the effort of it with the rest of his body. So he's like. <laughs> 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 my, mate, my mate couldn't watch it without laughing so much. And it's amazing. ridiculous. Just There's a gif of it. Just Rock just going... <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Vince is going like... <laughs> uh, uh, that's okay. Rikishi's ass was massive. It's it was. So yes, that, that was a selling point. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was a feature. Um, it's weird, like, I gotta say this. It's weird what some people remember from wrestling when they don't. Because my dad watched Wrestling With Shadows, the three oh, wrestlers yeah. he knows, because he saw that documentary. Yeah. Bret Hart. That makes sense. Yep. Shawn Michaels, yeah. again, that makes sense. And the road dog, Jesse James. Because <laughs> I think it was my dad's first. He's in that documentary for about t- two seconds. Aww. But I guess my dad was confused at seeing the Southern guy doing Snoop Dogg bits. <laughs> for that hair of his. I was like, okay, what? I don't know. Yeah, left a good impression. Anyway, yeah, good match. Thank you, Ali. Mm, yes. Thank you, Ali, for shouting me out. I love you too. Mm. Backstage, Dana Brooke and Tamina get our truth to serve Reggie and Tazar with divorce papers. Uh. Tazar runs away. And because of this, it's clear that this upset Ross so much that he could make it in the office. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. loves these bits. Uh, well, this was, this was the worst of the bits we've seen. Oh. In, in because I think they've been pretty fun. Okay. I think they've been pretty fun over the last few weeks, but this Why was, was this the week. Worst? It was just a weak one. Nothing much. It, nothing much, yeah. Just a divorce thing. It wasn't even about the belt. It wasn't. No. It wasn't. It was a house show 24 7. It was. <laughs> it was. And then Asuka faces Bianca Belair in the main event, but Becky Lynch interferes and beats them both down to end the show. And it was like, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. I was waiting for like one final twist, like someone yeah. else to attack, like someone mm. to get their revenge on Becky. But it was like, Becky spent the whole match, and I'm like, she, on commentary, and I'm like, she's going to attack them. Yeah. yeah. She's gonna, and then she did. And that was the end of that the was show. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been like, oh. Okay. Well, that's yeah. exactly what it says in the tin. Also, um, Byron was burying Becky on commentary. He was. <laughs> he was like, well, you're rubbish, you. <laughs> and Becky's like, Byron, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and it just turned into an argument between Graves and Byron. I was like, oh, uh, not again. Great, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, apart from that, though, yeah, 
Good well, it was all right. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. it was decent. Yeah, sometimes I, someone makes go, "Oh, what is this?" But this is yeah. I don't know a, a change in who's writing these things or putting yeah. them together, but it's been a really dramatic change. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying watching Raw. It's better than Smash Down at the minute, and yeah. I, it feels like the, it always feels like we're like round the wrong side of the like the dark side of the moon when this. It feels like the Earth is wrong when Raw is better than Smash yeah. Down. Yeah. The balance is off. We need it's to just get nice. Raw comes together. We don't ask for much. Is. We yeah. don't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, oh, uh, speaking of which, um, Lacey when, Evans when will Raw... be on uh, Raw soon. Yes, uh, as a not. Don't plenty of complaining. When Raw's week. better than SmackDown, it feels like when you become adult Link in Ocarina of Time and you come out of the castle. You're saying this because you're here. <laughs> I like it. And, Thank you. and everything's dark and evil, and you're yeah, like, what's, what's happened to the world? <laughs> Whereas SmackDown, you're back in the forest, you're having oh, a nice time. Running across the field, the owl's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Seth yeah, Rollins yeah. is there. Yeah. Ah, do, 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 do. Welcome to my shop. What would you like? Oh. <sighs> Buy someone and get out. <laughs> NXT 2.0. Yes. The passion of the Cora. The passion of the Cora. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. My girl, apparently. My girl. Oh, my so girl. you didn't say that. Because no. I think on a podcast, someone was like, that's Jack's girl, but... And I was like, oh, cool. You must just really enjoy her wrestling. No, Ross implied once that she was like my dream woman. And she is a of... skater girl. That's exactly what he's... I know, I've never skated in my girl. life. Liar. But he looks like he has, right? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. does. I'm really bad at it. I've, tried, I've done that thing where you're like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> just wobbling. But, um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I enjoy songs where you don't have to change the shape of your hand from that. That's about as scary as I get. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty that's good. good. Um, there's three pages of notes for NXT, so... The gaps are a bit weird in certain uh, bits. Though, this is well, the show was weird, the so don't worry about it. Well, there's just so much that happened. Yeah. We'll try and be quick, but... Uh, the show opens a recap. The aftermath for last week's main event. Joe Gacy and his druids. Take, bro, if you take uh, R and I out of that... It's all duds. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> take Bron Breaker into the field with a bag on his head mm -hmm. and leave him there. Yeah. We'll put a bag on his head. <laughs> <laughs> By pumpkin bumpkin. All right, I'll tell you for more of this. It's as if they knew Ross was going to miss this podcast because it was quite NXT 2.0, but it, it wasn't the most ridiculous of mm. shows by their standards. Okay, well, let's, let's wait until we see what's on the show first. <laughs> Toxic Attraction retained the women's tag titles against Wendy Chu and Roxanne Perez after interference from Mandy Rose. When he gets beaten down afterwards and later backstage, Mandy mocks Indy because Dexter Loomis left her. I don't remember it, but then again, mm. this is the company that said Cody Rhodes uh, first match back after Ring six years. Yep, yep. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, it's annoying because Wendy Chu is a character. I'm like, oh, what is this? But annoyingly, she's good in ring. Yeah, she really this is. This is a nice little match. And I'm like, oh, no, I have to take this seriously. Mm. So what do you guys think? Yeah, it was fine. I, I, I guess the build was the beach thing from last week. I saw a little bit of that. Oh, and yeah. it, what oh, yeah, did they right. do? They just took the flip flops, right? Well, earlier, they yeah, had, no, ground earlier was Wendy had like messed with the settings on Mandy oh. Rose's sunbed. Oh, so yeah, she came she, out all red. Yes, I saw and that. Then, she was red like that. a rose. Whoa. And then the other two members were like, we don't want to hang out with you today. <laughs> and then they went to the beach on their own and hilarity ensued. So. Fantastic. Anyway, Toxic Attraction have won in the end. They, so. Yes, they have. Well, we'll, have like, end. we'll have like a mini Ross and Spirit here and be like, um, yes, it was a very good, serious segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well written. Backstage, the Creed Brothers argue with Roddy Strong about him getting involved in the match last week. Because if you remember, Creed Brothers were wrestling the Viking Raiders mm. and then Roddy helped them win. And he was like, no, we were all right. And mm. Roddy's like, well, yeah. Like, well, yeah. Well, okay, you have another match and I promise to interfere. By the way, Here's the newest member of the Diamond Mine, Damon Kemp. Diamond Kemp. <laughs> he does sound like... On gangs. <laughs> <laughs> the Creeds aren't happy with this. He just needs camo on his face. <laughs> All right, Alfie Moon, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> happy to be here, part of the super army soldiers. <laughs> yeah. say, new members should be a group decision. And Roddy's like, I'll be going soon anyway, so I don't really care. <laughs> So, he didn't say that. So Damon Kemp is Gable Stevenson's brother. Yeah. Oh. But he's already done bits, apparently, taped in NXT, two, NXT UK, which to me sounds like he's more ready than his brother who they're hyping up to the moon. Is he yeah, but Gable's like... Um, as well? Gable's like one of the best amateur wrestlers of all time and all mm. that. But. Yeah, and he's quite newsworthy. Yes. Mm. What were you saying? Sorry. I think <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember if, he, if Damon Kemp's had matches on like 205 Live and stuff mm. already as well. I think he's had more matches... Uh, in WWE than obviously more, his brother at the moment. Is he more... Because obviously when Gable came out of WrestleMania, he was like, yep. And everyone was like, be bombastic, be, be a wrestler. And he's like, 
Right, guys. I'm, I'm not one. That's why I'm here to learn. What's that character that Fraser was telling me about of that film with the New Zealand pile of rocks? Hi, guys. Lost in translation. Hi. Oh, uh, the Thor. Oh, Thor yeah, Ragnarok. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I printed off some pamphlets. And, yeah. yeah. So that's what Gable Stevenson was like, yeah. here at WrestleMania, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, a little oh. bit of rock fell off me. <laughs> Fraser showed me clips of him. He was very good. He's very good. It's when, yeah. when he thinks his mate's dead. He's like, oh, he's alive. Oh, Nick. I thought I thought I stood on him on the yeah. bridge. Taika Waititi is amazing. Oh. It's him, isn't it? Yeah, 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 he's so good. I forgot about that. that we watched character. me and Joanne watched the. Uh, um, I've just slagged off Marvel it, earlier what on. We do, <laughs> is it what we do in the shadows? It yes. is, isn't it? We watched the film version. Yeah, we've been watching the series. The film. Yeah, yeah. But the film's so good. He's so good. Yeah, in that. Mm. I think yeah. I such a great idea. I think yeah, I originally yeah. compared Babyface Grayson Waller to that character because he was like, "Hi guys, Grayson Waller here." But <laughs> yeah. How you doing? Now he's, he's like, he's, he's the biggest now. heel in NXT and shop enthusiast, as we'll see. Oh God. Joe Casey cuts an in-ring promo accompanied by the two robed figures from last week. He explains that the army of druids are, are gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I furloughed them. <laughs> that was just a, it was a one, one day gig. They've, they've gone now. No, just these two now. Yeah, I've got them on Fiverr.com now. It's just these two lads. These, these are the best of the druids. Harlan, did Harlan get released or is he just... Yes. Yeah, he got released. Oh, he did, yeah. didn't he? I've yeah. lost track of who's got released. Yeah, Border uh, Pardo, I think. Yep. Yeah. I don't Parker Bordro. Parker Bordo. Parker Bordo. Border. But, Border. but he was <laughs> promising. He was, wasn't he? What was he promising? I don't think... Uh, everyone like, was just like, he, had, he looks cool. He had, but, yeah. he had crossover mainstream appeal because like loads of rappers knew him and were commenting on his Instagram posts and mm. stuff. And he was more charismatic on his own social media than they ever let him be. Yeah, so it's, the guy on social media and the guy who exists now is not the guy who's on NXT. Yeah. So, yeah. It, didn't they say that he got released because he wasn't showing any sort of improvement and stuff? But they didn't really give him any chance, right? Maybe he was... Yeah, yeah. Stay there and go, Grr. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe in the performance center he was really bad. Yeah, he could have been, yeah, yeah. That's true. Who knows? Yeah. In case he offers Bron Breaker the chance to join the group, saying that result will be eternal happiness. And then you see his eyes for a long... It's just a it shot of his eyes eh. for t- too long. We said this last week. Like, <clears> There's <throat> been so many like, evil cult leaders in wrestling. Yeah. Um, there's been Undertaker. There's been Bray Wyatt. There's been Mike Quackenbush. <laughs> and there's been... <laughs> oh, that no. joke just came to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologize. I like it to cut out. That's fine. Uh, but they no, all, they all yeah. apart from one of them, had a sinister demeanor about them. They were all like, get giant or rip yeah. or tattoos. Joe Gacy looks like some lad <laughs> who's taking order at Starbucks, perhaps. He can do yeah. good facial like, expressions. Nothing, but there's just, yeah. anybody can do, you, you do an evil grin. No. <laughs> Most anybody can do like, an evil, Andrew, do an evil like grin. My, I, don't like, I don't like my teeth grin. smile. Well, do the Joe Gacy, oh, that, that's because Joe Gacy look evil was doing just it. like, he just looked, he, that's it. <laughs> there you that's go. That's it there. Go Bron Breaker, join my group. They are all, yeah. Come to Sunderland, Bron Breaker. Visit Sunderland. Yeah, see it, I do know because we were talking about how he does the upside down Bray Wyatt slash yeah. Undertaker. Like, oh, I'm spooky now, mm. but he's not. He's just a man. he's just a man. Parker just a normal man. Been, just an innocent Parker, man. No, would have been scarier innocent, than him man. doing this. Yeah, so. yeah, that would have been so much better, yeah. wouldn't it? He does just look like someone at your local church or something. <laughs> yeah, who's been reading, reading some Reddit? <laughs> yeah, on, on a, uh, <laughs> I should God. be reading. <laughs> that's on. You're like, oh no, he's one of them. Uh, sorry, here we go. Here's the highlight. So Ray runs up to Andre Chase backstage, but he doesn't understand Japanese. Bodie Haywood does and translates. Uh, explain that. Yes, we have a language school here at Chase yeah, U. I'll yeah, i get into the match later on. But explain that. Is. Yeah. Explain that. So Ray wants a team with Chase in the mixed tag team match. Andre accepts. We'll get to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, we yeah. see. Oh, this, this is great. We see a few vignettes of the Ivy Dial Challenge where she does better at various <laughs> exercises than class of performance center recruits. <laughs> and it's just like, let's do push ups. Are you ready? All right. One, two, and it's like 30, yeah, 40. Yeah, Some cool. guy steps up, leave then. Is leave it? and you got to do I'm like, wait, you know, you expect me to be able to push ups at these places, right? Like, you know, in Anchorman, when so the girl funny. comes in the office and he's like, 98. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you heard, I, was, I did over 100. <laughs> but this was weird yeah. because I didn't understand. Is she, I thought she was leading the class, but then she's like, I'm going to outlast every yeah, one of you. Every single one of you. And then he leaves, and then she goes, yeah, as you say, she yeah. goes, leave then. Which, yeah. But he has just left. Don't come go. back. Yeah. And she even says, right, okay, if you want to leave, you can leave. Get and he does, leave. and she goes, ah! Oh. <laughs> what? You fell for my weirdness. And then the uh, last two, are, the last oh, two are her and that big guy. Yeah. And then the last round, chin-ups. And they're both mm. like, eh, eh. And then he eventually gives up, and she's like, 
pathetic. <laughs> evil <laughs> PT. <laughs> yeah, <he was> <laughs> Ivy PT. Nile. Weird. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, so here are a few sort of comments from the YouTube clip. Oh, yeah, this was to back up my point. That Thank you, yes. The uh, NXT universe is the most supportive and totally real universe mm. in the world. Here are some real comments. Do you want me, I'll do one. You want to do the one after that? Yeah, I can do, yeah. There's three, though. Her yeah. physique is impressive. This was also just a really amusing segment. It wasn't a comedy segment, but anyway. But there you go. Um, <laughs> Ivy Nile is the future of WWE. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. I'm honestly impressed by the time and effort you put into these videos. <laughs> Keep it up. Love her. Tick. Yeah. <laughs> Just giving a shout out to small time content creator uh, WWE. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well done. You shot that well. You did that. That was really good. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. In the first round of the breakout tournament, Fallon Henley beats Sloane Jacobs. So the horsewoman is beating yeah, Kane's uh, uh, daughter. Yeah. Do you have the one, one name? Because they came up with... They had the words for the characters. So wait, who was it? Fallon likes horses on America too. She's no, 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 mind that. It was the, the describing words. They came up with the graphics. So yeah. Fallon Henley was tenacious, and Sloane Jacobs was scrappy. Oh god, <laughs> it was the um, it was one of the most like I watched it back because I wanted to see if it was as funny watching the podcast as it was in the podcast. And it was Ross, <laughs> Ross's recap of her promo last week, which was, it made me <laughs> laugh. I, watched, I laughed so much at Ross watching the bag. He's like, I love knocking back shots with JB and BJ, but nothing compares to riding a horse. <laughs> she just cuts to the, the horse. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad she's through. I was worried she was going <laughs> to. <laughs> That's on a show reel. Oh, God. Uh, Tony D'Angelo's gang. Uh, kidnap oh. Cruz del Toro in the car park and they drive took off so him. much of the show it did this is forever later Santos Escobar realises what's happened and calls Tony who threatens to beat Cruz so badly nobody will recognise him Santos says no thanks <laughs> just a PG <laughs> podcast you yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so I like these guys are all like wacky yay I'm a stereotype but, da, 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 but, da, da. but now they're like alright we're going to make this look serious they should do something like, it's get gang wars now it's, it's like breaking bad like yeah but it's the... not it's, it's just not bad exactly, it's, yeah. never <laughs> it's just bad 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 hey I'm a serious a gangster da, 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 da. I was like well, alright it's just not you are miscast greatly in this role sir I'm a hit you with a fish in a newspaper like, we, need right. a, we need like a, a GTA protagonist character who can play off both gangs and the allegiance yeah. 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 To, yeah. 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 Like a, uh, a you know, Jimbo or Clint Eastwood character who offers to like kill off both bags for <laughs> because going back and forth, getting his prices raised. And then uh, where we got Albert Fry. Uh, Albert Fry. Albert, Albert Fry. Albert Fry. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to seeing it F R Y like yeah, Don, Don Fry. Yeah. Yeah. Albert. <laughs> Albert. Fry. I prefer my version. <laughs> Albert Fry beat Amari Miller in the singles did match. Don Fry, did Don Fry know that he looked like that? Like a caricature of like a man. <laughs> like, was that deliberate? Just oh, so... he knew. Okay. Have you seen him when he shaved his mustache off? No. It, was he like Ezekiel? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? It's exactly. Uh, yes. It's like, what are you, what are you doing? You're all right. Have you ever seen? You must have. Well, I don't know if you have or not. I don't okay. know. If, I don't know if people who don't. Do you? Are you? Do you know much about MMA? Do you follow MMA? Man? Um, not really. Have you seen? There's a Japanese wrestler called Takayama. Yeah. The big guy. Yeah, yeah. And he and Don Fry have a fight, like an MMA fight or like a kickboxing fight or something. Mm. Have you seen this? Oh, no, 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 oh yeah, my yeah, god, yeah. the fight strategy just goes out. The they both grab the back of each other's head and just go, uh, 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 for ages, oh my like, god. for so long. Wow. It, and the crowd's the losing their mind because it's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Full force in each other like this. By the end, it's their stunning. faces are so swollen. Yeah. Like, I mean, it made his career in Japan because they're like, yeah, I want to go see you. He's like, all right, great. But when you do that again, where your eyes are swollen shut from getting pounded, like, oh. oh my god. I don't even know who won. Who won? Don Fry. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be Don Fry. Oh no. <laughs> I can't watch mm. MMA in that. It's just, it's just oh, a still. The, this, mm. It's too real for me. It Maybe is too real, damn it. Fighting. Well, this yeah. is slightly I mean, this fighting. is slightly performative because like they had a, some sort of agreement. Like, oh, stare the stare down. Wow, before. look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, there is this, uh, oh, the, 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 that's down the whole ah! <laughs> What? Yeah. It's insane. That's yeah. mental. Still can't get over it. But Takeyama was a wrestler as well in New Japan and all Japan, I think. And full on. Did he yeah. win? Who won? Fryer oh, no, thing. you said the other yeah. guy won, didn't you? Don Fire. Don Fire. Um, oh yes, Takeyama wow. did. Um, he did UWFI, I think, okay. as well. So I guess the idea was, it wasn't just. He wasn't just. It's, it's all very blurred out yeah. there. Like, but he did like, win the belt. The real, real skills. It must have been during the. Yeah, because of the mainstream success. Everyone's like, oh my God. Pride was huge during this period. Yeah. Getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. So like. 
oh, that's good. You get yeah. your head kicked in and everyone saw it. That's actually good for us. <laughs> what a warrior. <laughs> when I, was, I did a big list once on like... Good New, Miller match. On like New Japan champions who... And, and the one I felt worst for was, oh. you know, Yuji Nagata, yeah. Blue Justice. Yes, Because he should have been the guy, but Inoki was at his peak. Yeah. So he's like, you're my champion. Yeah. I'm going to book you against some of the hardest men in the world. And he did it twice. I think Crow Cop was one of them. And I think, I think Fatal. And he booked him, <laughs> kept booking Nagata against these lads Jesus. who would destroy him. And then it, like Inoki was like, taking the belt off you now because you couldn't beat one of the best fighters in the world. It's such a fascinating period of Japanese wrestling around that period because Pride was so successful mm. and MMA and all this stuff. But there was that assumption that Japanese wrestlers were treated like they could go into that company, that that sport, and just start mm. battering people. So, yeah, Takeda, you do a fight when Yoji Anjo ruined everything when he went over and challenged Royce. Oh, which Gracie was it? I think it was Royce One Gracie. of the Gracies. Yeah, one of the Gracies. And uh, he got his head kicked in. Yeah. But I was like, all right, well, he's number two. You're number one. <laughs> he's like, uh, uh. so by him not doing it, it killed the company. Wow. There was, that there was, there was obviously a lot, lot more into it. But then yeah. I was like, wait, your guy got kicked up and you can go and immediately start beating up Royce Gracie? There was this thing. Oh, shame on you guys. You guys are <laughs> fake, whatever. And so obviously eventually you had to go to Pride to fight him and obviously lost. There was this thing, you know, I think it was before it was called Wrestle, it was before it was called Wrestle Kingdom. But you know, they do these January the 4th shows yeah. every year at the Tokyo Dome. And it was Hashimoto, I think, against some like legit judo... Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking And, he, and um, he absolutely battered him. It was supposed to... Oh, it was so weird that... I was it a shoe or not kind of thing? It was, a, was it Hashimoto realized that what the guy was doing? Uh, I can't come back to the guy's yeah. name. Uh, Agawa, I think. Yeah, right. Um, I think... Don't quote me, because I'm really out of my depth here, but I like reading about it. Um, Hashimoto realized, oh, right, he's... He's going to shoot told on me. to shoot on me ah. and just didn't like, okay, do your thing. And there was a... <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <keep up. laughs> There's rumors of Inoki watching from one of the baseball dugouts yeah. like, yes, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> like, the period we've had in the past few years has been normal. Uh, yeah. Like, only until Ibushi kicked in. But like, yeah. again, so many crazy stories. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. It sounds interesting. Yeah. It's really interesting. It, it's, there's a book by... Um, oh, Eggshells, right? Eggshells by Chris... What's his name? Oh, the commentator for New Japan who does the translations, yeah. Chris Roberts, is it? think so oh, I can't remember his name. but anyway yeah he's, it's a really good book yeah. Sam's got a book on the history of just New Japan I think as well it's really oh, good oh that's cool yeah. yeah I'll have to look into mm. that yeah. Uh, yeah NXT so, yeah. sorry NXT Albert Fry I love we're going to get good segues this week um, <laughs> Albert Fry so let's go so, 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 <laughs> the town crier <laughs> so let's go oh Lox Kamala like Hayes and Trick Williams out of the building yes he and does and cuts yeah. the promo in the ring saying he doesn't care who he beats for the North American title as long as he gets his hands on him. Yep. Cameron Grimes interrupts and says that once he's beaten his, Solo will get the next title shot. Yeah. Solo mm -hmm. heads up the ramp, but Hazen Williams hit the ring and beat down Grimes. Solo very luckily makes the save. Yeah. This is very well done because the crowd's really into Solo. Mm. Grimes need to watch what, what he's doing, basically. Right. The crowd's just going to turn on him. Nobody likes him, did they, when he comes out? He's not funny What's anymore. Happening? No, but they're like him, it's like, you know, something else comes along, a new toy. Yeah. You know, yeah. And it's like... You know, he's Buzz Lightyear mm. and eh, Woody, whatever. So it's like, all right, tread very lightly. But in fairness, though, he, Cameron Grimes hasn't um, beaten Solo by himself. He's had yeah, a single smash yeah, that, those yeah. two interfered in. Then the three way will three people in. But the crowd are really hot. For Solo. Mm. Oh, so they, they are, actually, yeah. They I'm going to need on. a Cameron Grimes vignette set to Strange Things Are Happening To Me from Toy Story. <laughs> <They're> running, Strange <laughs> Things Are Happening To Me. Then when Solo doesn't win, I will go sailing no more. When <laughs> Buzz tries to fly... It's such a sad moment. It is. Exactly. We don't know if Matthew swore or not. So if there's a weird cut, he might have swore. We have to be very careful with the PG thing. Obviously, I didn't intend to. No, of course. I thought you were just so enthused so about Toy Story. Toy Story, <laughs> yeah. I effing love Toy Story. <laughs> Backstage, Zion Quinn tries... Oh, this is oh Zion weird. Quinn's starting it's to get on my tits. Yeah. Zion Quinn tries to give Nathan Frazier advice and tells him to run it straight. And Nathan's just like, what does that mean? No one knows. No one knows. Means. I'm from the Channel Islands. Zion Quinn, howdy, howdy, howdy. Zion Quinn's original gimmick was chivalrous. Because, like, a bloke wouldn't hold the door open for a woman and Zion Quinn would beat him up and yeah. like, hold the door open That was women. a long time ago. And now his gimmick is, has a catchphrase that no one understands. Yeah. Mm. But then, as if this wasn't weird enough, because Nathan's like, oh, what are we on about, mate? Mm. Uh, Wesley comes along, is like, hi. And Quinn's like, what do you want? I want, I want another <laughs> match with Yay. another one. And then Zion Who Quinn, you again? Zion like, I beat you already. And Wesley's like, not this time. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> he's been to the beach and he's regenerated his powers. Oh, is that what's happened? There was a vignette of him on the beach going like, 
Yeah, he's without a, he's saying, a flower. Without saying my tag partner got sacked, saying yes, like, yeah. it's hard to lose the tag titles, and then he's staring out over the horizon and stuff. Yeah. Strange yeah. things. <laughs> it's, like, it's all those photos from like, like this on the beach where you think like it was on your Twitter be posted like, you know, the road to survival is filled with landmines. <laughs> yeah. Rise and grind every day. Wesley. I thought it was more like that. Hashtag NFT. More like a Tinder bio. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier in the day, Grayson Waller and Tiffany Stratton went shotting and is. said nasty things about Nathan Frazier and Chase U. Naughty. Now, they have a mixed tag match against Saray and Andre Chase. Andre and Bodie Haywood are magically transformed like Saray. <laughs> they win and everybody's happy. And Saray gets one of the jerseys. Right, yeah. Yeah, she yeah, does. Nice. So the transformation, Saray obviously became a warrior of the sun. Mm -hmm. Bodie Hayward turned into a cheerleader with pigtails and so a crop good. top. Oof. And Andre Chase... <laughs> His jumper turned blue. <laughs> and he was fuming about it. He came out and he was like, oh, no. Not blue. But, uh, yeah, this is like... I love Andre. Watching NXT yeah. is like watching another like, little Hannibal Bearer cartoon. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> Dick Dassa, Chris and Waller and Tiffany Stratton, who could be uh, Muttley, I guess, are like, oh, those no good chase you. <laughs> Why are you on a, We should get them. We. The bit that made me laugh the most was like, it was like a little magical. It was like when Peter Pan teaches the kids how to fly. Mm. It was like Saray goes through the smoke and then Bodhi's like, Andre, are we going to transform too? And he's like, I don't know, Bodhi. And they will take a deep breath. Here we go. <laughs> I am on my way. <laughs> it's like oh, like Disney. <laughs> yeah, and then they, they lose and they drat, drat, and double drat. Oh. No, you. So, yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, Andre Chase and the Chase shoe. Uh, <sighs> still my favorite bit of NXT right now. Oh, out of the four pillars of NXT this week, Andre had the best week. This is, yeah, this is the Akira Tawe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, Andre's the Mizawa, man. No, no, don't be silly. <laughs> Which one's the Mizawa then? <laughs> Joe Gacy? Oh, let's oh, move on. Okay. Right, 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 right. <laughs> this might be the end of the podcast. Uh, backstage, Eichmann Giro gets a pull-apart brawl with Come Tuesday. Yes. Though, mm -hmm. if I was him, I'd be trying to get away from him. <laughs> nah, uh, he's already seen Kushida off. Now it's time for the real talent of the tag team. Yeah. Yeah. Eichmann Giro. The man who poos and likes jackets. Yes, that's his gimme. He will come to your venue and poo wearing a jacket <laughs> for the price of a fully cooked meal. And see him. <laughs> and see him. <laughs> Nikita Lyons beats Ariana Grace in the first round of the breakout tournament. That was tournament. the corporate businesswoman. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've got her, her, her thing was feisty. Oh, <laughs> I think Lyons is going to win the tournament. Probably. The most by she default. She seems like a favorite at the moment. We, we couldn't work She's out. She's big on Twitter. We were trying to predict which one of these new women that we weren't too familiar with was going to win the tournament. Yeah. And we couldn't work. We're like, I don't think we've seen the clear winner yet. I don't know who's going to okay. win. It was like, oh, this is interesting. And then they just didn't announce, I don't think, that Nikita Lyons was in the tournament. Yeah. And I'm like, well. Well, it's going to be her then. It's like a school tournament. It's also Man City are in the tournament as well. <laughs> they've, built her up, they've built her up a lot. Yeah. 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 It's like when. <laughs> He's going to do a reference that we know go everybody. On, go on. He's going to do it. He's charging it up. Like in Homer at the Bat, one of the best oh, episodes of yeah. The Simpsons yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. When the kids are playing baseball at school and they're picking yeah. teams and bots like, I'll have Millhouse. And Ralph's like, I'll have Jose Canseco. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. That's nice. I was going to say what their main thing is like, like the early UFCs where it's like, now we'll finally see who is the best martial arts. Is it going to be Pub Brawl, <laughs> Street Fighter, Oh, Royce and Gracie. Or an actual <laughs> martial artist. Although Shamrock was in there. He yes, lost, yes, but yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Um, that you never Simpsons Gracie, episode. But... I should have nominated that for the Hall of Fame. Oh, you should have done. So good. It's, it's the random Simpsons. Yeah, that's it's one of the best It's maybe my ones. favorite one. I don't even know anything about baseball, but I love that mm, episode. So good. Yeah. Oh, Daryl. <laughs> Come on, it kids. It rolls off his back. <laughs> It's criteria. <laughs> I love in, when, in, when they're in training and Homer's like, I got it. And then Daryl Strawberry's like, I got it. And flies. flies. And he lands so gently. And Homer's just like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. In the main event, Italian... Richard, what's the best Simpsons episode? Oh, Richard's a Simpsons. Oh, Simpsons. Richard is a Simpsons coming, sir. 22 short films. 22 oh, short films. Oh, very okay. good. Yeah, that, that's, that's up there. Very good. I like the Scorpio one. Everyone always says Scorpio. Mm. I like Itchy and Scratchy Land a lot. That's twice, very good. Um, oh, yeah. Mine is Sergio Bob's Last Gleaming, where he takes over the, the blimp to mm. blow it all up. Oh. It's just every scene. Cape Fear. Is Cape oh, Fear yeah. is my, I think that's one of my uh, favorite ones. That's incredible. Cape Fear is, you know. He sings the yeah. HMS Pinnacle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sideshow Bob's one of the best characters. He's, he's so, so good. Yeah. He's so great because uh, he was, oh no, what's his real name? 
Kelsey said Grumman. his real name Kelsey. Frazier. Yeah. Kelsey Grumman. Yeah. Yeah. Frazier. Yeah. Frazier Craig. He said it's so weird being like doing like like Simpson and Frazier because it's obviously just syndicated forever. So mm. you walk down the street and we go, oh my God, you're my favorite actors. Love the Simpsons and Seinfeld. It's Simon Frazier. Sorry. And everything else that you do is so great. So, oh, thank you. You walk around the corner and someone else goes, why did you retire? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the main event, Italia faces Cora Jade. Cora gets caught in the sharpshooter and bravely passes out like Steve Austin at WrestleMania Whoa, 13. Oh Afterwards, Natalia gives Cora a hug out of respect. You yeah. know what? At the start of this, I'm like, what are they doing with this? Like, Cora's not ready. Natalia's just treated like, you know, just Takayama mm. and all this stuff. But it's actually ended up all right if they want to obviously push yeah, Cora. And obviously, yeah. yeah, you are an experience, but you win the first time. But you've obviously learned of experience, and obviously Natalia respects. It was a hug I went, after. I went, okay, that's not that bad. Yeah, it was a decent match. Yeah, it was. It all was right. Cora's best match, probably. Yeah, yeah. above if you count the War Games one, but there were so many other parts to that match. I mean, yeah. you know, being her biggest fan. Yeah, yeah. Which, it's, which match is best? Yeah, yeah. right. It's probably this Me one. Me on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, that's what you wanted to say. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure I'm like ten years older than her. By the way. Just gotta find that out. Oh, Isn't she like really young? I don't know. No, I'm not. Come on, Chad. <laughs> AW Dynamite. Oh no, no. What are you tagline? Fair enough. Oh, uh, no, oh, oh yeah. No, no. I came, you, up, I, came oh, up with, I came up with one. Oh, go on. Oh, no pressure. Oh, it's gone. Oh. That was Strawberry throwing the ball. Again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's off ball, it's off ball. <laughs> From Maine. Adam Cole faces Dax Harwood. Anyone felt? at Owen Hart Foundation Tournament and wins with a sharpshooter. No, sad. Also, no. also sad. Martha Hart. Dr. Yeah, she, Martha yeah. Hart is in the crowd. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's nice. DMD. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way we specified Dr. Martha. Yes, Dr. No, she was, yeah. And they didn't like... Make her do anything too much. It was, no. it was nice to see it. Just yeah, camera yeah. cuts to her. But yeah. I really wanted Dax to win this. Yeah, it would be nice. But I'm cold. They're like, no, nah, he's great. Yeah, uh, they're, uh, but like Dax just the way they've this built one. everything. Just the way they've built everything. So around now it. my pick right. is Kyle O'Reilly, mm. Canadian mm. submissions. Technical man. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, funny. All the things <laughs> that Owen Hart. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I like I like that actually. Adam I don't want Kyle. that to happen now. And if Kyle faces Adam Cole in the main event, then. Oh, that's, that's got a history there. Oh, there it is. Ructions. Hometown boy John <laughs> Silver <laughs> takes on CM Punk, which we already talked about a bit. Who ends with a John uh, Tavares? I don't know who he is. Oh, Tavares. New- yeah, oh, the, Tavares. the hockey Sorry. thing. Yeah the, yeah, the shirt. New York Anders hockey jersey, which is like, yeah, we go. All the good lines you said before. Uh, Punk wins with a bookshot lariat. <sighs> Hangman Page oh. commentating, going, ooh, you. <laughs> the pair have a stare down in the ring. Punk cuts a promo on Hangman and mockingly offers him a handshake. Hangman flips him off and leaves. Yeah, why would um, Hangman accept the handshake? Because yeah. Punk was like, you're, you're rubbish. It's weird because <laughs> I'm really hyped for the match and everything. I am. But they're both acting really unlikable. Well, this was just because it was in Long Island. Yeah. But then... But like, uh, okay, but Hangman, again, uh, same Punk went, ah, I just beat your boy. It's like, he hasn't been hanging around with his mates in ages. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which, again, I don't know why they're doing that. Like, do you not want Dark Order to be... Oh, Unless they're getting rid of more of them and don't want them to get attacked. Oh. I've just thought about that. Yeah. With uh No, they can't get rid of all the stuff they do with you know. I You'd know. hope not. So You'd hope now. not. Not John. But yeah, it's kind of been flip flopping, hasn't it? Because last week Hangman was a little bit heelish, I mm. thought, in his promo. And now obviously with it being Long Island, I like the I, consistency. I, in I that, just so. think that they couldn't have the new punk wasn't gonna get unanimously cheered in Long yeah. Island, maybe. It's been a weird I say it's been a weird build. There's not been too much build yet and the I've, pay-per-view's like two weeks away I've enjoyed it it's been alright mm. there's it's a lot of matches just like, left to do book, yeah. book, book. it's the qualities we like about Hangman Page are not here mm. this time Is that now he's a dick now he's by himself yeah um, and CM Punk's like haha I'm also a dick it's like wow great <laughs> these two dicks going at it crossing <laughs> swords <laughs> oh dear dearie <laughs> me dearie me oh dear oh dearie what? me what graphic one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had to demonstrate Oh, so Look I can't swear, soul. but he can say that. <laughs> it's full of pee. Mm. But anyway, Dan Housen is up for his debut match. Yes. He's billed as a uh, 6'7 and over 300 pounds. Yes. Yeah. God, so he's almost like Pachiti. Uh, and he faces <laughs> Tony Nice and loses immediately. Oh. Nice continues to attack Dan Housen. I thought it was funny. To Ma- yeah, Smile My Man cuts up promo saying, Nice will continue to beat all your internet meme favorites, which, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Um, Hook arrives to make the save, so Neeson's and Sterling run away. Dan Housen offers Hook a handshake, which he accepts a huge pop. Yay! 
like a huge pop. Well, uh, well, uh, who? Tell me and, more. Tell and me later more. on, when they announced that tag match for the kickoff show, that got like a huge pop as well. Oh, yeah, that was very over. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's got a mixed reaction online to say to say the least mm. but because yeah if you're into the it's like anything else if you're into this joke or this in that meme or anything like that it's great yay dan house and i know you if not oh yeah <laughs> be a miserable few segments for you lads ha ha i uh one of my favorite bits of the this was i like the segment but one of my favorite bits was uh when it cuts the camera cuts to the crowd and hooks like coming out and Everybody's got these, like the send hook, but you know, it's all like the letters. Everybody, mm. Everybody's got a letter. And it, it looks like, I don't know if they've got something on the back, but they don't do it in time as the camera cuts to them and it just says send heck. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of. Send heck would be a great tag team for them. That'd though. be good. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I like Dan Housen losing straight away. It was funny. It was. It was. Oh, you useless. <laughs> Security escort Wardlow the Ray. Oh, highlight of the week this. Well, the Tron reminds the Long Island crowd to boo Wardlow. <laughs> then we then get a Dark Side of the Ring parody. So they by Jericho. They explain Who it then goes, yeah, Jericho goes, Dark Side of the Ring presents, you know, Jericho's betrayal. Oh, stupid. Wardlow's faced. Wait, wait, am I reading this? Yeah. <laughs> MTF. Well, he's paying how much? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So then he reads it out. Uh, we get famous Jewish wrestler Barry Harowitz. Oh my God. <laughs> he even says it in yeah. the yeah. little tag thing. Taz pretends so to cry good. at Waldo's yeah. face yeah. and he's like, I couldn't believe you did that. <laughs> yeah. The most disgusting, evil thing that happened in the ring. Um, oh, by the way, that was the thing we missed maybe last week or this week. Uh, I fell it between the gaps. That people are like, oh, Dark Side of the Ring's not been renewed. That's a shame, blah, blah, blah. Everyone going, well, of course. Do we sick of like all these lawsuits and changing stuff? People uh -huh. like, and then he went, no, nah, it's been renewed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair It'll enough. be yeah. cancelled. I was like, oh. It's it's crazy how you start a rumor like that. Yeah. Um, MGF gives Wardlow a chance to speak and makes the crowd promise not to boo him. <laughs> and he was like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> MGF references Cody Rhodes as well as Tony Khan being scared of MGF leaving in 2024. Oh, so he called well. him the American roller coaster. Yeah, he Cody did. Rhodes. That was weird. I, I think we get because that. But he I'll used to call him the roller coaster when they were friends. He was like, it's oh! my best friend, the roller coaster. Mm. I forgot about that. And then oh, Cody, would be, you, yeah. Cody would be like, real salt of the earth. And then everyone, it was such a good, yeah. it was so good. And he comes on, he's just having a good time. The crowd are cheering him. So, good. so good. It was really it was good. Yeah. yeah. And he reveals his conditions for a match at the Blonde Nothing. First, Wardlow would have to be whipped 10 times. Like, the, that's why Cody like, got like, yeah, there you He go. also said, oh, you don't want me to talk about 2024? Neither does the guy in the back. In the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was so good. Uh, don't leave MJF, please. Yeah. Please don't. Please, please don't. Him. Then you'll have to say, uh, face Sean Spears in a cage match. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. The MGF is a special guest referee. I get it won't get be uh, whipped one time, two times. Uh, Mr. Spears, oh, how many times? Well. Yeah. Oh. Wardlow signs the contract, but he says, oh, I can't do these, these handcuffs. The MGF's just enjoying it. So, oh, I think, what's he going to do? He's a big idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously he signs it and then takes everybody out. And he grabs MGF, but Mark Sterling jumps on his back. MGF gets away, but Wardlow puts Sterling through a table. Mm. Sterling getting two segments back. Yeah. Mark Sterling is good, the glue good push. He's everywhere, isn't he? He turns up in everything. He does. Um, there, yeah, this was the, probably my favorite segment of the whole week. It was mm. so good. Um, what was I going to say, though? Oh, it was about... Oh, was it about Spears in the tent? I don't know. Sorry, Karen. Mm -hmm. That was... Yeah. Anything else? Uh, no, I just, I, yeah, I just really enjoyed it. The table bit, because I know we sort of talk about like the Triple H and Batista thing quite a bit, but yeah. I liked the table power bomb to uh, Mark Stone. I was like, oh. Mm. oh. I remember what I was going to say. What? Um, so when they do the whipping of Wardlow, because yeah. obviously the point of the Cody one was that he gutted his way through it and he mm. was brave and everyone liked him for it. But with Wardlow, is he just going to know he's sell, gonna like, know, sell it? Is he, is, is he good enough to not, or good enough, is he like hard enough to not like just like even react? I think, yeah, it's all like point. They're doing e the Like Honda in the Street oh Fighter movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a sumo, brother. Yeah. <laughs> my mind's in one place and my body is in another. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so good. The yeah. guy whips him. And he's just like, eh, just like biting his nails. Just like, <laughs> oh, man. Isn't it great? You always hid behind your sumo and your boxer. Yeah. <sighs> but no one's ever seen you fight. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, my like, God. Oh, and he runs away. So it's, it's like it's, it's casual and bison outfit. We just, need to, we, just oh, need to watch. No. we just need to watch. I'll watch it this weekend. You don't do there's one. There's one legitimate... So oh, okay, apart from Raul Julia going, he said, oh, I'm your own suit. And at the end, but like, um, Chudley's talking about like, she's put disguise herself and Dilla's plot and stuff to get revenge on bison because yeah. like, and talks about the entire thing where he's basically undressed and put in casual gear, making himself a party. takes off his hat and yeah. puts on a casual yeah, yeah, same no, hat. So, <laughs> so, you and your rebel soldiers were mere rookies back then. 
then, and you, you, as you fired shots, as you ran bravely away, you killed my father, and you just go, I'm sorry, I don't remember any of it. It's like, what? It's like, <laughs> for you, the day Bison graced your village was the greatest day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. It just <laughs> gutted. That's where oh, the meme comes from. Oh, wow. First time I saw it as a kid, I rounded it. Well, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Man. She's like, you killed my father. Like, oh. He also does say the bison line at one point when he turns around. He goes, of course. It's like, yes. It's got everything. Yeah. But it's also bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's just seeing someone like that, get on it full. Um, get, wait, 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 Kylie Minogue's in it. No, she's yeah, not. She is, but no, yeah, she's she not. said she credits the Street Fighter movie. It's celebrated by millions the world over because she credits the Street Fighter movie for getting into shape and getting those buns that she became famous wow. for. <laughs> I had to think the nicest, <laughs> the nicest way of saying that. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bloody hell. Ricky Starks defends the FTW Championship against Jungle Boy. Swerve Strickland tries to stop Starks from cheating, but this distracts the referee who <laughs> wins a visual pinfall from Jungle Boy. Ah, well done, Swerve stupid. was gutted. He was like, oh, naughty boy. I well, oh, no, I this. got swerved. <laughs> Starks wins. And I thought it was a very tight, nice little match between yeah, these two between lads. Tight, nice little lads. <laughs> We're all thinking <laughs> it. Uh, Christian Luchasaurus come down to check on this Jungle Boy. This was all mm. like three different things going on in the post-match. Oh, oh, yeah. Christian bumps shoulders with Strickland on the way past. Keith Lee arrives to join Strickland in a stare down with Team Taz while Christian gives Jungle Boy a hug in the ring because Jungle Boy seemed really upset with the loss. Christian's being Christian's so, being a sussy boy. There's been something He's weird because there was a little no, thing I backstage thought... the other day, like the oh. other week, sorry, there was a bit backstage and he gets like, he gets a hoof on, he gets dead annoyed and he's like, <gasps> and then Christian, just like walks off. Christian was like, Jungle Boy, I know you lost that match and you feel like a loser and it is loser behavior. Mm but you're not a loser. And I'm like, ooh. Something's happening. Something's happening. What's happening, Matthew? What's happening is, uh, Christian's being reminded that they're all together because they're dinosaur themes. Jungle <laughs> Boy's obviously grown in the jungle. Luchasaurus yep. has that, that. Oh, and no. uh, Christian was around oh, when the dinosaurs no. were originally. Well, oh, but you could have said Christian Cage. He's the cage that keeps the dinosaurs in check. Oh. Oh, like Jurassic Park. Yeah. But they always escape the cage. <laughs> they do. In every yeah. single film. Exactly. Or oh, there wouldn't be a film. <laughs> so... Yeah. So I saw the trailer for the new one. I'm guessing it's like, does it look good. It looks nuts. Really? It's like they got like nearly all the cast from the original one plus the new guys. Well, so like it's... human dinosaurs now, aren't they? I haven't seen any. Human dinosaurs. I haven't seen any of the I new ones. I don't want to even know what that means. Oh, maybe human dinosaurs. I thought, oh, maybe that was like a scrap. Luchasaurus thing. is in it. <laughs> yeah, Luchasaurus is the main dinosaur. No, I thought they had like human dinosaur hybrids in them now. Wow. All right, maybe I'm dead wrong. I haven't seen any oh, of the new God. ones. Oh, God. David Cronenberg's directing it. No, <laughs> God, that sounds horrible. I think this is going to lead to um, like a three way. It could lead to a three way tag match with yeah. like. Jurassic Express, Swerve and Keith, and Team Taz. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I guess. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see. Uh, the Joker Appreciation Society come out to give a victory speech, bragging about taking out Santana, Ortiz, <laughs> and Eddie Kingston. <laughs> Jericho oh. cracked me up in this one when he went, uh, shut up or I'll throw a fireball in your face. And he turns to the camera and goes, because I'm a wizard. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a wizard. <laughs> That's his new thing. <laughs> yeah, it's Jericho two sixteen says, "I just burned your face." I googled what John two sixteen is. It's got a bit nothing. of fluff above your lip. Oh pal. man, got it. Got it. He's got, got it. it. I didn't want you to eat this it. This is a new hoodie. Bit. Uh, I keep putting my hands on pockets. I'm just like, um, thank you. No. Um, I googled John two sixteen to see what it was. It's nothing like relevant. Oh. <laughs> Something about doves, I think. <laughs> One day they're actually going to quote Bible bit and they get it right. Yeah. Maybe I should have gone to the book of the Bible, whatever one has Jericho in it, and seen what 216 was in that. Oh, maybe you should, yeah. Oh. The book of Jericho. Yeah, Jericho's a biblical thing. Yeah, yeah. but he's not, he doesn't have a book. No, no, but whatever book oh, Jericho no, sorry. is. Chris Jericho, the author. No. Why didn't he quote himself? <laughs> Matthew Martin, Chris Jericho, and John. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, Jericho 216 hmm. says, it was really great being the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. They're interrupted by the Blackpool Combat Club, who look ready to fight. So ready, in fact, I need to change my page. Uh, Jericho says they're outnumbered, but <laughs> of course, you and what army? Mm. Yeah. And then Kingston says, "I know arrive and help beat the society down." Jericho bails out the ring, but gets decked by Regal. Oh, to big pop. Ah, oh, shades of uh, two thousand and one. Yeah. Do you remember Jerry Lawler punched Taz? Not for, Wait, when not they for had real. the fight with when JR. it was like when Taz is like screaming at Jr. and then Lawler just comes across and goes. Bye. Was that round about when they do do the candy the... jar? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah in That's so good. Oh my he, god. He's beating up the king. <laughs> <laughs> that bit before he smashes the jar 
it's just a cuts to Jehel going like, hey, King's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Proper ghost race. He does. And then the funny bit is when he comes back and he's like, Jerry's oblivious. And Jehel's like, you did it. You won, King. And he's like, I knew I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, a good punch in old people in wrestling can oh, punch well. They can. Yeah. Like yeah. Anyway, but right this here. was this was my by far my favorite Jericho Appreciation Society. It was the best one. So I, yeah. I I I hate them. I uh, yeah, hate I hate them. I like, I like them when they get beat up so much. They're like, so poo. You don't like Daddy Magic. I it's <laughs> it's so poo. I hate it. Okay. But uh, this, I think, I think this is what it's all been leading up to anyway, with them being like, oh, we're not wrestlers, we're sports entertainers, and then with Blackpool Combat Club being like, we're professional wrestlers. It's where it's been leading. Yes. I think, and it worked really well. It did. But again, away from Kingston. Yeah. But oh. I thought Eddie Kingston was going to do something worse to Jericho because he called the show on Rampage and was like, I'm going to get him. Yeah. And then... Well, he killed a man. Do you not remember when he said he hmm. killed a man pretty much? Hmm. Oh, I thought you meant an impact when he ran over a small boy. No, like. Yeah, we you, love that. Which he did. <laughs> the <laughs> the other... Ran him over the a other boy. The we other saw week. it. The other week when he was like, oh, yeah, I'm off the yeah. guy or whatever it was. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. That's where we're going. He's and... from the streets. <laughs> Some people so think I'm Yonkers. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I'm weird. <laughs> Thurston Storm beats Jamie Ada to advance in the Owen Hart tournament. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she did. She a did. Good match. Yeah, good match. Was, and then Tony will face probably Britt next. If Britt beats the Joker. <gasps> Who's the Joker going to be, though? Oh. I don't know. I can't Athena? actually think who it be. Athena? Oh, oh Emma Moon. Yeah. Oh, that's a really good show. Maybe. Man, Who's dude. the men's one going to be? Cause the, cause There's so many possibilities. Sanjay Dutt when it's not lethal it's, and it's not yeah, it's big Satnam. No, so... But it's mm, going to probably be a heel because we're against Joe. I want it to yeah. be Cesaro. It's probably going to be oh. bloody Gargano. That, yeah, I was thinking Cesaro, actually. Why would... That would be cool. But uh, but I thought it was going to be a heel because it's against Joe. It doesn't have to be, though, does it? Fair enough. One final right, beat. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this rebel heart. <laughs> I want it to be Gargano just for Matthew. <laughs> I've heard you're a big fan of Gargano. You know what? It'll be nice if they... Just abandon all that useless, crappy stuff that killed their otherwise good stuff that they did in WWE. Mm. If they're far away from Shawn Michaels and as stupid <laughs> ideas as possible, great. Fair enough. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, God. Killed a, such a beautiful... I loved it so much. And it just went moldy quicker than oh. milk in the sun. It was just mm. like... Oh. In the main event, Darby Allen faces Jeff Hardy in an ODQ Owen Hart tournament match. Andrew, Jeff Hardy. this is your boy. Andrew really likes Jeff Hardy. Of course he does. It's my favorite wrestler. Especially, like everybody in this crowd. God, mm. they were up for him. Uh, Jeff Hardy managed to get the win. Jesus. The Hardys celebrate, but the Undisputed Elite stared him down the stage. Jesus. The, that one. That, so, just the, it's the swan tone yes. from Derby. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. And and Jeff got the win. He did. And I, I did, like and that. I, and I wasn't even mad. Me neither. Yeah. Because I was thinking, oh, they won't put... Yeah, you know, Darby will go over, won't he? Because he's the young boy. Mm. But I'm actually, I'm I'm very happy that Jeff went over. Yeah. I, I've liked his single, I mean, he's only had two singles matches in AEW so far, but I've liked him both. He still does the stuff. He like does. He did the swanton under the edge of the ring steps. Yep. I was like, oh, oh. And then he landed on his feet, and the guy in the front row was like, what did you do that for? <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That's what I wanted from these two, but mm. like for a first time match. Mm. If they ever do it again, it's going to be like, you know, balls out, some sort of thing. And then at the same time, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. And I'm going, oh, no, poor Jeff. Um, <laughs> I really like the start Sorry. of the match because everyone knows, like, oh, it's Darby's hero. Like, here we go. Let's see how yeah. he approaches it. And he just takes it out <laughs> straight away. Oh, yep. that, the, when he does the, the dive. dive through the thing, mm. he just puts all of his weight <laughs> into him, doesn't he? I guess yeah. he can get away with it because yeah. he's quite small. Yeah. So wrestlers can take it. Yeah. Like, but he... But then Samoa oh, Joe does the same. He flies he into does. suicide dives. <laughs> and people are like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Or he used to, I guess. He kind of still, still does, does still but do. yeah. when he but... when he was younger, he used to fly on those dives. Mm, yeah, and cause... you'd see like little AJ stars, like oh. <laughs> God, stop it, <laughs> <laughs> coming down like almost his hand. <laughs> yeah, that's how he's gonna cover the top of the cage on Raw. He's gonna oh, put his hand right. down. And that's how Bobby can't get like, out. Damn it, I'm gonna get out. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes to open the door. He's like, no, oh, Pinky, he's just gonna come down. <laughs> Ah, he thought of everything. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Then Lashley there was shovel. <laughs> oh, not the underneath the ring. It's just his face, almost his face when he digs. <laughs> so waiting for I'm him. now picturing Omos as, you know, in Shrek 2, the giant gingerbread man. <laughs> <laughs> and he's drowning. That's Be what gone. we've kind of painted, painted him as. 
Yeah. He's just this know. giant guy who Bobby Lashley can't get away from because his hands are so big, they just follow him wherever he goes. Bobby gets into a pickup truck and he's trying to like start the ignition and go, but this hand is <laughs> cast the shadow over him. Seen the South oh, Park, I really enjoyed that. Seen the South parody of Cloverfield. <laughs> yeah. And Randy's all on the camera like, I'm so startled. <laughs> oh, that just, was a long week of wrestling, oh, like, oh. say the least. Woo. Let's do the mailbag because I've got a meal after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When's your meal? Is it two? Six. I've got. I've got. Well, hurry up then. Okay. But I can, I've got to get a shower first though. Oh, mm. I look good. Got oh. sprucey goose. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much. Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. <laughs> ah. Have a little look in the mailbag. Um, Ross picked these questions. I've not seen them, so I'm going to have to scramble oh, for an like answer. The worst oh, questions too. ever. Because fair play to Ross, even though he's ill, he did do his share of the notes. Mm. Fair play. Thank you, Ross. What were you doing? Right the workhorse. Uh, greetings, lads. Long time fan since name redacted days. Thank you. This podcast is genuinely always something to look forward to for the end of the week. As a lad who has mates who would take the mickey out of him for still liking wrestling in his 30s, it's great to listen to you guys for your often funny and off-topic tangent takes on the wrestling we love this week, then. And um, Paul got former one this guy. Um, I already got reminded that Mickey is what Irish people call penis. Okay. Oh, I never knew so that. So apparently when, like, Taking Epic Mickey. Mickey came oh. out, they were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Name the game after me, son! Oh, <laughs> That's how they talk in Ireland. Um, <laughs> my question is a three-parter. John Cena recently came out and said he was told he was never going to be allowed to turn heel even after around 09. Ooh. Given how much finally turning Roman heel after years of shoving him down our throats, some of the way Cena was, has made Reigns an even bigger star. Should WWE have pressed their, that heel turn button on Cena 10 years ago and gone down a similar route they have with Roman? Do you reckon it would have made him an even bigger star, like it has for Roman? And finally, if yes, then when should they have done it? The Nexus Angle, The Rock View, The Summer of Punk... Thanks again for such a great podcast and good luck to the Black Cats for Jack in the playoffs. All the Ooh. best, Tyler from Manchester. Wow. So learned. Tyler there with a sense of humor. That's good. <laughs> um, thank you very much, pal. That's a good question. I mean, I think people get a bit confused of mem remembering it back. It wasn't the fact that Cena was a baby face. Mm. is that his character was often bloody crap mm. and just not likable. And he was also a face where he would always win to the point where there was very little people for him to feud with or it felt like an actual feud. So yeah. people like Randy because he could take on Cena and go, all right, yeah, you could win. But like the, what, the Miz. Sometimes Kobe. he'd be nasty as well. He would, yeah. He'd be a prick. He screwed Rey Mysterio out of his title run. Yeah. yeah. In that tournament final. After the tournament final. Yeah. yeah. So when we say baby face, we mean well-written. Mm. Do you remember the one where, <laughs> I think it was, was it when he had Batista? It was like an I quit match. He was going to put him through the ambulance, the top of it. And Batista went, okay, okay, I quit. And then Cena's like, okay. It was the car, wasn't it? Oh, the yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. The car. And the apparently ambulance, the he car. broke, uh, he it's actually broke pay -per -view, Batista's so. back as well, I think. Oh, I'm not saying that Cena shot on Batista. No, 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 no. <laughs> but like, I'm going in a business one. <laughs> <laughs> and he came out next night at the wheelchair. And yeah. like, I'm sick of this. I'm going home. He going also, home. I think still, Deliberately eliminated Alex Riley from the Rumble earlier than he was meant to. Uh, nice. Well, I'm sure Alex Riley thinks Alex Riley that. Messed no, up if you there. watch it, he hits him while he's on the apron hard, and Riley falls, and then the Miz has to come in and eliminate yeah. Shane or whoever. Can't remember who it was. Nice. Not Shane. Yeah. Yeah, might be. Could have been. No, Shane eliminated the Miz from the Rumble. Oh. I'm remembering it wrong. I tried it. Yeah. Well, was there a time when Cena could have turned heel and you go, Ah, this is the time? But I think we uh, had a debate mm -hmm. thing once, didn't we? Uh, do you, we did like uh, it was me and you. About you did the one with Aiden about Ryback. Yeah. And me and Andrew did one about. I love that. We did one about. Me and Andrew did one about. Um, Aiden, uh, Aiden, Aiden was like, I can't wait to get at you, Matthew. Oh, what? And I'm like, all right. And uh, I just like was just in a good mood. So I just like, ah, come on. Blah, 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 blah. And he's like, all right, you taught, even you've taught me into it. <laughs> like, I know. Matthew took that personal, like Michael Jordan. <laughs> it really was that because because uh, he was like, yeah, you ready for a debate? I'm like, are oh, you taking this seriously? Oh, oh! Allow oh. me to make notes. You know. <laughs> um, so I, I, I think I, even in the in the debate we had, I was on the side of Cena shouldn't have turned heel. Yeah, I think you were. But like, we both made points that the other one agreed with. It's a hard yeah. question to answer. It's, it's difficult because I think looking back, like I recently saw the clip again of when Cena came back at the recent Money in the Bank yeah. when Roman had just won, and then Cena comes out for the first time in ages, and everyone's like, oh, like legitimately happy to see him. So I think it might have made the product better at the time if Cena had gone through a heel run. But looking back at his overall legacy now, he's like the guy who's mm. the protagonist yeah. of WWE. Yeah, so yeah I really. I would 
I would have liked it. I'd have yeah. loved to have seen him, maybe in the summer of punk mm. sort of era, where he mm. kind of maybe defies what sort of everybody knows him as, like this company guy, like always doing sort of what Vince McMahon wants and what Vince McMahon says kind of thing. And punk, then, like the rebel. Yeah, 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 and then kind of just like absolutely yeah. swerves and turns. That's one bit of that, because I love that match, it's like one of my favorite mm. matches ever, but when Cena stops John Laurinaitis from ringing the bell, yeah. I'm like, oh, so he's still... It would have it would have been good if he'd been like a corporate champion. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, what mm. do you think? Mm. I can't think of the top of my head a point where I was like that should have been where he made the turn because mm. it wasn't like. Well, first of all, he didn't have any friends. <laughs> um, yeah, he had crime time for a bit. Is that Ryder his best friend? Yeah, his best mate. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Wasn't that yeah. just because Ryder had gotten himself over organically and they were like, "We'll hitch him to Cena." We'll yeah, him. yeah, they were like, "How dare you!" Uh, do the thing that now every wrestler has learned from and been influenced yeah. by now. Oh, so thanks for that. Mark Cardona um, is one of the most like influential wrestlers of the century. Yeah, probably. He's so him and uh, you know, Coco Baniston off the podcast mm. and obviously doing mm. really well with that. Everyone, that's a good idea. Mm. Um, yeah, and they're like, "How dare you? You people are chanting for you. <laughs> you think you are? The Rock was in the ring. The crowd were chanting for you. Oh, do I get a huge push? What's your second guess? <laughs> uh, it was so weird, but like, yeah, it's not over time because it wasn't like. He was around forever yeah. doing the mm. same thing. That was it. It wasn't turn heel and start telling kids to, you know, go away. It was like, can you just do something that's different and a bit more interesting, which we did get the US Championship Open Challenge, for example. Mm, was, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's many times, uh, the feud of Edge, you yeah. know, and yeah. all these things that were really great. But then he softened and it was like, ah, oh, it's so great seeing you. Gosh, you're looking <sighs> swell. Mm. I'm like, can you just have a bit of an edge about you, pal? Uh, yeah. If you just come out one time and go, look, I'm just going to do what I want. Uh, if people want to cheer for me, then great. If not, I don't care or something like that. The kids were still cheered for him. Yeah. Like, right, oh, yeah. I got a bit of balls in you. Fantastic. The, um, but a few with AJ as well, sorry. That was really good. Yeah, that was. A few with AJ, AJ number good one. There was this still, was like, when he, soft, this was later on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There were, like the thing is, he he was still really good in his matches and stuff. But I yeah. think you're right. It's just the I just the, the characterization oh. of him was was. He started having his best matches when he was like 40. Yeah, like he was really good. Yeah, what, that, like 2016, 17 ish. That like, Undertaker effect. So good. Just, yeah. You know, mm. Being mint. Uh, yeah, there we go. Little bit of debate for your palm. Uh, good diddler, big dogs. <laughs> good diddler. I recently found out that a friend of mine's girlfriend. Sorry, friend of my girlfriend's went to high school with NXT 2.0 in the. Ah. NXT 2.0 superstar Indy Hartwell. I know you are all in the biz these days, but I was wondering <laughs> what your biz. most tenuous connection to a wrestler or any celebrity you had. Thanks for all the laughs over the years. From Manchester United striker, uh, <sighs> Dong Fazo. <laughs> Actually, Marcus from uh, Wollongong, Australia. Wollongong. Oh, Wollongong. I'm, sure, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, yeah. One Thank of, you, Marcus. One, one and gone. That's one why he said... Like, hey, hey <laughs> Vanson. That's why he said good day at the start. He said, he said Gadiddler. Yes. He well, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, but yes, thank you, uh, actually, Marcus. Yes. What's your tenuous relationship <laughs> with any celebrity or wrestler? Uh, I've kind of got one. I know one. Oh, oh, go, go for it. You go first. Do you want to go first, Matthew? You go first. Oh, mine's not very good, so I'll go first. Um, my mum went to school with Vic Reeves. Oh, that oh, is good. Wow. Yeah. That is good. Um, that's really they weren't cool. like, like friends or anything like mm -hmm. that. I think they were like, just knew, oh, that's that lad I went to my school. Oh, he's really famous. Yeah. So one time she rang up on some radio station that had him on. And she got through, and she's like, oh, we went to school again. It was, I was in, so, whatever, Mrs. Smith's class and did this. And he was like, oh, that's great. I have no memory of it. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I mean, well, they didn't, he didn't have any reason to. Yeah. Like that, yeah. But, um, but yeah, we all grew up, like, watching Vic Reeves, basically, yeah. and Bob Mortimer, and mm. loving them. So that was nice. Yeah, that's good. What that's about cool. yourself, Paul? Uh, mine, mine's not even really mine, but uh, my best mate from back home, his uncle used to sort of just wrestle w William Regal in Blackpool, just oh. like have sort of little... Just like little tussles and stuff, and oh, well, kind of like name? my uncle was uh, not my uncle. My friend's oh, sorry, uncle sorry. was called uh, Alan Teal, but uh, unfortunately, he passed away recently. Oh, okay. um, but I don't. He wasn't like a wrestler or anything like that. Uh, I think he just knew Regal and oh, kind of okay. just like had okay. little little things with him. So that's cool. Yeah, that was kind of cool, good, especially as like. Me and my best mate back then, we were like huge wrestling fans and we'd go around to our friend's house to use his trampoline to wrestle <laughs> on and oh. all that. So when so when uh, Mark used to tell us that, he used to be like, that's cool. That's mm. really cool. That is cool. Um, what's mine? Well, in terms of like non-wrestler, I went to the same school as Southampton goalkeeper Fraser Foster, but I've mentioned this before. Yeah, I have. Um, but we were like... We were there at the same time, but I think I was in year seven when he was in like year 11 or whatever. It was a big guy. Or like even maybe in sixth form because mm. the school had a sixth form. So I think, but now I never talked to him. Um, but 
in terms of wrestling, my uncle, who now lives in Australia, actually, um, for Marcus, um, claims, my uncle's from Liverpool, and he claims that he was once coming out of, like, a petrol station and turned the corner or something and accidentally, sh like, shouldered someone and they fell over and he looked down and it was Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. Whoa. And my uncle claims that he knocked over Davy Boy Smith with a shoulder, with a sick An shoulder. Accidental time. shoulder. Now, at the time, I was like, because I was probably like eight when he told me this. I was like, oh, cool. That's cool, Brian. <laughs> but now I'm like, I've seen the size of Davy Boy. Mm. And even if this was like in the 90s, like when he was not as huge, he's still a big blow. And my, uncle, my uncle's not like small, but he's not Davy Boy Smith. Uh, no. Maybe. What, what, what year would this have been? I don't know what year it would have been. Uh, I just know it would have likely been in the Northwest because he's from Liverpool and David Boy's uh, from, like, yeah, David Boy's from like Preston or mm. whatever. I don't know. I'm, why would he lie about that, though? It's why such... would he lie about that? Yeah. It must be true. People lie all the time about dumb stuff. But why would he, but why would he lie about that? <laughs> it's such a weird that thing. In a very specific... <laughs> yeah. Re yeah. Uh, the other thing was because uh, it got brought up on this podcast. My mum used to listen to podcasts all the time, but now she doesn't. Oh. I think it might. No, no. It's one because it's like four hours long sometimes. Oh. My mum's like bloody hell. Um, and also, I think it was one time I forgot what came up. It was like conspiracy theories we believe or whatever. And I, I said something about like thinking this is all just a simulation. I think it really upset her. Oh, oh. it's not, not something my mum wants to hear. Where you think life's not real? Yeah, I'm like yeah. And she's like oh <laughs> god. All right, I'm not ever listening to this ever again. But she won't mind saying this. She would hear us talk about it, and she was actually happy because they grew up in Darlington and stuff like that. I don't think Reeves. So I brought up George Reynolds. Oh, uh, the, the, the stadium Darlington thing. Stadium won the Hall of Fame one week, which yeah. is great because it's a, there's this enormous stadium in Darlington that's never been filled because it's it's Darlow. Yeah, what, what's going to be there? A car boot sale, you know? <laughs> and um, who famously and like a week or two weeks later after we did that, George Reynolds like passed away. Oh yeah, uh, every time in there. And my mum was talking about, oh, Matthew was talking about that. And they talking about this people talking to the side of the family. Apparently, my uncle used to know him. George Reynolds? Yeah. Wow. Was, and I went, oh, what did you do together? And he went, well, you know, we were friends. I'm like, oh, no. Well, I've opened up here. And I said, oh. I probably better not go to a podcast and mention that. And <laughs> like that in case the police are watching. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> Hello, Treacles. I'm a big fan of yourselves. I'm a big fan of wrestling, but I might be a bigger fan of obscure footballers from the last oh, 30. No. Oh, God. In recent weeks and months, the swath of niche football names entering the podcast law reminded me of a game myself and my family play on occasion. We go round in a circle naming obscure footballers that start the last letter of the preceding footballer's surname. A.K. you do Eric Jemba Jemba, then that ends with A, so you do Elton Thelwell, then okay. Elton Leroy Leader. I thought it might be fun to go through the, the depths of your wrestler's knowledge. Oh, no. So we put three minutes on the clock, go around the circle, and whoever's turn it is when the timer goes off is a big old Larry loser. <laughs> Let what will undoubtedly be the severely underwhelming break from the already proven success commence. <laughs> <laughs> First roll to set you off. Uh, Kizani. Why have you started us off with a Why? I'm ignoring. I've got a why, actually. I can, I can start much, as oh, with Much love to all the colonic team, you heroes, yours faithfully. Former Premier League official, Uriah Rennie. <laughs> <laughs> Uriah Rennie! <laughs> Famously sent off Alan Shearer. He's still hated on Tyneside. Bastard. <laughs> thank um, you. Thank you very much, you bastard. Right. I've got a why. If, if, should I start? Should I put, should I put a timer on? Richard's got one. He's timer. got one. All right, cool. So, you, uh, Kizani. What, you got one? Yeah, uh, Ulisa Leon or whatever she's called. Valentina Ferros' tag partner in NXT. Ulisa Leon, Yolanda, Ulisa Leon. What's it? And Valentina Ferros and you, you, someone N. N. Okay. Uh, so we're in N. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Fraser. Nathan Fraser. Roman Reigns, the big dog. Stone Cold Steve Austin. N. N. Um, Nikita Lyons. Oh. S. Oh, that's Stone Cold. I'm gonna have to quit. Uh. <laughs> Scotty, too hotty. Nice. <laughs> you've actually oh, done me that. Yeah. No. Did she have any other made up type outfits? Uh, Yuji Nagata. <laughs> oh. um, Austin Gunn. Austin Gunn? Ooh. Oh. Nathan Jones. Oh. oh. Scorpio Sky. Oh, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. What have I'm you sorry. done? What have you done? Uh, Yokozuna. Oh. oh. <laughs> Arn Anderson. Okay. Um, Nia Jax. Oh, oh, oh. What? Xavier Woods. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Heating up. Heating up. Um, so many S's. Steve. 
<laughs> oh, uh, Steve Macklin from Impact Wrestling. Okay. Um, Whatever. Don't do that again. Uh, yeah. Nigel McGuinness. S. S. Uh, uh, Shotzi Blackheart. Oh. T. Terry Funk. Mm. Karrion Cross. Ooh. Um. That's oh yeah, I'm trying to. Why is my brain gone dead? No, come on. Uh, Solo Sokoa. I'm Solo just Sokoa. saying NXT 2.0. A, A kid. Ah. Uh, D. Dynamite kid. Ooh. Danhausen. D. N. Norman Smiley. Oh. No. Yoshi Tattoo. Mm. Is that a U? Yeah. U. Oh no. The Uni Bomber. I guess. Does what? That, wait. Was that one? Oh no, it was Kane in yeah, yeah. SMW. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah but you said that. No, no. Yeah, wait, no, that, that was a serial killer. We'll, we'll, no, it was, wait, no, it was a political in... protester, dude. <laughs> no, but he was, yeah, he was actually called the Unibomber. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. God. God, I forgot about that. Oh, Bloody hell. R4. Razor Ramon. I've run out of ends. Nyla Rose. Is that an E? Yeah. Ezekiel. <sighs> but I said a different person. Elias. All right, anyway. uh, L4. La, uh, Lash LaRue. Zion Quinn. Hmm. I thought of him before when there was an X. Oh, way. well done. Um, whoa, da, 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 I heard him say Nathan Frazier. I know. He's he's already been already been been I'm trying to think of it. Uh, Naomi. Naomi. Oh. I? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh... <laughs> what name's it going by? Oh, oh, I'm done here, Matthew. I'm uh, sorry. I honestly thought you were going to say Iceman. Oh, oh. we gone. We have yeah, a favorite favorite wrestlers. Or Indy Hartwell. Or Indy Hartwell. Oh, yeah. I'm that doing the thing where I'm like, ah, uh, but... Uh, 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 <laughs> that names. was way more tense than I thought that it was going to be. That was, wasn't it? Wow. That was horrible. Oh. oh. Wow, that wasn't a disappointment at all. That was good. Was well really done. Yeah, Let's give it three minutes. Let's play that every week. Got it. Thank you, Uriah. <laughs> thank, uh, thank you, Uriah. Uh, then you're obscure footballers in the last 30 years. Want to send us any questions, thoughts, or queries? You can. Don't worry. Uh, by going to mailbag at goldhawk.com. Wrist piss. Brings to whatever triforce of wrestling silliness it is this week. Oh, that's that nice. It hits my heart. Yeah. Uh, if you were tasked to recast some of the most movies, most famous characters of all time okay. of wrestlers in order to make the film better. <laughs> None of that next best thing nonsense. Who would you cast? Okay. Ooh. So we'll go around the in order of smartness. Uh, that's Jack, Andrew, me. <laughs> um, Darth Vader. Ooh. Oh, my word. Darth Vader. would Who would been proved Darth Vader? Um, <laughs> Vince McMahon. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna kiss Chewbacca's ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, are we? Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. I thought uh, Darth oh, sorry, Vader. This, no, sorry, no, no. Sorry. Um, for Darth Vader. Imagine that first scene of the first Star Wars when the doors open and all the stormtroopers come through. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna say. I'm trying to think of a big bald man. I'm gonna say Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones. I'll put Darth Nathan Vader. Jones in there. Just a big menacing man mm. who just big boots everyone. That's the force. <laughs> <laughs> so he even kicks his son off. The thing. F- falls over at the worst times. So. Obi Wan Kenobi's like, I've been waiting years for this. <laughs> <laughs> off the edge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luke's like Ben. <laughs> uh, big Van Vader. Oh, okay. oh that's Vader. a good yeah. one. Starts punching lockers backstage. <laughs> yeah. Sir, they got away. <laughs> <laughs> Hannibal Lecter. Ooh. Oh. Joe Casey. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Um, Just take away all the subtlety of the role. I killed five careers. <laughs> uh, CM Punk. Mm. Oh, okay. he'd never shut up, would he? That's a good one. Um, don't see Vader again. <laughs> See, I think it's like. Be... I, I had one then. Go on. I was going to say, like, uh, uh, either Al Snow or Big Boss Man after cooking the. <laughs> the oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. 
How was your meal, Detective Al Snow? Oh, it was quite nice. <laughs> it was a bit rough. Oh. It's funny you say that. Why? Because I didn't try very hard to make it. <laughs> oh, okay. Cheers. Um, there's a good promo that could do this sinister thing. Oh. Sean O'Hare. Sean O'Hare. Oh, that's a good one. I can tell you where the body's buried, but uh, I'm not telling you anything you already know. Uh. Captain Jack Sparrow. Ooh. Captain Jack Sparrow. I mean... No, that's too obvious. Um, <laughs> you know, Jack Sparrow's all like charismatic and smooth and stuff, and nimble and agile. Mm. So I'm going to pick someone who's the opposite. <laughs> Just Scott Steiner. Imagine Scott <laughs> Steiner trying to get through interactions as Jack Sparrow. <laughs> you want to fight? <laughs> 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 Never tries to talk his way out of anything. <laughs> Orlando Bloom's like, on guard. <laughs> He's like, put him in the <laughs> 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 also, I just like the idea of you know when he's the bit where he escapes in the tiny rowing boat to get yeah, yeah, the ship. Yeah. Just Scott Steiner in this tiny in boat, small, <laughs> still with his sunglasses on. Yeah, the chainmail. Like, yeah, 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 he's got yeah, like, yeah, like uh, the ch- but his like his uh, pirate hat is the chainmail. Like yeah. you are the worst pirate uh. I've ever heard of. And instead of like, but you have heard of me. It's just like you freak. <laughs> <laughs> we set sail on my ship, the freak, and then it's like, Ooh. <laughs> it's a siren's plane. Um, I'm gonna say. Oh, man. Uh, the person who was always meant to be Jack Sparrow, Paul Burchill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, uh, I would go to Roddy Piper. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I have to change one. some of the dialogue to make mm. it fit. So it was like, yeah, but where's the cocaine guy? <laughs> uh, Ellen Ripley. Is that from, from Alien? I've never seen Alien, but is that Alien? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, is that what it was? I think so. I didn't know her first name. Oh, right, Ripley. Ripley, yeah. yeah. Rhea Ripley, no. Uh, okay, yeah, Rhea Ripley. Oh, I was going to say Rhea Ripley. Oh. Um, I'll go for Serena D. Oh, that's an excellent oh. shout. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sha- Shayna Baszler. Uh, oh. Taking down the alien mother with just <laughs> an angle lock. A massive knee to the face. Yeah. James Bond. Oh. Oh. Scott's time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Bond, a man of sophistication. A man of sophistication. <laughs> everywhere, but he just did the best. Yeah. <laughs> In the casino. <laughs> Go fish! Badass! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so good. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Bond, a martini shaking us to... Protein sh- <laughs> <laughs> He's got crazy straw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh god uh, uh, try co- and stop me with the next one uh, <laughs> no uh, I Cody Rhodes I'm gonna say Cody okay okay yeah mm. oh, Mr Bond the master of deception uh, if only your <laughs> giant tattoo on your neck hadn't given you away <laughs> I watched Diamonds Are Forever the other week watch what I watched Diamonds Are Forever. Oh, Re- the one that was in Prime now. Yeah. Diamonds Are Forever. Diamonds Are Forever is rough. Yeah, yeah, mm. I wanted to watch a bad one. You sometimes just want to watch oh, a bad one. Yeah. So yeah. bad bonds are better. Don't you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I've seen all the Bond. Uh, you know, I know I'm not a big film guy apart from James Bond. Oh, okay, great. Love Bond. Really? Yes. Even though with every year that passes, it becomes less acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> His actions. Yeah. Especially um, that one. Diamonds Are Forever, he kills a guy and swaps licenses with him or mm-hmm. like ID with him. And then the woman yeah. finds it and goes, you just killed James Bond. Does that mean the Bond is like a well-known? It's it doesn't make any sense, right? does He's it? He's meant to be a spy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, sorry, Benny. If I oh, who the the really over the top like uh, assassins, Mister Wind and Mister Kid. Mister oh, Wind, Mister Kid. And like, <laughs> oh, look at this! And the way they do it so brutally. Like there's a woman pulling past. Oh, she's nice looking, and is like looks angry for a lady. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I get it. And one of them is played by the dad of um, the dad in Back to the Future. No, really? Crispin Glover or the other? Is he Crispin Glover? Do you not know this? Do you know the dad in Back to the Future, George McFly? Yes. His dad is Mr. Wind or Kid. Wow. The one, I didn't know the that. One, no way. The one with the sinister voice, with the short hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, You're yeah. not the guy who looks like a bulldog. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> who can't act. <laughs> he's a, there are some rubbish what, actors what, in these two, James one Bond of them's, films. One of them overacts everything and the other one under, like, under does it. So he's like, we will see Mr. Wind. He's like, yeah, Mr. Kid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, I need to... Uh, oh, yeah. uh, James Bond. Yeah, yeah, we've done That's for it. you. It's for you. Oh, is it? Mm. I peep with Scott Steiner, because I either go with someone sophisticated <laughs> or I just go with... Uh, oh, I know. A British Bulldog. Because the same amount, because he's like, oh, <laughs> British. Oh, he's sophisticated. But it's like, 
Listen here. <laughs> yeah. Just just brutal promo. Tonight, you'll tell us where to Salah is. <laughs> I've gone down the Wigan Mines. Play dominoes. Uh, yeah, I like that. How do you find about it? In the news of the world tomorrow, <laughs> British Bulldog, free burger for your... Oh, well, I'll move on. <laughs> Not seen a bloody awful lot. Anyway, Dorothy from, I assume, Wizard of Oz. Mm. Oh. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it. got a sign. It's got Say it. It. <laughs> There's no place. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fit into the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like ah, bulging. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine. How do you deal with the witch? A perfect recliner. Oh. <laughs> it pans down. They're all skipping, but he's just walking along <laughs> in the blue dress. Oh, man. <laughs> to all my freaks out there, the Tin Man, the Lion, the Scarecrow. Oh, there, there. Hi. <laughs> Oh, God. That's good. Oh, man. <laughs> you sticking with Steiner then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sticking with Steiner. He wakes up oh, back in Kansas. Man. I had this weird dream <laughs> and you were there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> That's so good. I don't think that could. I don't think we could yeah, be anybody no, but then. Scott Steiner. Oh, I got, oh this no. Is, I'm sorry. I've just turned this into imagine no. if Scott yeah. Steiner. He's going to like it, though. <laughs> Uh, Norman Bates from Psycho. Okay, that one probably wouldn't. That when you think of Scott, wouldn't Scott wouldn't go for that role? Yeah, Gary. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I tricked you. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Um, oh, Norman Bates. I should have saved Joe Gacy for that. Oh, that would have um, been good. No, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of someone with like dark bags under their eyes, but I can't think of anyone. Oh, oh <laughs> me, me. Three no, hours in a podcast. Pack. <laughs> No, I, uh, oh, that's quite good. Uh, don't oh. bother me, Ma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Parker. <laughs> I want her to fly me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're on the topic of mums, then Shelton Benjamin. I thought you were going to say Mosh. <laughs> Mosh. I was like, no. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, wow. That was a deep cut. Mm. <laughs> Great <laughs> gimmick. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oof. yeah, that Shelton's a good shout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Steiner. <laughs> yeah, Rick. Yeah, Rick Steiner. Yeah. Oh my god, Rick's Toto. He's a dog. <laughs> 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 He's picking him uh, up. What we're gonna do? The whistle isn't even real. <laughs> Chris Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He starts shooting midway over the film. This film stinks. Just and no one's watching it. Everyone's got the other cinema to watch the sound of music instead. <laughs> in every film midway through, he shoots on Triple H or Ric Flair. Regardless <laughs> of what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey and Marv from Home Alone. Oh. 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 Um, I take some bumps, don't they? Oh God! Yeah. Um, That's why I thought the Hardy Boys. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say the Wild Samoans. Okay. But, like their hair, like you know when they oh, get electrocuted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. scarier than hot um, exactly Marvin. Yeah. 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 Oh, but it wouldn't work because you'd be dropping the paint things and you'd be bouncing off. <laughs> and That's like, true, and you'd be like, oh, nothing. <laughs> the paint cans look the camera going. I'm one day until retirement, and he's dying. <laughs> Where's Kevin? He got brutally murdered. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. They just they walk through all his traps. That's, that's that would really be good. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh god yeah oh. Owens and Zane's really yeah. good oh yeah they're great oh. that would be perfect oh, I'll have that or the Mean Street Bossy <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was just the three stooges at that point have you seen the come on Joey <laughs> someone compared the clip from the Simpsons where Nelson's walking down the street and Martin's skipping around him to a Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn entrance <laughs> like together like yeah. Nelson's just... yeah and then they, they, Kevin saw it and talked about it on one of the oh, did he? podcast yeah. oh nice that's good I wasn't the only person to see it so Marty and Doc from Back to the Future. Oh. Hmm. God. Kushida and I come in here. Quick, go back, oh. go back to 2018 when I was offered a contract by Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> Darby and Sting. Yeah, Darby oh, and Sting. Because mm, he skateboards as well. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, crazy. Oh, really like a da, 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 da. Sting's not got as much banter as Doc No, Brown. he did. That's true. That's <laughs> oh, true. but wait, you talk about... Mass professors and like and all the one the younger one, Bron Breaker, and his relative, Scott Steiner, <laughs> professor, who gets the ball and explains it all in perfect 
<laughs> all the math. Uh, no, 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 no. Say, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, when you say it, yeah. Did you just both try and wedge into the DeLorean? <laughs> <laughs> we can't get past 30 miles an hour because we're so jacked. Like, we just yeah. can't. <laughs> it's just like, my oh, mom's got the hot speed. And I was like, a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Give her uh, one from me. God. Oh. Um, and then finally, Santiago Munez. From goal. From goal. Oh, no. From g- I have no idea. Goals. Uh, it's genuinely a footballer who, it's a film about a footballer who signs for Newcastle. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> okay, so goal one, two, and three? Or? Um, what? Is there oh, more than one? Oh, the one's Trinity? obviously the best one, but two and three are desperately bad. No. There's a bit where they're on the quayside going to some nightclub, like around where Avika is, like that street. And there's uh, a ship, a big like Titanic like cruise liner in the background. Like The time has never had <laughs> like, a ship like that. Um... So who could play a fictional footballer who signs for me? Okay. Oh, man. Really going deep Someone here. Someone from Grizzled Young Veterans. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. No, but S- Santiago's, from from, Santiago's from Mexico, so I was trying to think of a luchador. Is he good at football, I think? What, rubbish. Santiago in goal? Yeah. Yeah, but he never passes. He's greedy. He <gasps> has to teach him how to pass. A selfish luchador. <laughs> Conan. <laughs> all, all of them above the honestly, age of 40 none honestly, of them are losing honestly my mind went to Vampiro yeah like oh. L.A. Park because he wears black and white <gasps> that's him he's done it's, it it's L.A. Park he's and then in the film it's like L.A. Park resigned from being well, an upset at forward for Newcastle then eventually became the chairman <laughs> <laughs> and that's it that's it we're done yeah. it? wow all the love in the world I bet former Czechoslovakia right winger Karol Bobrovsky. Oh, Poborsky. Poborsky. Oh, Poborsky's messaged in. Fantastic. I, oh, thank you. Um, bloody hell. Thank you very much. What a recent piece that was. Um, if any of your own to send to us, and no doubt you will, there's to be anything you send us will be Scott Steiner at some point. <laughs> uh, make sure you please put Reese Piece or Reese Piss in the header so we know what it is and send them to mailbag at callholic.com. It's Cultaholics. The question. What a long, lovely, little spa weekend of a podcast we've had. <laughs> and it's time for just a little bit more before we're asked politely to leave the room. And that's the big question this week, which is, when will Roman Reigns lose his championship? Mm. The easiest way of saying that. And not a belt. Take that, Cody. Um, <laughs> it's a championship it's title. A championship. Wait, did that go off the entire podcast? Thought reference to the fact that Cody named Rob Bocciamania on the YouTube channel. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. I, I saw that, yeah. He's all sweaty being interviewed, and he's like, isn't it great to be back at the Dunkin' Donuts set? Anyone? Oh, yeah, I mean, we all know about I mean, we'll talk about the worst match you ever had. It's a match where Ted Biasi <laughs> oh, didn't kick out a dropkick. Right, got, right, right. Two, cool. A two-segment match ended in four minutes. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what do we do? Anyway, yeah, so now I've got that in. Ha, ha, ha. We go back to... When will yes. Roman Reigns lose? Either one belt or two belts? Because <laughs> because obviously this comes about because we love our favorite uh, wrestler of all time, Al Garitham. Uh, Roman Reigns <laughs> being in the news because he did that thing where he's like, oh, he's leaving, he's leaving, he's not, he's not, he's not, whatever. But really, if he did take time off, there isn't really a guy at the same level as him just to take the belts they and go, all right, I'm the number whatever guy uh, for either of them. I reckon... Do you think they'll split the belts again? I think they will. I think they will. Well, in that exclusivity, for, so... Yeah, for, for like, d- deals on TV and yeah. stuff, I think it's more beneficial. Well, then I think if he loses the WWE one, then that'll be to Cody. Cody, yeah. But will that take away from when he eventually loses the Universal one to Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Oh, no. Do you think that's going to happen? Do you think it's going to be The Rock? I don't know if, like... I think he might beat The Rock. I don't think if the if, if that match does do happen, anything. it does mm. it doesn't need the belt or the championship yeah. or whatever. Thing. I agree. But why, why would the, the rock... lineage? Oh. So do you think you should just lose both belts to Cody and then fight the Rock? No. Do you not think you should fight the Rock? <laughs> <laughs> no. If they want to protect him, it'll be some sort of three or four way where he doesn't lose the belt. Mm. Oh, so like Roman versus the Rock versus like Drew oh, Gulak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Um, I. Like when we were reporting on it and stuff earlier in the week, it sounded like that perhaps after the clash in the castle, clash at the castle thing, sort of Roman was going to be winding down. So we were like, well, what if we get to the clash in the castle thing and it's Drew and Roman? But I don't think Drew feels like the boy to do it. No, he really hasn't Drew, yeah. for a while now. I I think Drew and Roman will, will finish their feud at SummerSlam and then Drew will fight Tyson Fury. I honestly do. Oh, yeah, yeah. But oh, I don't know no. if that'll actually happen. I can totally see them giving Drew Roman a Clash of the Castle because it's yeah. in the UK and he's a UK guy and it's mm. a main event. But 
surely Roman will win. Do you think Drew? I think, I, yeah. yeah. I don't think Drew's the right person. To no, take it off not him. at the minute. He was a couple of years ago when he yeah. did win it, which was fair enough. But now I'm like, mm. he's just been that guy on the side for so long because that Baron know. Corbin feud went on for forever and a day yeah. and then Jinder and then I feel, da, 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 I feel da, da. bad because Drew I feel bad for the handsome six foot five warrior no. because his he won the title the, during the pandemic it was like the worst timing yeah and he was so over when he won that rumble and mm. then it just his momentum just couldn't mm. recover so I look at another way yeah. and go it was a nice positive during right, a that's really a, rotten period that's, yeah. that's, that's another yeah. way to look at it that is very true a, a lighthouse in a sea of poo <laughs> but uh Right now, no, he's like, it's not saying things being good for Sammy. It's been as good for Drew. He's like, is yeah. Sammy uh, Zayn going to beat Roman Reigns? I might be. Well, he's getting Polly in there. Jack. Yes. Can imagine. you imagine if he did? He just, like, he goes his way uh, from a fellow, not Aladdin. Yeah, um, yeah, his yeah. way in again. <laughs> that was, all right. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Heyman's the Iago. Yeah, yeah, of course he is. A uh, way of being like, yeah, you know, me you know. If it's a three-way, then I can help you. You know, Adam Pearce is going to make a handicap oh. match. Oh, you're good, Sami Zayn. Oh, I know. He, he. <laughs> and then it comes to it, like, I don't know, Drew hits his big move on Roman. He's uh -huh. like, here we go, Sami. Push. <laughs> One, two, oh, three. That would be amazing. That would be so Never gonna yes. Happen. Imagine uh, if that's how I it love it. I now want this to happen. I'll go for... Because in the uh, my answer will be because in the in the they did a hype package didn't they during the last pay per view for Money in the Bank yeah and it was all weirdly centered around Cody saying yeah this or other it was all about this is their chance to main event WrestleMania which is the Rumbles thing I'm like yeah. why is Money in the Bank being given that you can choose whenever you want mm. and I can totally see Cody winning it and then going. I'm gonna oh, my dad never made a better WrestleMania, yeah. right? Oh, no, not necessarily, but just oh. say, I want to do this on the biggest stage. That would be cool. That'd be really and cool. And then the anticipation. Oh, no, build. then he turns heel. Yeah, the biggest stage, of course, of course, at the really Starcade. Oh, yeah. my God. That's in a, right. In a bull, in a bull rope, rope yeah. match. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it comes out that 2K uh, game. I forget which one it is. It's the one with Randy Orton in the front cover. Okay. 13, I think. Um, when Arn Anderson invades and is like, right, it's now Nitro and Raw. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like, yeah, that. Great little With Kevin thing. Nash and stuff yeah. in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Like teamed up. He's like, nah, you, you, you killed the company. We're back. <laughs> We're back, baby. It's so good. Yeah. Cody just makes it like, yeah, I can see that. I I, um, I also think, Co I think Cody so is... So I'm going to say at, Wrestle at, me, at WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. I can see Cody as well doing the thing of, well, you know, the tradition and honor of the business. Uh, I'm not going to just cash in with a suitcase. I'm going to let you know yeah, this yeah. day Time and stuff and like that. Right. Okay, because you cash it in and not be a dick about mm. it. You're going to rob Van Damme it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But Rob Van Damme did it for the biggest advantage. <laughs> he did. He did. Uh, yeah, I'd say, Cody, I think you've absolutely nailed it on the head there. Part I don't of know if I have, like... because I think they might try and find a way of Cody winning just the WWE belt. Because yeah. his story is all about how Dusty never won that belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the universal one. Maybe then... Maybe then... Do you think he'll cash in and go, but just for just the... That, just that <laughs> you know one what? belt, please. Yeah. Not two belts, thank you. You're, uh, you're on fire on these, Jack. These are some great... You should submit these to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Vince McMahon. <laughs> you never wrote me back. Um, you have enough of a computer. I'd, um, part of me, with all the money in the bank stuff, part of me would like to see Cody try and um, somehow one-up Seth Rollins' cash in. At WrestleMania, oh. so then the feud can oh. roll back there was there in the somehow. That's yeah. Good. yeah, there's something like that would be cool. And How you do that though, I'm not sure because, as you were saying, I think Cody would very much be like mm. this day at this time. But Seth would be funny saying like, like being like, it's my greatest moment ever. Like, yeah, yeah. Honestly though, I see the proper thing being Randy going. Oh, you keep on what, what getting your little lads. Pain and panic mm. coming over here for the title. <laughs> if you were a big dog, you were there at the table, you would have come over here with your big belt. Oh. And then Roman say, like, mm. and obviously it's Randy's who's like, hi, I'm I'm always gonna be over. Mm. I could kick a dog in the front row and you'd always be cheering me. <laughs> so I'd be like, yeah. And I think Randy taking at least one of the belts from him would be like, okay, no one's going to complain about I mean, that. And again, it, and then Roman Reigns like, I buy they're like, all right, we've got Randy. Yeah. <laughs> even even by his own like huge standards, Randy's particularly over right now. Like people really Yeah. Like, it's like, mm. like I've, you know, the ran the, the uh, rated RKO bro stuff's been a bit with it, whatever. The crowds are eating it up. Oh mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the match has been good. Mm. Yeah, Randy's always good. Oh, yeah, he's very good in team. He wasn't always, but now he is. He was always good. He just never tried. <laughs> he was that yeah. talented kid at school. Yeah, just coasted. But now he's like, nah. GCCs are yeah. coming up. Yeah. <laughs> he's like Ian Wright, and he did a good teacher. <laughs> he contributes, and then he go, and then he like goes back into the shadows. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you time know? to smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Orton doesn't smoke weed. 
He just talks about it a lot. <laughs> right, uh, there we go. Wow, those yeah. are some good. Well, it was just Cody, pretty much. And <laughs> Scott Steiner. Randy, wasn't it? Cody, Scott Steiner, Steiner yeah. Dorothy. But I think Steiner if brothers. But if we're doing out. where, then I think at Mania. I think Ma- I, it's got to be at a big one, I think. I think so. Like, if he's taking time off, do you think you'll, you'll do a Brock and just leave while still the champ? <laughs> I'm going to go f- film a film. Bye. Bye. He's, on, he's on the set. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, well, oh, tough day recording. <laughs> yeah. oh, that'd, be, that'd be so great, actually. That'd be amazing. All the rest is going, I can't believe he's on a film set. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Jack. What have you got for us until our next podcast? Um, so Twitch streams with Owen every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Up the Fabes, Coldaholic the FC. Next time, we'll be looking for new players in the transfer window. Um, and Weirdest Episodes is still being edited because I gave Luke a huge script to cut down or a huge recording of me to cut down. I feel bad. So, I, I mean, he's working on it as best as he can, but I don't know yet when it'll be out. So, yeah. What have you got? Um, Twitch streams on Monday. Uh, I'm not really. I don't know if we're going to continue with her tough or boyfriend. We might play something else. With but what? It's a. It's a. It's oh, every the single pigeon time. game. The pigeon dating yeah. simulator. Fantastic. How yeah, was it exactly. as a game then? Because I was it's like, as a hard good. joke, but I was like, oh, actually playing it. Uh, yeah, there's some like sweet little moments and stuff in there. You know, like oh, there okay. is with sort of weird uh, sort of dating simulator games and stuff. So we'll mm. be, we'll be playing something on Monday. I'm abso- actually back because I've been away for like. Not been doing them for the past few weeks just because of other work stuff. Mm. Uh, so we've got that. Um, edited down reactions. If people are trying to look for those, they're not there anymore. We now, Me and Adam did live reactions for Sorry. WrestleMania Backlash, which you can watch on the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, still edit, editing the uh, first episode of this new series thing. Um, about Ooh. wrestling media and stuff, and I'm on a camera and I'm not very good at looking oh, and talking at a camera. It's always um, hard at first, but you'll, it you'll is, pick it up. It is, but yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. I enjoyed it, and hopefully that should be finished next week. When it goes up, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, that's me. Lovely. What about yourself, Matthew? What about you? I will be continuing reading Just Incredible's fascinating <laughs> book um, every Sunday evening, including this Sunday evening, mm. and me and Tom have the Cultaholic Classic Smackdown review where we talk about well, Smackdown. <laughs> Sorry, it's not no. ambiguous. I know, right? Uh, looking forward to those. And there was yeah. a bunch of media last week, wasn't there? There was a bunch of media last week. I'll have to re edit one really quickly for <laughs> Cody Rhodes' little name drop. Uh, but also just trying to relax. Cool. And you can catch me on Death Stranding, minding my own business in my living room. The producers, of course, this fine, lovely little podcast that we do. GDA John, cheer. Hey! hey. Reno, 2200. Hey. Hey. Noah Anderson. Hey. Yeah. And Nick Rabi. Yeah. You magnificent people. You Thank you very much for your patronage. Thank you very much, everyone. If you'd like to become one, you can go to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. And also, not only that, but put your betting, voting down, not betting, <laughs> votes down for the Hall of Fame. And if you have any thoughts, queries, mailbag at cultaholic.com. For now, this has been Jack. This has been Andrew. This has been myself. That's been being Dick Tubman doing all the hard work. We're going to go now, do something. Jack's got a really cool date. And, got a meal. Um, mm-hmm. Good date. Yeah, and I've got some soup to eat. So, <laughs> on that happy note, we're going to look at the fantastic Hulk sign. The count of three, say that thing that we all know and love. One, two, three. Join, Join us. us. I couldn't think of a funny one. Thing what happened? Sometimes to say something else. Waggle, 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 wa